The Healing Elixir, Exploring the Benefits of Urine Therapy 1. Introduction to Urine Therapy The Healing Elixir, Exploring the Benefits of Urine Therapy is a comprehensive guide that uncovers the many potential benefits of urine therapy for health and well-being. This groundbreaking book delves into the historical use of urine in various cultures and teaches readers the principles behind this alternative therapy. With scientific evidence, testimonials, and practical advice, it offers a balanced perspective on the potential advantages of urine therapy for different health conditions. Whether you are curious about the ancient origins of urine therapy or seeking natural remedies, this book will provide you with a wealth of information to make informed decisions about your health. 1.2 Cultural and Spiritual Beliefs About Urine Therapy Urine therapy is not a recent phenomenon, it has a long history that can be traced back to ancient civilizations. Throughout history, various cultures and religions have recognized the healing properties of urine and have incorporated urine therapy into their practices. Ancient Egypt In ancient Egypt, urine therapy was considered a sacred practice. The Egyptians believed that urine was a potent elixir that could cleanse both the body and the soul. The ancient Egyptians used urine for various purposes, including beauty treatments and medicinal remedies. They also believed that urine had spiritual power and used it in religious rituals. Ayurveda Ayurveda, the ancient Indian system of medicine, has long recognized the therapeutic benefits of urine. In Ayurveda, urine is considered a valuable source of medicinal compounds and is used to treat a wide range of ailments. According to Ayurvedic principles, urine therapy helps balance the doshas, energies, in the body and promotes overall well-being. Traditional Chinese Medicine Traditional Chinese Medicine, TCM, also acknowledges the healing potential of urine. In TCM, urine is believed to have a cooling effect on the body and is used to treat heat-related conditions such as fever. Urine therapy is often combined with other TCM practices, such as acupuncture and herbal medicine, to restore balance and promote health. Native American Traditions Many Native American tribes have a deep spiritual connection to nature and believe in the healing power of urine. In Native American traditions, urine is seen as a sacred substance that carries the essence of an individual spirit. It is sometimes used in purification rituals and ceremonies to cleanse the body, mind, and soul. Tibetan medicine In Tibetan medicine, urine is regarded as a valuable diagnostic tool. Tibetan doctors examine the color, odor, and other characteristics of a patient's urine to assess their health and identify imbalances in the body. They believe that urine contains vital information about a person's overall well-being and use this knowledge to guide their treatment approach. Yoga and Tantra In certain branches of yoga and tantra, urine is considered a powerful elixir that can enhance spiritual awakening and transformation. Some yogic and tantric texts mention the practice of amaroli, which involves drinking one's own urine as a means of purifying the body, awakening the energy centers, and achieving higher states of consciousness. Modern alternative and spiritual movements In recent years, urine therapy has gained popularity within alternative and spiritual communities. Some individuals who practice esoteric and new age beliefs incorporate urine therapy into their wellness routines. They view urine as a sacred substance that can facilitate physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. It is important to note that while urine therapy has deep cultural and spiritual roots, it is not widely accepted by the mainstream medical community. Many scientific and medical experts remain skeptical about its effectiveness, citing the lack of scientific evidence and the potential risks involved. However, for those who believe in the healing power of urine therapy, cultural and spiritual beliefs play a significant role in their adherence to the practice. These beliefs provide a framework for understanding and embracing urine therapy as a natural and holistic approach to health and well-being. In the next section, we will explore the scientific and medical perspectives on urine therapy, examining the evidence, studies, and controversies surrounding its use as a therapeutic modality. 1.3 Scientific and Medical Perspectives on Urine Therapy Urine therapy, also known as urotherapy or autotherapy, has been a subject of interest and debate for centuries. While it holds a significant place in traditional and alternative medicine practices, it is important to examine urine therapy from a scientific and medical perspective to determine its efficacy and potential health benefits. Understanding the Composition of Urine Urine is a waste product excreted by the kidneys and contains various substances that are filtered out from the blood. It primarily consists of water, along with dissolved ions, minerals, toxins, metabolic waste products, and small amounts of hormones. The composition of urine can vary depending on an individual's diet, hydration levels, and overall health. Nutritional value of urine Urine contains trace amounts of certain nutrients, such as vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and proteins. 
However, these nutrients are present in very low concentrations and are not present in a form that can be readily absorbed and utilized by the body. The nutritional value of urine is minimal compared to a well-balanced diet that includes a variety of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. Excretion and detoxification through urine The kidneys play a crucial role in filtering and eliminating waste products from the body. They remove excess water, toxins, and metabolic waste through urine. Urine therapy proponents argue that by consuming urine, the body can undergo detoxification and eliminate harmful substances. However, it is important to note that the kidneys already perform this function efficiently, and there is no scientific evidence to suggest that consuming urine enhances detoxification. Urine as a diagnostic tool In conventional medicine, urine analysis is a valuable diagnostic tool used to assess kidney function, detect urinary tract infections, monitor certain medical conditions, and screen for the presence of illegal drugs. However, it is important to distinguish between the use of urine for diagnostic purposes and the consumption or application of urine as a therapeutic intervention. Urine analysis is a scientifically validated medical practice, while urine therapy as an alternative therapy lacks scientific evidence. Differences in urine of different individuals The composition of urine can vary between individuals due to differences in dietary habits, hydration levels, overall health, and medications. Factors such as age, gender, and underlying medical conditions also influence the content of urine. It is crucial to recognize that the variability in urine composition renders generalizations or claims about the therapeutic benefits of urine therapy challenging to support scientifically. Scientific Research on Urine Therapy Despite the lack of scientific consensus on the efficacy of urine therapy, some studies have explored its potential benefits. However, these studies are limited in sample size, methodology, and overall scientific rigor. Most of the research available on urine therapy is anecdotal, lacking controlled experiments, placebo groups, or peer-reviewed scientific validation. Some studies have investigated the antimicrobial properties of urine, suggesting its potential use in combating certain infections. Other research has focused on specific components of urine, such as urea, which has been used in dermatology as a moisturizer and to treat certain skin conditions. However, these findings have not translated into mainstream medical practices. Medical Community and Urine Therapy the medical community, as a whole, does not endorse or recognize urine therapy as a legitimate medical intervention. The lack of scientific evidence, potential risks associated with consuming or applying urine, and the availability of more established and evidence-based medical treatments contribute to the skepticism surrounding urine therapy. It is important to approach urine therapy with caution and consult with a qualified healthcare professional before considering any alternative therapies. They can provide accurate information, assess individual health conditions, and offer appropriate advice based on scientific evidence and medical guidelines. In conclusion, urine therapy remains a controversial and unproven alternative therapy. While some anecdotal reports suggest potential benefits, scientific and medical perspectives on urine therapy are limited, and the existing evidence is insufficient to support its widespread use. It is crucial to rely on evidence-based medical treatments for optimal health and consult healthcare professionals for guidance on safe and effective therapies. 1.4 Myths and Misconceptions About Urine Therapy Debunking the Myths Urine therapy, also known as urotherapy, has been surrounded by plenty of misconceptions and myths throughout history. These misconceptions often stem from a lack of understanding and cultural biases. It is important to separate fact from fiction when it comes to urine therapy in order to dispel any unfounded fears or judgments. In this section, we will address some of the most common myths and misconceptions about urine therapy and provide the scientific evidence to debunk them. Myth 1. Urine is a waste product and therefore harmful to the body. One of the most prevalent misconceptions about urine therapy is that urine is a waste product and using it for therapeutic purposes can be harmful to the body. However, urine is not just a waste product, but a complex liquid that contains various compounds, including water, electrolytes, hormones, enzymes, vitamins, and minerals. While it is true that urine contains metabolic waste products like urea, it also contains valuable substances that can benefit the body. In fact, urine therapy has been practiced for centuries in different cultures and traditional medical systems. Myth 2. Urine therapy is unhygienic and unsanitary. Some people believe that urine is unhygienic and unsanitary, and therefore practicing urine therapy must be unsanitary as well. However, urine is generally sterile when it leaves the body and can be safely used for external and internal applications. It is important to note that urine therapy advocates emphasize the use of fresh urine and proper hygiene practices when handling and applying it. Additionally, those who choose to practice urine therapy often ensure that they maintain a healthy lifestyle and dietary habits to further promote overall cleanliness and sanitation. Myth 3. Urine therapy is only used by desperate individuals or as a last resort. 
Another common myth is that urine therapy is only utilized by desperate individuals who have exhausted all other treatment options. However, urine therapy has a long history and has been used as a healing practice in many cultures around the world. In fact, urine therapy has been mentioned in ancient texts and medical manuscripts, suggesting that it was used as a primary or complementary therapy even in historical times. While individuals may turn to urine therapy as an alternative approach, it should not be viewed as a last resort and can be adopted by anyone seeking to explore its potential benefits. Myth 4. Urine therapy is a form of pseudoscience. Urine therapy is often dismissed as a form of pseudoscience, with the belief that there is no scientific evidence to support its claims. However, there is a growing body of research exploring the potential therapeutic effects of urine in various medical conditions. Studies have investigated its antimicrobial, antiviral, and anti-cancer properties, as well as its role in wound healing and tissue repair. While more research is needed to fully understand the mechanisms of action and optimal applications of urine therapy, it is inaccurate to label it as pseudoscience without considering the existing scientific literature. Myth 5, urine therapy has no proven benefits, and is just a placebo effect. Many skeptics argue that urine therapy has no proven benefits, and any perceived effects are solely due to the placebo effect. However, anecdotal evidence from individuals who have practiced urine therapy, as well as some scientific studies, suggest otherwise. The potential benefits of urine therapy include improved skin health, enhanced immune function, relief from digestive issues, and even support for certain chronic conditions. Additionally, the placebo effect alone cannot account for the reported benefits observed by individuals who consistently practice urine therapy. Myth 6. Urine therapy is not supported by medical professionals. While it is true that mainstream medical professionals may not endorse or actively promote urine therapy, it does not mean that there is a complete lack of support within the medical community. Some practitioners, particularly in complementary and alternative medicine, have acknowledged the potential benefits of urine therapy and have incorporated it into their practice. However, due to the lack of extensive clinical trials and evidence, urine therapy has not been widely embraced by the medical establishment. It is important to consult with a qualified healthcare professional before incorporating urine therapy into your healthcare routine. Conclusion As with any alternative therapy, urine therapy has been subject to myths and misconceptions. By debunking these myths and examining the available scientific evidence, we can gain a better understanding of the potential benefits and limitations of urine therapy. It is important to approach this practice with an open mind, acknowledging the historical use of urine therapy across different cultures and the ongoing research exploring its potential therapeutic properties. By separating fact from fiction, we can foster a more informed and objective discussion about urine therapy and its place within the realm of natural healing modalities. 1.5 Benefits and Potential Risks of Urine Therapy Urine therapy, also known as urotherapy or urine therapy, is the practice of using urine for various health benefits. Although it may sound unorthodox and unconventional, urine therapy has a long history and is still practiced by some individuals today. This section will explore the potential benefits and risks associated with urine therapy. Benefits of Urine Therapy Nutritional value Urine is composed of water and various substances that our bodies eliminate as waste. It contains essential vitamins, minerals, enzymes, hormones, and antibodies. Proponents of urine therapy believe that by consuming urine, these nutrients can be reabsorbed by the body, potentially providing additional nourishment. Detoxification Urine is a byproduct of our body's detoxification process. It contains metabolic waste, toxins, and excess substances that need to be eliminated. Advocates claim that by reintroducing urine into the body, it can support the natural detoxification processes, helping to remove harmful substances and promote overall well-being. Skin and hair health Urine therapy is often used topically for various skin and hair conditions. The urea present in urine has moisturizing and exfoliating properties, which proponents believe can improve acne, dry skin wrinkles, and damaged hair. Additionally, urine contains antimicrobial substances, such as antibodies and urea, which may help in treating skin infections and wounds. Digestive health. Some individuals believe that drinking urine can support digestive health. They claim that urine can act as a probiotic, helping to balance the gut microbiome and improve digestion. Proponents also suggest that urine therapy can aid in the absorption of nutrients and promote weight management. Respiratory health. Inhalation therapy using urine is believed to help alleviate respiratory conditions, such as sinusitis, allergies, asthma, and bronchitis. Advocates claim that inhaling urine vapor can provide relief by reducing inflammation, clearing the airways, and fighting respiratory infections. Urinary health. Drinking urine is thought to benefit the urinary system. Proponents claim that urine therapy can help treat urinary tract infections, kidney stones, bladder infections, incontinence, and support overall urinary health. They believe that urine's antibacterial properties and potential immune-boosting effects play a role in these benefits. Immune system support. Urine is considered by some to be an immune booster. It is believed to contain antibodies, cytokines, and other immune factors that can strengthen the immune system and enhance its ability to fight infections and diseases. Proponents suggest that urine therapy may offer support for autoimmune disorders, allergies, cancer, HIV, and AIDS.
Musculoskeletal health. Topical application of urine has been used by some individuals to alleviate muscle pain, joint disorders, osteoporosis, arthritis, and sports injuries. The proponents of this therapy claim that the nutrients and anti-inflammatory properties present in urine can aid in pain relief, reduce inflammation, and promote bone health. Mental and emotional well-being. Urine therapy is also associated with various mental and emotional benefits. It is believed to have a calming and stress-reducing effect, potentially helping with conditions such as anxiety, depression, insomnia, and addiction. Proponents suggest that urine therapy can improve memory, cognitive function, and facilitate spiritual and emotional connection. Reproductive and sexual health. Some individuals believe that urine therapy can benefit reproductive health. It is claimed to help with menstrual disorders, fertility, pregnancy, postpartum care, sexual health, and hormonal balance. Proponents suggest that urine therapy may have positive effects on hormone regulation and sexual dysfunction. Dental and oral health. Mouth rinses and gargles with urine are believed to promote oral health. Advocates suggest that urine therapy can help with gum diseases, oral infections, toothache, cavities, bad breath, and oral thrush. The antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties of urine are thought to contribute to these potential benefits. Detoxification and cleansing. Urine therapy is often associated with detoxification and cleansing. Advocates propose that urine can support liver health, kidney health, lymphatic system cleansing, digestive system cleansing, skin detoxification, and overall body detoxification. They believe that urine contains compounds that can aid in the elimination of toxins and promote a healthier body. Potential risks of urine therapy. It is important to note that while urine therapy may have potential benefits, it also carries certain risks and considerations. Here are some potential risks associated with urine therapy. Contamination. Urine can contain bacteria, viruses, and other pathogens that may cause infections if consumed or applied improperly. It is crucial to ensure that the urine used for therapy is collected and stored hygienically to minimize the risk of contamination. Allergic reactions. Some individuals may be allergic to components found in urine, such as proteins or other compounds. Allergic reactions can manifest as skin rashes, swelling, or difficulty breathing. It is essential to be aware of any potential allergies before initiating urine therapy. Medication interactions. Urine therapy may interfere with certain medications. It is important to consult with a healthcare professional before considering urine therapy, especially if you are taking medications for specific conditions. Some compounds in urine could interact with medications and cause adverse effects. Social stigma, urine therapy is not widely accepted or practiced in conventional medicine or society. Engaging in this therapy may result in social stigma or negative judgments from others. It is essential to consider the potential impact on personal relationships, work environments, and social interactions. Lack of scientific evidence, the scientific research on urine therapy is limited, with most of the evidence based on anecdotal experiences and historical accounts. The lack of rigorous scientific studies makes it challenging to assess the true effectiveness and safety of urine therapy. Before considering urine therapy, it is imperative to consult with a healthcare professional who can provide personalized advice and guidance based on your unique health situation and medical history. They can help you weigh the potential benefits against the risks and determine if urine therapy is a suitable option for you. 1.6 Getting started with urine therapy If you're intrigued by the potential benefits of urine therapy and curious to give it a try, this section will guide you on getting started. While urine therapy may seem unconventional, it has a long history and is practiced by individuals worldwide. Before embarking on this journey, it's essential to understand the process and take necessary precautions. Understanding the process At its core, urine therapy involves the consumption or topical application of one's own urine for therapeutic purposes. The idea stems from the belief that urine contains essential nutrients, hormones, antibodies, and other beneficial substances that can promote healing and well-being. To begin urine therapy, you'll need to collect your urine. It's recommended to start with the morning urine, as it is usually more concentrated and contains higher levels of beneficial substances. Use a clean container that is washed thoroughly with warm water and soap. Make sure to collect the urine midstream to minimize the presence of any possible bacteria from the urethra. Hygiene and safety precautions. Maintaining proper hygiene and safety measures is crucial when practicing urine therapy. Treat urine as you would any other bodily fluid and follow these guidelines. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and warm water before and after handling your urine. Use clean, sterilized containers for collecting and storing urine. Ensure that the containers are sealed properly to prevent contamination. Store urine in a cool, dark place to prevent the breakdown of certain components. Avoid collecting urine during menstruation or if you have any urinary tract infections. Consult with a healthcare professional before starting urine therapy, especially if you have underlying health conditions or are on medication. Starting with oral consumption. Drinking urine is the most common method of practicing urine therapy. To start, begin with small amounts and gradually increase the quantity over time. It's recommended to dilute the urine initially, mixing it with water or fresh juice to reduce the taste and make it more palatable. Start with about half a cup of diluted urine per day and observe how your body responds. 
Some individuals find it helpful to consume urine in the morning on an empty stomach or follow a specific schedule that works best for them. Remember, everybody is unique, and what works for one person may not work the same for another. Topical Application Besides consuming urine orally, you can also explore the benefits of urine therapy through topical application. Urine can be applied directly to the skin, scalp, or affected areas to address various skin conditions, wounds, and even hair health. Before applying urine topically, cleanse the area thoroughly with mild soap and warm water. Gently pat the area dry and then apply a small amount of urine using a cotton pad or cloth. Massage it in gently until it is absorbed, and leave it on for a few minutes or as desired before rinsing. Listening to your body As you embark on your urine therapy journey, it's essential to listen to your body and pay attention to any changes or reactions. Keep a journal to track your experience with urine therapy and document any benefits, side effects, or concerns. If you experience any adverse reactions such as allergic responses, digestive distress, or skin irritation, it's crucial to discontinue the practice and consult with a healthcare professional. Remember, everyone's body reacts differently, and it's essential to prioritize your well-being and safety above all else. Seeking guidance and support While urine therapy has been practiced for centuries, it's always advisable to seek guidance and support, especially if you're new to the concept. Connect with experienced practitioners, or join online communities and forums where you can share your experiences, ask questions, and learn from others. Additionally, consult with a healthcare professional, naturopath, or holistic practitioner who is knowledgeable about urine therapy. They can provide personalized guidance, address any concerns or medical conditions, and help you navigate this unconventional form of therapy. Conclusion Embarking on urine therapy can be a personal and transformative journey. However, it's crucial to approach it with an open mind and a commitment to personal safety and hygiene. By understanding the process, taking necessary precautions, and listening to your body, you can explore the potential benefits that urine therapy may offer. Remember, always consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new regimen, especially if you have underlying health conditions or are on medication. 2. Understanding Urine Section 2.1 Composition of Urine Urine is a complex liquid that is produced by the kidneys as a waste product of the body's metabolic processes. It is composed of various substances that are filtered from the blood by the kidneys and eliminated through the urinary system. Understanding the composition of urine is essential in order to grasp the potential benefits and therapeutic properties of urine therapy. The composition of urine is highly dynamic and can vary depending on several factors, including hydration levels, diet, medications, and overall health. On average, urine is approximately 95% water and 5% other substances. Let's explore these components in more detail. Water, as mentioned earlier, water is the main component of urine. Adequate hydration is crucial for maintaining overall health and ensuring proper urine production. Drinking enough water helps to flush out toxins from the body and maintain a balanced urine composition. Urea, urea is one of the primary waste products in urine. It is produced in the liver through the breakdown of proteins and amino acids. Urea helps to regulate the body's water balance and is a crucial component of the body's nitrogen metabolism. In urine therapy, urea is believed to have a variety of therapeutic benefits, including antifungal and antibacterial properties. Creatinine, creatinine is an end product of creatine metabolism in the muscles. It is filtered by the kidneys and eliminated through urine. The level of creatinine in the urine can be used as an indicator of kidney function. By analyzing the creatinine levels in urine, certain health conditions can be identified or monitored, such as kidney disease or muscle disorders. Uric acid. Uric acid is a byproduct of the metabolic breakdown of purines, which are found in certain foods and beverages. Elevated levels of uric acid in the urine can be associated with conditions like gout and kidney stones. However, in urine therapy, some believe that uric acid has antioxidant properties and can help to improve overall health. Electrolytes. Urine contains various electrolytes, such as sodium, potassium, calcium, and magnesium. These minerals help to maintain the body's fluid balance, regulate nerve function, and support muscle contractions. Electrolytes are essential for overall health and play a crucial role in urine therapy. Enzymes. Urine contains a range of enzymes that are involved in different metabolic processes. These enzymes play a vital role in breaking down substances in the body and aiding in digestion. Some proponents of urine therapy believe that these enzymes can have therapeutic effects, such as improving digestion and reducing inflammation. Hormones. Urine also contains small amounts of hormones that are excreted from the body. These hormones include testosterone, estrogen, and adrenaline, among others. While the concentrations of these hormones in urine are relatively low, some proponents of urine therapy believe that they can still have positive effects on the body when used therapeutically. Metabolites. Various waste products and metabolites from the body's metabolic processes can be found in urine. These include byproducts of carbohydrate, lipid, and protein metabolism. While the exact role and potential benefits of these metabolites in urine therapy are not fully understood, some proponents believe that they can contribute to overall health and well-being. 
it is important to note that the composition of urine can be influenced by external factors, such as diet and medications. Certain foods, beverages, and medications can alter the color, odor, and composition of urine. Additionally, the presence of certain substances in urine, such as ketones or glucose, can be indicative of underlying health conditions that may require medical attention. In conclusion, urine is a complex fluid composed of water, waste products, electrolytes, enzymes, hormones, and metabolites. The composition of urine can vary depending on individual factors and overall health. Understanding the composition of urine is essential for exploring the potential therapeutic benefits of urine therapy and how it may impact various aspects of health and well-being. 2.2 Nutritional Value of Urine Urine, often considered a waste product, contains a variety of nutrients that can provide essential benefits to the body. While there is still ongoing research and debate about the use of urine as a nutritional source, proponents of urine therapy believe it can offer a range of nutrients that can support overall health and well-being. When it comes to the nutritional composition of urine, it consists of water, urea, electrolytes, vitamins, minerals, enzymes, hormones, and antibodies. Below, we will explore some of the key components present in urine and their potential nutritional value. 1. Water Urine is primarily composed of water, making up about 95% of its volume. Staying hydrated is crucial for the proper functioning of the body, as it helps regulate body temperature, transport nutrients, and remove waste products. Choosing to drink urine as a source of hydration may provide some level of water replenishment. However, it's important to note that urine is not a substitute for consuming an adequate amount of fresh water. 2. Urea Urea is a compound formed in the liver as a byproduct of protein metabolism. It plays a role in the excretion of nitrogenous waste from the body. Some proponents of urine therapy believe that urea has potential benefits for the skin, claiming that it can moisturize, exfoliate, and even help treat certain skin conditions. However, research is limited in this area, and more studies are needed to determine the actual effects of urea on the skin. 3. Electrolytes Urine contains various electrolytes, including sodium, potassium, calcium, and magnesium. Electrolytes are essential for maintaining proper fluid balance in the body, regulating muscle and nerve function, and supporting cell communication. While some proponents argue that urine can replenish electrolytes, it's important to note that the concentration of these electrolytes in urine can vary. In cases of dehydration or electrolyte imbalance, consuming urine should not be relied upon as a sole source of electrolyte replenishment. 4. Vitamins Urine contains small amounts of water, soluble vitamins such as vitamin C, B vitamins, including thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, and vitamin B12, and vitamin E. These vitamins are essential for various bodily functions, including immune support, energy metabolism, and cell protection. However, it's worth mentioning that urine is not a significant source of vitamins and should not be considered a substitute for a well-rounded and balanced diet. 5. Minerals Minerals found in urine include calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, and trace minerals like zinc, copper, and iron. These minerals are vital for maintaining healthy bones, supporting muscle function, and numerous enzymatic reactions in the body. While urine contains trace amounts of these minerals, it should not be relied upon as the primary source. A balanced diet that includes nutrient-rich foods is essential for meeting mineral requirements. 6. Enzymes and Hormones Urine contains various enzymes and hormones that play a role in bodily processes. Some proponents of urine therapy believe that these substances can provide potential therapeutic benefits. However, research in this area is lacking, and more studies are needed to determine the actual effects of these compounds when consumed orally. 7. Antibodies Urine also contains antibodies, which are a part of the immune system's defense mechanism. Proponents of urine therapy argue that consuming urine can help bolster the immune system. However, it's important to note that the concentration of antibodies in urine is relatively low, and more research is needed to determine whether consuming urine has a significant impact on immune function. It is important to approach the concept of urine therapy with caution and consult with a healthcare professional before implementing it into your routine. Furthermore, it's crucial to understand that urine is not a substitute for a balanced diet and a healthy lifestyle. While urine may contain various nutrients, it is essential to obtain them through a well-rounded diet that includes a variety of nutrient-dense foods. In conclusion, urine contains a range of components that contribute to its potential nutritional value. However, the concentration and bioavailability of these nutrients can vary, and more research is required to fully understand their benefits and limitations. Before considering urine therapy for nutritional purposes, it is important to consult with a healthcare professional and rely on evidence-based nutrition recommendations. 2.3 Excretion and Detoxification Through Urine One of the primary functions of urine is to excrete waste products and toxins from the body. The process of excretion plays a vital role in maintaining overall health and well-being. By understanding how the body eliminates waste through urine, we can gain insight into the potential detoxification benefits of urine therapy. The Excretion Process to understand excretion through urine, it is essential to have a basic understanding of the urinary system. 
The urinary system consists of the kidneys, ureters, bladder, and urethra. The kidneys are responsible for filtering blood and producing urine, which is then transported through the ureters to the bladder for storage. When the bladder is full, urine is expelled from the body through the urethra. The kidneys are highly efficient organs that filter approximately 120 to 150 quarts of blood each day. During this filtration process, waste products, excess water, electrolytes, and other substances are extracted from the blood to create urine. The composition of urine varies depending on factors such as hydration level, diet, and overall health. Removing waste products. Urine plays a crucial role in eliminating waste products from the body. It contains various waste substances including urea, creatinine, uric acid, and ammonia. Urea is a byproduct of protein metabolism, while creatinine is a waste product of muscle metabolism. Uric acid is produced when the body breaks down purines, which are found in certain foods. Ammonia is a byproduct of protein metabolism and is converted to urea in the liver. By excreting these waste products, urine helps maintain proper bodily functions and prevents the accumulation of harmful substances. When waste products are not adequately eliminated, they can build up in the body and lead to health issues. The excretion of waste through urine is, therefore, crucial for maintaining a healthy internal environment. Detoxification Potential of Urine Therapy Urine therapy proponents believe that consuming one's urine can promote detoxification and cleanse the body. They argue that urine contains substances that support the removal of toxins and waste products, leading to improved health and well-being. While scientific research on the topic is limited, some proponents believe that urine therapy may have the following detoxification benefits. 1. Kidney Health Support Urine therapy enthusiasts assert that consuming urine can enhance kidney health and improve the organ's detoxifying capacity. They argue that urine contains compounds that can aid in the elimination of toxins from the kidneys, promoting their overall health and function. However, it is important to note that kidneys naturally filter waste from the blood, and their optimal function depends on factors such as hydration, diet, and overall health. 2. Lymphatic System Cleansing The lymphatic system plays a critical role in removing toxins and waste products from the body. Proponents of urine therapy suggest that consuming urine can support the cleansing of the lymphatic system, aiding in the removal of harmful substances. However, research on the direct effects of urine therapy on the lymphatic system is lacking. 3. Removal of Environmental Toxins Urine therapy advocates argue that consuming urine can help eliminate environmental toxins that enter the body through various sources, such as food, water, and air. They believe that urine contains antibodies, enzymes, and other compounds that can target and remove these toxins. However, further research is needed to fully understand the extent to which urine therapy can facilitate the elimination of environmental toxins. 4. Gut Health and Digestive System Cleansing The digestive system plays a significant role in detoxification, as it eliminates waste products from the body. Some proponents of urine therapy claim that consuming urine can promote gut health and aid in the cleansing of the digestive system. They argue that urine contains beneficial bacteria and enzymes that can support the removal of toxins and aid in digestion. However, scientific evidence supporting these claims is currently lacking. Conclusion Urine serves as a vehicle for the excretion of waste products and toxins from the body. While urine therapy proponents believe that consuming urine can promote detoxification, scientific research on the topic is limited. It is important to approach urine therapy with caution and consult with a healthcare professional before incorporating it into your daily routine. Understanding the excretion process through urine provides valuable insights into the potential detoxification benefits of urine therapy. 2.4 Urine as a Diagnostic Tool Urine therapy has been used for centuries as a diagnostic tool in various cultures around the world. The analysis of urine can provide valuable information about a person's overall health and help identify potential medical conditions. In this section, we will explore the use of urine as a diagnostic tool and how it can provide insights into our well-being. The Science Behind Urine Analysis Urine analysis, also known as urinalysis, is a common diagnostic procedure that involves examining the physical, chemical, and microscopic properties of urine. By analyzing the composition of urine, healthcare professionals can gain valuable insights into the functioning of various organs and systems within the body. One of the key aspects of urine analysis is the examination of urine color, clarity, odor, and volume. Changes in these characteristics can indicate potential health issues. For example, dark-colored urine can be a sign of dehydration, while cloudy urine may indicate the presence of an infection or high levels of protein. Additionally, urine analysis involves testing for the presence of various substances, such as glucose, ketones, proteins, blood cells, and bacteria. Abnormal levels of these substances in urine can provide important clues about underlying health conditions. 
For instance, the presence of glucose in urine can be indicative of diabetes, while the presence of blood cells may suggest a urinary tract infection or kidney stones. Identifying Metabolic Disorders Urine analysis is particularly useful in identifying metabolic disorders, which are characterized by abnormalities, in the body's metabolic processes. Metabolic disorders can affect the breakdown and utilization of nutrients, leading to the accumulation of toxic substances. By analyzing urine, healthcare professionals can assess the body's ability to metabolize certain compounds and identify any metabolic dysfunctions. For example, the presence of elevated levels of amino acids in urine may indicate a disorder called phenylketonuria, PICU. PICU is a genetic disorder in which the body cannot break down the amino acid phenylalanine properly. If left untreated, the accumulation of phenylalanine can lead to neurological damage. Early diagnosis through urine analysis allows for the timely initiation of treatment. Kidney Function Assessment The analysis of urine is also crucial in assessing kidney function. The kidneys play a central role in filtering waste products and excess fluids from the bloodstream, producing urine in the process. By examining urine composition, healthcare professionals can gauge the efficiency and health of the kidneys. For instance, the presence of protein in urine, known as proteinuria, can be a sign of kidney damage or dysfunction. The kidneys are responsible for retaining proteins in the bloodstream, so the presence of protein in urine may indicate leakage or impaired filtration function. Proteinuria can be an early indicator of kidney disease, enabling early intervention and management. Another parameter evaluated in urine analysis is the presence of creatinine, a waste product derived from muscle metabolism. Creatinine levels in urine are used to estimate glomerular filtration rate, GFR, which reflects the kidney's filtration capacity. Decreased GFR may be an indication of impaired kidney function and can help detect kidney diseases at an early stage. Furthermore, urine analysis can help identify the presence of blood cells, which can indicate conditions such as kidney infections, kidney stones, or even kidney cancer. Detecting these abnormalities through urine analysis can prompt further diagnostic investigations and early intervention, ultimately improving outcomes for patients. Monitoring treatment progress. Urine analysis also plays a crucial role in monitoring the effectiveness of certain treatments. For example, individuals with diabetes may undergo urine analysis to monitor their blood sugar control. High levels of glucose in urine, known as glycosuria, can indicate poor diabetes management, signaling the need for adjustments in medication or lifestyle. Similarly, individuals undergoing treatment for urinary tract infections, UTIs, may have their urine tested to ensure that the infection has been successfully eliminated. By analyzing the presence of bacteria in urine samples, healthcare professionals can determine whether the prescribed antibiotics have effectively treated the infection or if a different course of treatment is required. Limitations and considerations While urine analysis is a valuable diagnostic tool, it does have its limitations. For instance, urine analysis provides insights at a specific moment and may not always reflect long-term trends or chronic conditions. Additionally, certain medications, diet choices, and other factors can influence urine composition, potentially leading to false positive or false negative results. Furthermore, urine analysis should always be interpreted in the broader context of a patient's medical history, physical examination, and other diagnostic tests. It is essential to consider all available information before drawing conclusions based solely on urine analysis results. Overall, urine analysis as a diagnostic tool provides valuable insights into various aspects of our health, including kidney function, metabolic disorders, and treatment monitoring. By understanding the potential of urine analysis, we can appreciate the significance of this diagnostic technique and its contribution to healthcare practices. 2.5 Differences in Urine of Different Individuals Urine, as we have discussed earlier, is a remarkable substance that is produced by our bodies as a waste product. While the composition of urine may vary slightly from person to person, it generally consists of water, dissolved minerals, electrolytes, hormones, metabolites, and waste products. However, it is important to note that the specific components and concentration of these substances can differ between individuals. Several factors contribute to the differences in urine composition among different individuals. These factors include genetics, age, diet, hydration status, overall health, and even environmental factors. Understanding these variations can provide valuable insights into the potential benefits and limitations of urine therapy for different individuals. Genetic differences One of the primary reasons for variations in urine composition is genetics. Genetic differences can influence the production and metabolism of certain substances in our bodies, ultimately impacting the composition of urine. For example, some individuals may have genetic variations that affect the processing or concentration of specific minerals or substances in the body, leading to variations in their urine composition. Age Age is another significant factor that can influence urine composition. As we age, our bodies undergo various physiological changes that can affect the production and elimination of certain substances in urine.
For example, as we get older, our kidneys may become less efficient at filtering waste products and maintaining electrolyte balance. This can result in differences in urine composition between older and younger individuals. Diet Diet plays a crucial role in shaping urine composition. The foods we consume contain different nutrients and substances that are eventually metabolized and excreted through urine. For instance, a diet rich in fruits and vegetables can contribute to a higher concentration of vitamins and antioxidants in urine. On the other hand, a diet high in salty or processed foods may result in an increased concentration of certain minerals in urine. Hydration status Hydration status also influences urine composition. When we are adequately hydrated, urine tends to be clearer and lighter in color. This indicates a higher water content and a more diluted urine sample. On the other hand, dehydration can lead to darker and more concentrated urine, indicating a lower water content. The concentration of various minerals and waste products in urine can be affected by hydration levels, thereby causing differences in urine composition between individuals. Overall health The overall health of an individual can have a significant impact on urine composition. Certain health conditions or diseases can alter the concentration of specific substances in urine. For example, individuals with diabetes may have higher levels of glucose in their urine due to the body's inability to properly metabolize and regulate blood sugar. Similarly, individuals with kidney or liver diseases may have higher levels of certain waste products in their urine. Environmental factors Environmental factors can also influence urine composition to some extent. Exposure to certain chemicals, pollutants, or medications can potentially alter the composition of urine. For example, individuals who live in areas with high levels of environmental toxins may excrete higher levels of these toxins through their urine, resulting in differences in urine composition compared to individuals living in less polluted environments. It is essential to consider these differences in urine composition when exploring the benefits and potential risks of urine therapy. While urine therapy proponents claim that urine contains various beneficial substances, it is important to understand that the composition of urine can vary among individuals. Thus, the effectiveness of urine therapy may differ from person to person. Furthermore, it is worth noting that the variations in urine composition among individuals do not necessarily diminish the potential benefits of urine therapy. Instead, they highlight the importance of individualized approaches to urine therapy and the need for further research to understand how urine composition influences its therapeutic effects. In conclusion, urine composition can vary among different individuals due to genetic factors, age, diet, hydration status, overall health, and environmental factors. Understanding these differences is crucial in assessing the potential benefits and limitations of urine therapy. While urine therapy may offer some benefits, further research is needed to fully comprehend the relationship between urine composition and its therapeutic effects. 2.6 Collecting and Storing Urine for Therapy Collecting and storing urine for therapy is an essential part of engaging in urine therapy. While it may seem like a straightforward process, there are certain considerations and best practices that should be followed to ensure the efficacy and safety of the therapy. In this section, we will explore the proper methods of collecting and storing urine for therapy. Collecting urine Collecting urine for therapy can be done in several ways depending on personal preference and convenience. Here are some common methods. Midstream collection, this method involves collecting urine during the midstream of urination. Start by washing your hands thoroughly to maintain hygiene. Then, position yourself comfortably over a clean container, such as a wide mouth glass or a plastic urine collection cup. Begin urinating and once the flow is established, carefully place the container under the stream of urine to collect the desired amount. It is important to avoid touching the inside of the container or contaminating the urine with any other substances. Bedside collection for individuals who find it difficult to collect urine while standing, or for those with limited mobility, a bedside urine collection device can be used. These devices are designed to fit conveniently and discreetly over the genitals, allowing for easy collection of urine. They usually come with a graduated reservoir or bag that can be emptied into a separate container after urine has been collected. Collection hat or specimen container, these containers typically have a curved shape that fits onto the toilet seat. They are used to collect urine directly from the toilet bowl. Ensure that the container is clean and free from any contaminants before use. Regardless of the collection method chosen, it is important to maintain cleanliness and hygiene throughout the process. Always make sure that the container used is clean and free from any residue that may cause contamination. Wash your hands before and after collecting urine to minimize the risk of introducing any external bacteria or germs. Storing urine Once urine has been collected, it can be stored for future use in therapy.
Here are some guidelines for proper urine storage. Use a clean and airtight container. Choose a container that is specifically meant for storing urine. It should be made of glass or BPA-free plastic to avoid any chemical leaching. The container should have a tight-fitting lid to prevent leakage and maintain the integrity of the urine. Label and date the container. It is important to identify the contents and date of collection on the container. This will help you keep track of the age of the urine and ensure that you are using the freshest samples for therapy. Store in a cool and dark place. Urine should be stored away from direct sunlight and in a cool environment to prevent bacterial growth and maintain its potency. A dark cupboard or refrigerator can be suitable storage options. Avoid prolonged storage. While urine can be stored for a certain period of time, it is generally recommended to use fresh urine for optimal therapeutic benefits. Ideally, use urine that is no more than 24 to 48 hours old. Extended storage can lead to changes in the composition of urine and reduce its effectiveness. Do not freeze urine. Freezing urine is not advisable, as it can affect the cellular components and alter the composition of urine. It is best to store urine at room, temperature, or in the refrigerator. Shake before use. Before using stored urine for therapy, gently shake the container to ensure that any settled, sediments or components are properly mixed. This will help maintain the consistency of the urine. Dispose of any unused urine. If you have stored urine that you do not intend to use, it is important to dispose of it properly. Do not pour it down the sink or toilet as it may interfere with the water treatment process. Instead, seal the container and discard it in the regular trash. By following these guidelines, you can ensure that your collected urine remains safe and effective for therapeutic use. Remember to prioritize cleanliness and hygiene throughout the collection and storage process to minimize the risk of contamination. 3. Urine Therapy for Skin and Hair Health 3.1 Topical Application of Urine One of the most common and widely practiced methods of urine therapy is topical application, where urine is directly applied to the skin. This approach has been used for centuries in various cultures as a natural remedy for a wide range of skin-related issues. While it may initially sound unconventional, the benefits and healing properties of urine when used topically have been reported by many individuals. The Science Behind Topical Application Urine contains a multitude of compounds and substances that can have a positive effect on the skin. It is rich in urea, a natural moisturizer that helps retain water and keeps the skin hydrated. Urea also acts as a keratolytic agent, meaning it helps to soften and remove dry, dead skin cells. This can be especially beneficial for individuals with conditions such as psoriasis or eczema, where the skin is prone to dryness and flakiness. Furthermore, urine also contains antimicrobial properties. It contains substances like urokinase, which inhibits the growth of harmful bacteria, fungi, and viruses on the skin. This property makes urine a potential treatment for various skin infections and wounds. Using Urine for Common Skin Conditions Urine therapy has shown promising results for several common skin conditions. Acne, for example, can be effectively managed with topical urine application. The antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties of urine can help reduce the appearance of acne and prevent future breakouts. Individuals with acne-prone skin may notice a reduction in redness, swelling, and overall improvement in the complexion with regular use. Similarly, individuals with other skin conditions, such as eczema, psoriasis, and dermatitis can benefit from urine therapy. The moisturizing properties of urine can help soothe and alleviate the symptoms associated with these conditions, such as itching and inflammation. Many individuals have reported significant improvement in their skin's appearance and overall relief from discomfort after incorporating urine therapy into their skincare routine. Urine Therapy for Healthy and Youthful Skin Aside from addressing specific skin conditions, urine therapy can also be used as a beauty treatment to maintain healthy and youthful-looking skin. The natural components found in urine, such as collagen, elastin, and vitamins, can help boost the skin's elasticity, firmness, and overall appearance. Regular application of urine on the face and body can help minimize the appearance of wrinkles, fine lines, and other signs of aging. It is believed that the nutrients present in urine stimulate collagen production, which helps to improve the skin's texture and reduce the visibility of wrinkles. Many individuals who practice urine therapy for skin care swear by its ability to promote a youthful glow and maintain a supple complexion. Precautions and Tips for Topical Application while topical application of urine can offer numerous benefits, it is important to take certain precautions and follow best practices to ensure safety and effectiveness. Hygiene. It is crucial to ensure proper hygiene when collecting and using urine for topical application. Always wash your hands thoroughly before collecting urine and use a clean container to collect it. Avoid using urine that appears cloudy or has a strong odor, as this may indicate an underlying health issue. Patch test. Before applying urine to a larger area of the skin, it is recommended to perform a patch test. Apply a small amount of urine to a small area of skin and observe for any adverse reactions or allergies. If there is no negative reaction after 24 hours, it is generally safe to proceed with topical application. 
Dilution. Some individuals prefer to dilute urine with water before applying it topically, especially for sensitive or delicate areas of the skin. This can help reduce any potential irritation or discomfort. Consistency. To experience the potential benefits of urine therapy, consistency is key. Regular and ongoing use of topical urine application is typically required to see noticeable improvements in skin health and appearance. Consultation. If you have any underlying skin conditions or concerns, it is always a good idea to consult with a dermatologist or healthcare professional before starting urine therapy. They can offer personalized advice and guidance based on your specific needs and circumstances. It is important to note that urine therapy may not be suitable for everyone, and individual results may vary. While many people have reported positive experiences and improvements in their skin, health through urine therapy, more research and scientific evidence are needed to fully understand the mechanisms behind its effectiveness. As with any alternative therapy, it is always recommended to approach urine therapy with an open mind and make informed decisions based on your own research and comfort level. 3.2 Urine Therapy for Acne and Other Skin Conditions Urine therapy has been gaining popularity as a natural and alternative approach to skin care. Many individuals who have struggled with skin conditions such as acne, eczema, psoriasis, and dermatitis have reported positive results from using urine therapy. In this section, we will explore the potential benefits of urine therapy for acne and other common skin conditions. Understanding Acne Acne is a common skin condition that occurs when the hair follicles become clogged with oil and dead skin cells. It is characterized by the presence of blackheads, whiteheads, pimples, and sometimes cysts. Acne can affect individuals of all ages, but it is most commonly observed during puberty. There are various factors that contribute to the development of acne, including hormonal changes, excess oil production, bacteria on the skin, and the accumulation of dead skin cells. While there are several conventional treatments available for acne, such as topical creams, oral medications, and dermatological procedures, some individuals seek alternative remedies like urine therapy. Urine therapy for acne Urine therapy for acne involves the topical application of urine to the affected areas of the skin. Proponents of this therapy claim that urine contains healing properties that can help reduce inflammation, fight bacteria, and promote skin rejuvenation. However, it is important to note that scientific research on the efficacy of urine therapy for acne is limited, and more studies are needed to determine its true benefits. Advocates of urine therapy suggest that urine contains various components that may contribute to its potential benefits for acne. These components include urea, uric acid, ammonia, hormones, and enzymes. Urea, for example, is a natural exfoliant that can help remove dead skin cells and unclog pores. Uric acid has antimicrobial properties that may help fight acne-causing bacteria. To practice urine therapy for acne, individuals typically collect their midstream urine and apply it directly to clean and dry skin. It is important to ensure that the urine used is fresh and sterile to avoid the risk of introducing harmful bacteria to the skin. Some individuals prefer to dilute the urine with water or mix it with other natural ingredients like aloe vera or tea tree oil before application. Anecdotal Evidence and Testimonials While the scientific evidence supporting the use of urine therapy for acne is limited, there are numerous anecdotal reports and testimonials from individuals who have claimed to experience positive results. Some individuals have reported a reduction in acne breakouts, improved skin texture, and a clearer complexion after incorporating urine therapy into their skincare routine. It is crucial to recognize that individual responses to urine therapy may vary, and what works for one person may not work for another. Additionally, it is important to consider other lifestyle factors that may contribute to the improvement of acne symptoms, such as a healthy diet, regular exercise, stress management, and proper skincare practices. Precautions and Considerations Before considering urine therapy or any alternative treatment for acne, it is important to consult with a healthcare, professional, or dermatologist. They can provide guidance and assess the potential risks and benefits based on your individual circumstances. It is also important to note that urine therapy is not a substitute for conventional acne treatments. It should be used as a complementary approach and should not replace prescribed medications or dermatological recommendations. If you experience severe or persistent acne, it is crucial to seek professional medical advice for appropriate treatment. Furthermore, urine therapy may not be suitable for everyone, especially individuals with certain medical conditions or allergies. It is important to be cautious and aware of any adverse reactions or sensitivities that may occur during the use of urine therapy. If you experience any discomfort or allergic reactions, it is advisable to discontinue use and consult with a healthcare professional. Conclusion Urine therapy for acne and other skin conditions has gained attention as a natural and alternative approach to skin care. While anecdotal evidence suggests potential benefits, further scientific studies are needed to validate these claims. It is important to approach urine therapy with caution, seeking professional advice and using it as a complementary approach alongside conventional acne treatments. 3.3 Urine Therapy for Hair Growth and Scalp Health Urine therapy has long been recognized for its potential benefits in promoting hair growth and maintaining a healthy scalp. 
The use of urine as a natural remedy for hair care dates back centuries, with historical records of its application found in various cultures around the world. While the idea of using urine on the scalp may initially seem unusual or unappealing, proponents of urine therapy believe that it contains a plethora of nutrients and compounds that can nourish the hair follicles, stimulate growth, and improve overall scalp health. Understanding the Science Behind Hair Growth Before delving into the potential benefits of urine therapy for hair growth, it is essential to understand the factors that influence hair growth and the role of the scalp in this process. Hair growth occurs in cycles, with each hair follicle undergoing three phases, antigen, growth phase, catagen, transition phase, and telogen rest phase. During the antigen phase, the hair follicle produces new hair cells, contributing to hair growth. The speed and quality of hair growth can be influenced by several factors, including genetics, age, hormonal balance, diet, and scalp health. The nutritional composition of urine. Urine is primarily composed of water, electrolytes, urea, uric acid, creatinine, minerals, vitamins, amino acids, enzymes, hormones, and various organic compounds. While its composition may vary depending on an individual's diet, hydration status, and overall health, urine contains a range of nutrients that can potentially benefit hair growth. Some of these nutrients include Proteins and amino acids. Urine contains various proteins and amino acids, including keratin, the primary protein component of hair. These amino acids are crucial for the production of new hair cells and the overall structural integrity of the hair shaft. Minerals and vitamins. Urine contains trace amounts of essential minerals, such as calcium, magnesium, zinc, and vitamin B complex, which are vital for healthy hair growth. These minerals play a significant role in the synthesis of hair proteins and maintaining scalp health. Enzymes and hormones. Urine also contains enzymes and hormones that can potentially stimulate hair growth and improve scalp health. For instance, dihydrotestosterone, DHT, and androgen hormone, is believed to contribute to hair loss in individuals with a genetic predisposition. Some proponents of urine therapy claim that the hormones present in urine can help balance the DHT levels and promote hair growth. Potential Benefits of Urine Therapy for Hair Growth Advocates of urine therapy propose several potential benefits of using urine on the scalp for hair, growth and scalp health. However, it is crucial to note that scientific evidence supporting these claims is limited, and more research is needed to validate these assertions. Nourishment of hair follicles, proponents of urine therapy believe that the nutrients present in urine can penetrate the hair follicles and provide them with essential nutrients required for optimal growth. The amino acids, minerals, and vitamins found in urine are thought to promote stronger, healthier hair growth. Stimulation of blood circulation, massaging urine into the scalp can improve blood circulation, delivering oxygen and nutrients to the hair follicles. Improved blood flow may encourage the growth of new hair cells and stimulate dormant follicles, potentially leading to thicker, fuller hair. Anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties. Urine contains compounds with potential anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties, such as urea. These properties are believed to help soothe and calm an inflamed scalp, reduce dandruff, and combat scalp infections, creating a healthy environment for hair growth. Scalp cleansing and detoxification. Urine therapy proponents argue that urine has natural cleansing and detoxification properties. They believe that using urine as a scalp treatment can remove buildup of sebum, dead skin cells, and other impurities, which could potentially improve the overall health of the scalp and support hair growth. Maintaining pH balance of the scalp, the acidity of urine, with a pH ranging from 4 to 6, is claimed to help maintain the natural pH balance of the scalp. A balanced pH environment may protect the scalp from fungal and bacterial infections that can hinder healthy hair growth. Moisturization and hydration, urine contains water and natural moisturizing compounds like urea, which are believed to provide moisture to the scalp and hair, preventing dryness and promoting overall scalp health. Application of urine therapy for hair growth. If you are considering exploring urine therapy for hair, growth and scalp health, there are a few guidelines to keep in mind. Collecting urine, it is essential to collect fresh urine in a clean container. The first morning urine, known as the midstream sample, is often recommended because it has a higher concentration of nutrients. Diluting urine, some individuals prefer to dilute urine with water before applying it to the scalp. This dilution can help reduce the strong odor associated with urine and make it more manageable for application. Topical application, many proponents of urine therapy suggest gently massaging the urine into the scalp for a few minutes. Some individuals may choose to leave it on for a designated period before rinsing it out, while others prefer to leave it on overnight. The application frequency can vary, but it is often advised to start with a few times a week and adjust based on individual comfort. Hygiene practices, it is crucial to maintain good hygiene practices when exploring urine therapy. Make sure to wash your hands thoroughly before and after urine application to prevent the transfer of bacteria. Additionally, ensuring a clean scalp and hair is vital for overall scalp health. Individual sensitivities and allergies. It is crucial to recognize that individuals may have different sensitivities and allergies. It is advisable to perform a patch test on a small area of the scalp before full application to rule out any potential adverse reactions. Caution and considerations. 
While some individuals claim positive experiences with urine therapy for hair growth, it is important to exercise caution and consider the following. Lack of scientific evidence, the potential benefits of urine therapy for hair growth and scalp health have not been extensively studied in scientific research. The limited scientific evidence available does not support the efficacy or safety of urine therapy for hair growth. Individual reactions and allergies, each individual may react differently to urine therapy. Some people may find it beneficial, while others may experience adverse reactions or have allergies to specific components of urine. Hygiene and sterilization, hygiene practices are paramount when considering urine therapy. Using unclean containers or contaminated urine may introduce harmful bacteria that can lead to infections or other health issues. Professional advice, it is always recommended to consult with a healthcare professional or dermatologist before attempting urine therapy for hair growth. They can provide personalized guidance based on your specific needs and medical history. Conclusion Urine therapy for hair, growth and scalp health is an unconventional approach that proponents believe can provide nourishment, stimulate hair growth, and improve overall scalp conditions. However, it is important to approach this therapy with caution and consider the limitations of scientific evidence. Before incorporating urine therapy into your hair care routine, it is advisable to consult with a healthcare professional to ensure it aligns with your individual needs and to address any potential concerns. 3.4 Urine Therapy for Aging and Wrinkles Aging is a natural process that affects everyone. Over time, our skin loses elasticity, wrinkles start to appear, and signs of aging become more prominent. Many people invest in expensive skincare products and treatments to combat these signs of aging, but what if there was a natural and cost-effective alternative? This is where urine therapy comes into play. Urine therapy for aging and wrinkles may sound unconventional, even repulsive to some, but proponents of this therapy believe that urine contains numerous beneficial substances that can help maintain a youthful appearance. In this section, we will explore the potential benefits of urine therapy and how it can be used to combat aging and wrinkles. The Benefits of Urine Therapy for Aging and Wrinkles Urine is a complex liquid that contains various components, such as vitamins, minerals, enzymes, hormones, and growth factors. Advocates of urine therapy believe that these components can have a rejuvenating effect on the skin, helping to reduce the appearance of wrinkles and improve overall skin health. Here are some potential benefits of urine therapy for aging and wrinkles. 1. Hydration and Moisturization Urine is composed primarily of water, making it an excellent natural moisturizer. Applying urine topically can help hydrate the skin, keeping it plump and supple. This increased hydration can reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, giving the skin a smoother and more youthful look. 2. Rich in antioxidants. Urine contains antioxidants such as vitamin C, which can help protect the skin from free radical damage. Free radicals are unstable molecules that contribute to the aging process by causing oxidative stress. By neutralizing these harmful molecules, antioxidants can help prevent and reduce the signs of aging, including wrinkles. 3. Collagen and elastin boost. Collagen and elastin are proteins that are essential for maintaining skin elasticity and firmness. Urine contains growth factors and peptides that may stimulate the production of these proteins in the skin. Increased collagen and elastin levels can help reduce the appearance of wrinkles and improve skin texture. 4. Exfoliation and Cell Regeneration Urine contains enzymes such as urea, which has exfoliating properties. When applied topically, urea helps remove dead skin cells and promote cell turnover. This process can improve skin tone and texture, reducing the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. 5. Anti-inflammatory effects Inflammation is a major contributor to skin aging. Urine contains anti-inflammatory compounds that can help calm inflammation and redness in the skin. By reducing inflammation, urine therapy may help minimize the appearance of wrinkles caused by inflammation-related skin conditions. 6. Natural pH balancer The skin's pH plays a crucial role in maintaining its health and appearance. Urine has a slightly acidic pH, which can help balance the skin's natural pH. By maintaining a healthy pH level, urine therapy can promote optimal skin function and reduce the signs of aging, including wrinkles. How to use urine therapy for aging and wrinkles There are several ways to incorporate urine therapy into your skincare routine to target aging and wrinkles. Here are some suggested methods. 1. Topical application Cleanse your face and pat it dry. Then, simply apply a small amount of fresh urine to your skin using a cotton ball or your fingertips. Gently massage the urine into your skin in circular motions, focusing on areas with wrinkles or fine lines. Leave it on for a few minutes and then rinse your face with warm water. Follow up with your usual moisturizer. 2. Urine Facials For a more intensive treatment, you can opt for a urine facial. Mix fresh urine with natural ingredients, such as honey, aloe vera gel, or clay to create a mask. Apply the mask to your face and leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes. Rinse it off thoroughly with warm water and follow with your regular skincare routine. 3. Urine Compress 
Soak a clean washcloth or cotton pads in fresh urine and place them on your face. Leave the compress on for about 10 to 15 minutes, allowing the nutrients from the urine to penetrate your skin. Afterward, rinse your face with water and moisturize as usual. Potential Risks and Precautions While urine therapy for aging and wrinkles may have its proponents, it is important to consider the potential risks and precautions before incorporating this practice into your skincare routine. Here are a few things to keep in mind. 1. Allergies and Sensitivities some individuals may be allergic to certain components found in urine or may have sensitive skin that reacts negatively to its application. It is essential to do a patch test before using urine topically and discontinue use if you experience any adverse reactions. 2. Hygiene and quality. If you decide to try urine therapy, it is crucial to ensure hygiene and quality. Always collect urine from the first part of the stream to avoid contamination. Additionally, consider factors such as hydration, diet, medications, and overall health as they can impact the composition and quality of urine. 3. Professional advice. If you have any underlying skin conditions, allergies, or medical concerns, it is advisable to consult with a dermatologist or healthcare professional before attempting urine therapy. They can provide personalized advice and guidance based on your specific circumstances. Conclusion. Although urine therapy for aging and wrinkles may be considered unconventional and may not be widely supported by scientific evidence, some individuals claim to have experienced positive results. It is important to approach urine therapy with an open mind and consider all potential risks and precautions before incorporating it into your skincare routine. Remember, what works for one person may not work for another, so it is essential to listen to your body and make informed decisions about your health and well-being. 3.5 Urine Therapy for Dry and Damaged Hair Dry and damaged hair can be a frustrating problem for many individuals. Factors such as excessive heat styling, chemical treatments, environmental pollutants, and even genetic predisposition can contribute to the loss of moisture and damage to the hair shaft. While there are numerous commercial hair care products available on the market that promise to restore health and vitality to dry and damaged hair, some individuals have turned to a more unconventional approach, urine therapy. Urine therapy for dry and damaged hair involves the application of urine to the hair and scalp as a natural treatment to improve its condition. Urine, which is primarily composed of water, along with various waste products and naturally occurring compounds, contains a wide range of nutrients, minerals, and enzymes that can potentially benefit the health of the hair and scalp. One of the key components of urine that contributes to its potential benefits for dry and damaged hair is urea. Urea is a naturally occurring substance that helps to retain moisture in the skin and hair. When applied topically, urea helps to hydrate and moisturize the hair shaft, reducing the appearance of dryness and frizz. Additionally, urea can also help to repair and strengthen damaged hair by binding to the protein structures of the hair, making it more resilient and less prone to breakage. Another important component found in urine is ammonia. While the presence of ammonia may sound unpleasant, it actually plays a vital role in maintaining the pH balance of the scalp. The scalp naturally has a slightly acidic pH, which helps to keep the hair cuticle smooth and healthy. However, various factors such as the use of harsh, hair care products and environmental pollutants can disrupt this pH balance, leading to dryness, frizz, and dullness. The ammonia in urine can help restore the pH balance of the scalp, promoting healthy hair growth and improving the overall condition of the hair. In addition to urea and ammonia, urine also contains various vitamins, minerals, and enzymes that can nourish and revitalize the hair. These include vitamin B5 pantothenic acid, which helps to improve moisture retention and elasticity, vitamin E, which acts as a natural antioxidant to protect the hair from free radical damage, and enzymes such as urease, which can help to exfoliate the scalp, removing dead skin cells, and promoting a healthy environment for hair growth. To use urine therapy for dry and damaged hair, it is important to first collect fresh urine. Ideally, the urine should be collected in the morning, as it tends to be more concentrated and therefore may contain higher levels of nutrients. After collection, the urine should be diluted with water in a ratio of one part urine to two parts water to reduce its odor and concentrate the beneficial compounds. It is recommended to use filtered or distilled water to ensure cleanliness. Once the diluted urine solution is prepared, it can be applied to the hair and scalp. Start by thoroughly wetting the hair, then gently massage the urine solution into the scalp, focusing on the roots and damaged areas. Leave the solution on for 10 to 15 minutes to allow the nutrients to penetrate the hair shaft and nourish the scalp. After the desired time, rinse the hair thoroughly with water to remove any residue. It is important to note that the urine should be used as a treatment, not as a replacement for regular shampooing and conditioning. As with any alternative therapy, it is important to consider individual preferences and sensitivities before trying urine therapy for dry and damaged hair. While some individuals may find it beneficial, others may not experience the same results. It is recommended to perform a patch test on a small area of the scalp before applying urine therapy to the entire head to check for any adverse reactions or allergies. In conclusion, urine therapy for dry and damaged hair is an unconventional approach to hair care that has gained some attention among individuals seeking natural remedies.
the components found in urine, such as urea, ammonia, vitamins, minerals, and enzymes, have the potential to improve moisture retention, restore pH balance, and nourish the hair and scalp. However, it is important to approach urine therapy with an open mind and consult with a healthcare professional before embarking on this unconventional treatment option. 3.6 Urine Therapy for Skin Infections and Wounds Urine therapy, a practice that involves using urine for various health benefits, has been used for centuries to treat a wide range of ailments. One area where urine therapy has shown positive effects is in the treatment of skin infections and wounds. The powerful antibacterial and antifungal properties of urine can help combat infections and promote healing. The Antibacterial and Antifungal Benefits of Urine Urine contains a variety of compounds that have been proven to possess antibacterial and antifungal properties. One such compound is urea, a substance found in urine that acts as a potent antimicrobial agent. Urea exhibits excellent antibacterial activity against a wide range of microorganisms, including both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Another compound found in urine with antimicrobial properties is uric acid. Uric acid has been shown to inhibit the growth of several bacteria, including those that cause common skin infections like Staphylococcus aureus and Streptococcus pyogenes. Additionally, urine contains enzymes, such as lysozyme, that can break down the cell walls of bacteria, further aiding in the elimination of infections. Urine therapy for skin infections When it comes to treating skin infections, urine therapy can be used in various ways. The most common method is topical application, where urine is applied directly to the affected area. Urine can help cleanse the wound and prevent the growth of harmful bacteria, ultimately promoting faster healing. When urine is applied to a wound, its antibacterial and antifungal properties can help kill off harmful microorganisms and prevent further infection. This can be particularly beneficial for minor cuts, scrapes, burns, or insect bites. By promoting a clean and bacteria-free environment, urine therapy can significantly reduce the risk of complications and aid in the healing process. Urine therapy for wound healing in addition to its antibacterial properties, urine therapy has been found to promote wound healing and tissue regeneration. Urine contains growth factors like epidermal growth factor, EGF, and transforming growth factor beta, TGF minus beta, that are crucial for wound healing. These growth factors stimulate cell proliferation and migration, accelerating the formation of new tissue and promoting the closure of wounds. Furthermore, urine contains high concentrations of antioxidants, which can help reduce oxidative stress and inflammation at the wound site. By decreasing inflammation and facilitating a healthier wound environment, urine therapy can contribute to faster healing and reduce the risk of complications, such as infection or scarring. How to use urine therapy for skin infections and wounds To use urine therapy for treating skin infections and wounds, it is essential to follow proper hygiene practices and ensure the urine is as clean as possible. Here are some steps to consider. Wash the affected area with mild soap and water to remove any dirt or debris. Collect a small amount of midstream urine in a clean container. Apply the urine directly to the wound or infected area using a clean cotton ball or sterile gauze. Gently dab the urine onto the affected area, ensuring it is thoroughly soaked but not dripping. Leave the urine on the skin for a few minutes before rinsing off with clean water. Repeat the process two to three times a day until the infection or wound improves. It is important to note that while many people have successfully used urine therapy for skin, infections and wounds, it is essential to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new treatment. Not all wounds or infections may be suitable for urine therapy, and a doctor can provide guidance based on your specific condition. Conclusion Urine therapy, with its powerful antibacterial and antifungal properties, can be a beneficial natural treatment option for skin infections and wounds. The use of urine therapy can help eliminate harmful bacteria, promote wound healing, and reduce the risk of complications. However, it is important to approach urine therapy cautiously and consult with a healthcare professional to ensure its proper use and suitability for your specific condition. Four. Urine Therapy for Digestive Health 4.1 Drinking Urine for Digestive Health Urine therapy, also known as urotherapy or urine therapy, is the practice of using urine for medicinal purposes. While the thought of drinking urine may seem unappealing or even repulsive to some, proponents of urine therapy claim that it can have numerous benefits for digestive health. In this section, we will explore the potential benefits and risks of using urine as a treatment for digestive issues. One of the primary reasons why urine therapy is believed to be beneficial for the digestive system is its potential to promote gut health. Urine contains various substances that can support the growth and maintenance of a healthy gut microbiome. The gut microbiome refers to the trillions of bacteria and other microorganisms that reside in our digestive tract and play a crucial role in digestion, nutrient absorption, and immune function. Proponents of urine therapy argue that drinking urine can introduce beneficial bacteria and enzymes into the digestive system, helping to restore balance and improve overall gut health. They claim that urine contains probiotics, which are live bacteria that provide health benefits when consumed in adequate amounts. These probiotics are believed to promote the growth of beneficial bacteria in the gut and inhibit the growth of harmful bacteria. 
In addition to probiotics, urine also contains digestive enzymes that can aid in the breakdown and absorption of nutrients. Enzymes such as amylase, lipase, and protease help to break down carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, respectively, making them more easily digestible. Proponents suggest that drinking urine can provide a natural source of these enzymes and assist in the digestion process. Furthermore, urine therapy enthusiasts believe that drinking urine can help to alleviate various digestive disorders. Conditions such as indigestion, bloating, and acid reflux are said to be relieved by the consumption of urine. Some anecdotal evidence suggests that urine therapy may be helpful in treating conditions like irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, and Crohn's disease, although scientific research is extremely limited in this area. Advocates of urine therapy also claim that drinking urine can assist in detoxification and cleansing of the digestive system. They argue that urine contains waste products and toxins that are actively eliminated from the body, and reintroducing these substances can stimulate the elimination of toxins from the digestive tract. However, it is important to note that the liver and kidneys are the primary organs responsible for detoxification, and there is little scientific evidence to support the idea that drinking urine aids in this process. While proponents of urine therapy emphasize its potential benefits for digestive health, it is crucial to consider the potential risks and limitations associated with this practice. There is a lack of scientific evidence to support the claims made by urine therapy enthusiasts, and much of the information available is based on anecdotal reports and personal testimonials. Moreover, drinking urine may pose certain risks, particularly if the urine is contaminated with bacteria, viruses, or other harmful substances. It is essential to understand that urine is a waste product that the body eliminates for a reason. Ingesting urine that contains high levels of toxins or waste products could potentially be harmful to your health. It is also worth noting that urine composition can vary depending on factors, such as an individual's diet, hydration status, and overall health. The urine of a healthy individual typically contains water, electrolytes, hormones, and waste products like urea. However, it can also contain trace amounts of drugs, pesticides, and environmental toxins. In conclusion, while urine therapy enthusiasts claim that drinking urine can have digestive health benefits, there is limited scientific evidence to support these claims. The potential risks and limitations associated with this practice should be carefully considered before trying urine therapy for digestive issues. It is always recommended to consult with a healthcare professional before undertaking any unconventional therapies or making significant changes to your diet or lifestyle. 4.2 Urine Therapy for Gastrointestinal Disorders Urine therapy, also known as urotherapy or urine therapy, is the practice of using one's own urine for healing purposes. While it may sound unconventional, urine therapy has been practiced for centuries in various cultures around the world. In this section, we will explore the potential benefits of urine therapy for gastrointestinal disorders. Gastrointestinal disorders encompass a wide range of conditions affecting the digestive system, including irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, and gastritis, among others. These disorders can cause symptoms such as abdominal pain, diarrhea, constipation, bloating, and inflammation. Notably, urine therapy for gastrointestinal disorders is primarily carried out through oral consumption of urine. It is believed that the constituents present in urine may help alleviate symptoms associated with these conditions and promote digestive health. Urine contains a variety of compounds, including vitamins, minerals, enzymes, hormones, and antibodies, which may offer potential therapeutic benefits. Some proponents of urine therapy argue that these components can aid in the healing of gastrointestinal disorders by supporting the body's natural processes and addressing underlying imbalances. One of the key properties of urine is its antibacterial and antimicrobial activity. Urine contains urea, which has been shown to have antimicrobial effects against a wide range of bacteria, including those that commonly cause gastrointestinal infections. This antibacterial property may help in fighting off harmful bacteria and preventing or reducing the frequency of gastrointestinal infections. Furthermore, urine therapy advocates suggest that the various enzymes present in urine could help break down and digest food more efficiently. This may be particularly beneficial for individuals with conditions such as irritable bowel syndrome, where the digestion and absorption of nutrients may be compromised. Additionally, urine therapy is believed to have an alkalizing effect on the body. Gastrointestinal disorders are often associated with an imbalance in the body's pH levels, with an increased acidity. By consuming urine, which is slightly alkaline, proponents argue that it can help restore the body's pH balance, potentially reducing inflammation and supporting overall digestive health. Moreover, urine therapy may have a positive impact on the gut microbiome, which plays a crucial role in gastrointestinal health. The gut microbiome consists of trillions of beneficial bacteria that help in maintaining a healthy digestive system. Some proponents claim that the probiotic-like properties of urine could help enhance the diversity and balance of these bacteria, thereby promoting better gut health. It is important to note, however, that scientific research on the effectiveness of urine therapy for gastrointestinal disorders is limited, and the existing evidence is largely anecdotal. The practice of urine therapy is considered controversial and is not widely accepted in the medical community.
Therefore, it is crucial to approach urine therapy for gastrointestinal disorders with caution and consult with a healthcare professional before considering this approach. If you are interested in exploring urine therapy for gastrointestinal disorders, here are a few considerations to keep in mind. Hygiene. Proper hygiene practices are essential when collecting and consuming urine for therapeutic purposes. Make sure to wash your hands thoroughly before and after collecting urine and use a clean and sterile container for storage. Dilution. Some proponents suggest diluting urine with water before consumption to reduce the intensity of the taste and potential side effects. However, the dilution ratio and frequency of consumption should be tailored to individual needs and preferences. Consultation. It is crucial to seek guidance from a qualified healthcare professional who can evaluate your specific condition and provide appropriate advice. They can help determine whether urine therapy may be suitable for you and guide you on its proper use, alongside any conventional treatments. Monitoring. If you decide to try urine therapy for gastrointestinal disorders, it is important to monitor your symptoms closely and track any changes or improvements. This can help you assess the effectiveness of the therapy and make informed decisions about its continued use. In conclusion, while urine therapy for gastrointestinal disorders is a controversial and unconventional approach, some individuals believe in its potential benefits for digestive health. However, it is important to approach urine therapy with caution, considering the limited scientific evidence and the need for individual guidance from healthcare professionals. Ultimately, the decision to explore urine therapy should be a personal one, based on thorough research and consultation with qualified experts. 4.3 Urine Therapy for Detoxification and Cleansing Urine therapy, also known as urotherapy or uropathy, has been used for centuries as a natural method for detoxification and cleansing purposes. Many proponents of urine therapy believe that the consumption of one's urine can help eliminate toxins from the body and support overall health and well-being. In this section, we will explore the potential benefits of urine therapy for detoxification and cleansing and discuss how it may work in the body. The process of detoxification Detoxification is the process by which the body removes harmful substances or toxins from its system. The body has its built-in detoxification mechanisms, primarily carried out by the liver, kidneys, digestive system, lymphatic system, and skin. These organs work together to filter and eliminate waste products and toxins from the body. However, in today's modern world, we are exposed to a wide range of toxins from pollution, processed foods, pesticides, chemicals, medications, and stress. These toxins can accumulate in the body over time and overwhelm the natural detoxification pathways, leading to imbalances and health issues. Understanding Urine as a Detoxifying Agent Urine is a byproduct of the body's metabolic processes and acts as a waste product that contains various components that the body needs to eliminate. It consists of water, electrolytes, urea, uric acid, ammonia, hormones, enzymes, vitamins, minerals, and other organic and inorganic compounds. Proponents of urine therapy suggest that consuming urine, which contains the body's waste products, can stimulate the body's natural detoxification processes. They believe that urine therapy works by introducing small amounts of toxins back into the body, which can trigger immune responses and enhance the detoxification process. Urine Therapy for Liver Detoxification The liver is one of the key organs involved in the detoxification process. It metabolizes toxins and converts them into water-soluble compounds that can be eliminated through urine and bile. Proponents of urine therapy claim that consuming urine can support liver function and help remove toxins from the body. It is important to note that although urine contains waste products, the liver's primary role is to break down and eliminate toxins from the bloodstream. The liver is highly efficient in its detoxification processes and does not rely on urine for detoxification. However, urine therapy advocates argue that urine contains substances that can promote liver health and optimize its detoxification functions. Urine therapy for kidney cleansing The kidneys are responsible for filtering the blood and removing waste products, excess fluids, and toxins from the body, primarily through urine production. Proponents of urine therapy suggest that consuming urine can help cleanse the kidneys and improve their overall function. Urine therapy advocates believe that urine contains natural diuretic properties that can increase urine production and encourage the elimination of toxins from the kidneys. However, it is important to note that the kidneys are designed to filter and eliminate waste products efficiently without relying on urine consumption for cleansing purposes. Urine therapy for lymphatic system cleansing The lymphatic system plays a crucial role in the body's immune response and the removal of waste and toxins. It consists of a network of lymphatic vessels and lymph nodes that carry lymph fluid throughout the body. Proponents of urine therapy claim that consuming urine can support the lymphatic system's cleansing processes. Advocates of urine therapy believe that urine contains substances that can promote lymphatic circulation and enhance the removal of toxins from the lymphatic system. However, it is essential to note that the lymphatic system has its cleaning mechanisms and does not require urine therapy for optimal function. Urine therapy for colon and digestive cleansing The colon plays a vital role in eliminating waste products from the body. 
Proponents of urine therapy suggest that consuming urine can assist in cleansing the colon and promoting healthy digestive function. Advocates of urine therapy claim that urine contains beneficial enzymes and probiotics that can support the growth of healthy gut bacteria and improve overall digestive health. However, it is important to note that the digestive system has its methods for eliminating waste and does not rely on urine for cleansing purposes. Urine therapy for skin detoxification. The skin is the body's largest organ and plays a significant role in detoxification. Sweating is one of the mechanisms by which the skin eliminates waste products and toxins from the body. Proponents of urine therapy propose that applying urine topically can support the skin's detoxification process. Advocates of urine therapy suggest that applying urine to the skin can help draw out toxins, promote circulation, and nourish the skin with vital nutrients. However, it is important to note that the skin has its mechanisms for detoxification, and urine therapy may not be necessary or beneficial for skin detoxification. Conclusion Urine therapy has been used for detoxification and cleansing purposes for centuries. While there are proponents who believe in the benefits of urine therapy for detoxification, it is important to approach this topic with caution. The body has its natural mechanisms for eliminating toxins and relying solely on urine therapy may not be sufficient for optimal detoxification. If you are considering urine therapy for detoxification, it is essential to consult with a healthcare professional who can provide guidance and ensure your safety. Keep in mind that urine therapy may not be suitable for everyone, and there is limited scientific evidence to support its efficacy. It is always important to prioritize a balanced diet, regular exercise, hydration, and a healthy lifestyle as key components of detoxification and overall well-being. 4.4 Urine Therapy as a Probiotic Probiotics have gained considerable attention in recent years for their potential health benefits. These live bacteria and yeasts are known to promote a healthy gut microbiome and play a vital role in maintaining our overall well-being. While traditionally probiotics have been consumed through foods or supplements, urine therapy, too, can be seen as a form of probiotic therapy. Urine contains a diverse range of beneficial bacteria, such as lactobacilli and bifidobacteria, which are known for their probiotic properties. These bacteria help to maintain a healthy balance of microorganisms in our gut, support digestion, and strengthen our immune system. When consumed, urine can introduce these beneficial bacteria into our digestive system, acting as a natural probiotic. The idea of using urine as a probiotic may sound unconventional to many, but it has been practiced for centuries in different cultures. In Arctic medicine, urine has long been recognized for its therapeutic properties and has been used as a remedy for various ailments. In urine therapy, the urine is ingested orally, allowing the probiotic bacteria to populate the gut and provide their beneficial effects. The probiotic properties of urine therapy can be attributed to the presence of beneficial bacteria as well as other bioactive compounds. These compounds include enzymes, peptides, hormones, and electrolytes, which can have antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, and immunomodulatory effects in the body. The combination of these factors contributes to the overall probiotic effect of urine therapy. Research on the probiotic potential of urine therapy is limited, but some studies have shown promising results. One study published in the Journal of Clinical Immunology found that oral consumption of urine improved the gut, microbial profile in participants, increasing the levels of beneficial bacteria. Another study published in the Indian Journal of Medical Research reported that urine therapy enhanced the growth of probiotic bacteria like lactobacilli and bifidobacteria in the gut. It is important to note that urine therapy as a probiotic should be practiced cautiously and responsibly. Here are some guidelines to consider if you are interested in exploring urine therapy for its probiotic benefits. Hygiene and freshness, it is essential to collect and use fresh urine for probiotic purposes. Ensure that the collection container is clean and sterile. If possible, collect the urine midstream to minimize the presence of any external contaminants. Quality and purity. Avoid urine that may be contaminated with medications, toxins, or infectious agents. If you are on medication or have any underlying health conditions, consult with a healthcare professional before considering urine therapy as a probiotic. Start slowly. If you are new to urine therapy, start with small doses and gradually increase over time. This will allow your body to adjust and minimize any potential adverse reactions. Listen to your body and discontinue if you experience any discomfort. Personalized approach, like any other form of therapy, the effects of urine therapy can vary from person to person. Pay attention to how your body responds and adjust your intake accordingly. Some individuals may experience positive results, while others may not notice any significant changes. Supportive lifestyle, a healthy lifestyle is crucial for overall well-being. While urine therapy may provide some probiotic benefits, it should not replace a balanced diet and healthy lifestyle practices. Eating a variety of nutrient-rich foods, exercising regularly, managing stress, and getting enough sleep are essential for optimal gut health. It is worth mentioning that urine therapy as a probiotic is not a substitute for medical treatment or professional advice. If you have any underlying health conditions or concerns, it is important to consult with a healthcare professional before incorporating urine therapy into your wellness routine. In conclusion, urine therapy can be viewed as a form of probiotic therapy due to the presence of beneficial bacteria and bioactive compounds.
While research on its probiotic potential is limited, historical and anecdotal evidence suggests that urine therapy may promote a healthy gut microbiome and support overall digestive health. However, it is essential to approach urine therapy responsibly, ensuring hygiene, quality, and personalized intake. As with any alternative therapy, it is always recommended to consult with a healthcare professional before starting urine therapy for its probiotic benefits. 4.5 Urine Therapy for Nutrient Absorption Urine therapy has been touted for its potential benefits in nutrient absorption. Proponents of urine therapy claim that consuming urine can enhance the body's ability to absorb essential nutrients and vitamins, leading to improved overall health. While scientific research in this specific area is limited, let's explore the theories behind urine therapy and nutrient absorption. How Nutrient Absorption Works Before delving into the potential role of urine therapy in nutrient absorption, it is essential to understand how the body absorbs nutrients. Digestion begins in the mouth, where enzymes start breaking down food into smaller components. As food moves through the digestive system, it is further broken down by stomach, acid and enzymes, eventually forming a semi-liquid substance called chyme. Once in the small intestine, the chyme comes into contact with the lining of the intestinal walls, where nutrient absorption primarily takes place. The small intestine is lined with tiny finger-like projections called villi, which increase the surface area available for nutrient absorption. These villi contain many microvilli, which further enhance the absorption process. The nutrients, including carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, and minerals are then transported across the intestinal lining into the bloodstream. From there, they are delivered to cells and organs throughout the body, fueling important physiological functions and supporting overall health. The Theory Behind Urine Therapy and Nutrient Absorption Supporters of urine therapy believe that the consumption of urine can aid nutrient absorption by several mechanisms. While these theories are largely speculative and anecdotal, they suggest that urine may have beneficial properties and components that enhance the body's ability to absorb and utilize nutrients. Hydration One of the main theories behind urine therapy and nutrient absorption is related to hydration. Proper hydration is crucial for optimal nutrient absorption. Proponents argue that drinking one's urine, which is primarily composed of water, can help maintain proper hydration levels, ensuring that the digestive system functions effectively and nutrients are absorbed efficiently. Enzymes and hormones Urine contains various enzymes and hormones, which proponents of urine therapy claim can support the digestive process and assist in nutrient absorption. It is believed that these substances may enhance the activity of digestive enzymes, aiding in the breakdown of food, and facilitating nutrient absorption. Probiotics, the presence of beneficial bacteria, known as probiotics, in urine is another theory, surrounding nutrient absorption. Probiotics play an essential role in gut health, and can enhance the absorption of certain nutrients. Proponents suggest that consuming urine may introduce these beneficial bacteria into the digestive system, promoting a healthy gut microbiome and improving nutrient absorption. Lack of scientific evidence Despite the theories and anecdotal claims surrounding urine therapy and nutrient absorption, it is crucial to note the lack of scientific evidence supporting these assertions. There is currently limited research specifically examining the effects of urine consumption on nutrient absorption in humans. Most scientific studies investigating urine therapy have focused on other aspects, such as its potential antibacterial properties, detoxification effects, or its impact on specific conditions. Therefore, the direct relationship between urine therapy and nutrient absorption remains largely unexplored. The importance of a balanced diet while urine therapy enthusiasts may argue for its potential benefits in nutrient absorption, it is essential to emphasize that a well-balanced diet remains the key to obtaining optimal nutrition. A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats provides the necessary nutrients the body needs for proper functioning. Additionally, the human body is designed to absorb nutrients from food efficiently. Nutrients obtained from whole foods are accompanied by other essential components like fiber, antioxidants, and phytochemicals, which work together synergistically to support overall health. Conclusion while urine therapy proponents claim that consuming urine can enhance nutrient absorption, scientific research in this particular area is limited. Theories surrounding urine therapy and nutrient absorption suggest that elements, such as hydration, enzymes, hormones, and probiotics present in urine may support the digestive process. However, it is crucial to rely on a balanced diet and evidence-based recommendations to ensure optimal nutrient absorption for overall health and well-being. 4.6 Urine Therapy for Weight Management Weight management is an important aspect of overall health and well-being. Many individuals struggle with weight gain, obesity, and related health issues. While there are various methods and strategies available for weight loss and weight management, urine therapy has gained attention as a potential alternative approach. Advocates of urine therapy suggest that it can aid in weight management by supporting metabolism, reducing appetite, and promoting detoxification. In this section, we will explore the concept of urine therapy for weight management and examine its potential benefits and considerations. Understanding the Metabolic Effects of Urine Therapy Urine therapy proponents argue that consuming urine can support a healthy metabolism, thereby aiding in weight management. 
They believe that urine contains various compounds, including hormones and enzymes, that can enhance metabolic functions. It is believed that these substances can stimulate the body's metabolic processes, leading to increased calorie burning and improved energy utilization. While there is anecdotal evidence supporting the metabolism-boosting effects of urine therapy, scientific research in this area is limited. The specific mechanisms by which urine may influence metabolism are not yet fully understood. Further studies are needed to determine the validity of these claims and to explore the potential metabolic effects of urine therapy. Appetite Suppression in Urine Therapy Another proposed benefit of urine therapy for weight management is appetite suppression. It is suggested that certain components present in urine can act as natural appetite suppressants, helping individuals control their food intake and avoid overeating. Although some people may report reduced appetite after engaging in urine therapy, the scientific evidence supporting this claim is scarce. The exact substances responsible for appetite suppression, if any, have not been identified. Additionally, individual responses to urine therapy may vary, and it is important to consider that appetite regulation is a complex process, influenced by various factors, such as hormones, psychological factors, and overall dietary patterns. Detoxification and weight management Urine therapy is often associated with the notion of detoxification. Proponents argue that by consuming urine, the body can eliminate toxins and waste products, which may contribute to weight gain or hinder weight loss efforts. The human body has its own built-in detoxification systems, primarily carried out by the liver and kidneys. These organs filter and eliminate waste products from the body. While urine does contain waste products, it is important to note that the majority of these substances have already been processed and eliminated by the body. There is no scientific evidence to support the claim that urine therapy has a significant detoxification effect or that it specifically aids in weight management through detoxification. Weight management primarily relies on factors such as calorie intake, physical activity, and overall dietary patterns. Considerations and Potential Risks Before considering urine therapy for weight management, it is essential to understand and consider potential risks and limitations associated with this practice. First and foremost, urine therapy is not supported by mainstream, medicine or health authorities. It is considered an alternative practice, without sufficient scientific evidence to substantiate its claims. Engaging in urine therapy should be a personal choice made after careful consideration and consultation with a qualified healthcare professional. Secondly, urine may contain certain compounds or substances that could be harmful if consumed in large quantities or by individuals with specific health conditions. For example, individuals with kidney disease or certain metabolic disorders may be at risk of complications if they engage in urine therapy. It is crucial to consult a healthcare professional before starting any unconventional therapy, especially if you have pre-existing health conditions. Lastly, the taste and odor of urine may be challenging for some individuals to tolerate. It is important to consider the potential discomfort and psychological factors associated with consuming urine. The Role of Balanced Nutrition and Lifestyle While urine therapy for weight management may be of interest to some individuals, it is essential to recognize that sustainable weight loss and weight management ultimately depend on a balanced and holistic approach to health. Eating a nutritious diet, engaging in regular physical activity, managing stress levels, and adopting healthy lifestyle habits are key components of successful weight management. It is crucial to focus on whole food nutrition, portion control, and mindful eating instead of relying solely on unconventional approaches, like urine therapy. Working with a registered dietitian or healthcare professional who specializes in weight management can provide personalized guidance and support. They can help you develop a comprehensive and evidence-based plan that promotes long-term health and sustainable weight management. In conclusion, urine therapy for weight management remains a controversial and unconventional approach. The limited scientific evidence, potential risks, and lack of support from mainstream medicine warrant caution and further research. It is important to prioritize evidence-based strategies and consult healthcare professionals for personalized guidance when it comes to weight management. 5. Urine Therapy for Respiratory Health 5.1 Inhalation Therapy with Urine In addition to its numerous uses for topical application and ingestion, urine therapy can also be used for inhalation therapy. Inhalation therapy involves the process of inhaling the vapors or steam of urine to provide therapeutic benefits for respiratory health. The practice of inhaling the vapors of substances for medicinal purposes has been used for centuries in various traditional healing systems around the world. In urine therapy, inhalation therapy is believed to provide targeted benefits to the respiratory system, helping to alleviate various respiratory conditions and promote overall respiratory health. How does inhalation therapy with urine work? Inhalation therapy with urine involves heating urine to produce steam or vapors that can be inhaled. These vapors contain volatile compounds and beneficial substances present in urine, which are then absorbed by the respiratory tract. When urine is heated, the volatile components are released in the form of vapors, which contain various compounds such as urea, ammonia, and organic acids. These compounds have been found to have antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal properties, which may help in fighting off microorganisms that can cause respiratory infections and allergies. 
Inhalation therapy with urine is believed to work by Moisturizing the respiratory tract Inhaling the steam or vapors of urine can help to moisturize the respiratory tract, providing relief for dryness and irritation that may be caused by respiratory conditions, such as asthma and allergies. Clearing nasal congestion The vapors of urine can help to loosen mucus and phlegm in the respiratory tract, making it easier to clear nasal congestion and alleviate symptoms of conditions like sinusitis and bronchitis. Providing anti-inflammatory effects Inhalation therapy with urine is thought to have anti-inflammatory effects on the respiratory tract, helping to reduce inflammation and swelling. This can be particularly beneficial for conditions like asthma, where inflammation in the airways can cause breathing difficulties. Boosting immune function The compounds present in urine vapors are believed to have immune-boosting properties, helping to strengthen the body's immune system and enhance its ability to fight off respiratory infections. Promoting detoxification Inhalation therapy with urine may support the detoxification process by eliminating toxins and impurities from the respiratory system, improving overall lung function and respiratory health. How to perform inhalation therapy with urine Performing inhalation therapy with urine requires caution and proper technique to ensure safety and effectiveness. Here is a step-by-step -step guide on how to perform inhalation therapy with urine. Choose fresh urine. It is important to use fresh urine for inhalation therapy. The fresher the urine, the more potent it is in terms of its volatile compounds. Heating the urine. Pour the fresh urine into a clean heat-resistant container. Place the container in a larger pot filled with water and heat it gently on a stove. Do not let the urine come into direct contact with the heat source. Gathering the steam, as the urine heats up, the steam or vapors will rise from the container. Position your face over the container, at a safe distance to avoid burning, and cover your head with a towel to trap the steam and prevent it from escaping. Inhaling the steam, breathe deeply and slowly, inhaling the steam through your nose and mouth. Do this for about 5 to 10 minutes, or as long as you feel comfortable. It is important to practice caution and stop, immediately if you experience any discomfort. Cleaning up after the session, dispose of the urine properly and clean the container thoroughly to prevent any bacterial growth. Precautions and considerations Before attempting inhalation therapy with urine, it is essential to consider the following precautions. Hygiene Ensure that the urine used for inhalation therapy is collected from a clean and healthy individual. Maintain proper hygiene during the collection and handling of urine. Allergies or sensitivities Some individuals may be allergic or sensitive to the compounds present in urine. If you have a known sensitivity or allergy to urine, it is best to avoid inhalation therapy with urine. Quality and purity. The quality and purity of urine can vary depending on factors such as diet, hydration, and overall health. It is crucial to use good quality urine obtained from a healthy individual. Consultation with a healthcare professional. If you have any pre-existing respiratory conditions or concerns, it is advisable to consult with a healthcare professional before attempting inhalation therapy with urine. Other treatment options. Inhalation therapy with urine should not be considered as a standalone treatment for serious respiratory conditions. It can be used as a complementary therapy along with other conventional or alternative treatments under the guidance of a healthcare professional. Inhalation therapy with urine is a less commonly known application of urine therapy, but it has been reported to provide relief for various respiratory conditions. However, more scientific research and clinical studies are needed to validate its effectiveness and safety. It is important to approach urine therapy with an open mind and make informed decisions based on personal research and consultation with healthcare professionals. 5.2 Urine Therapy for Sinusitis and Allergies Sinusitis and allergies are common respiratory conditions that can cause discomfort and affect the quality of life for many individuals. While there are various conventional treatments available for these conditions, some people have turned to alternative therapies like urine therapy to alleviate their symptoms. In this section, we will explore the potential benefits and considerations of using urine therapy for sinusitis and allergies. Understanding Sinusitis and Allergies Sinusitis, also known as a sinus infection, occurs when the sinuses become inflamed and swollen. This inflammation can lead to nasal congestion, facial pain, pressure, and a reduced sense of smell. Allergies, on the other hand, occur when the immune system overreacts to substances such as pollen, dust mites, or pet dander. Allergic reactions can produce symptoms like sneezing, itchy and watery eyes, runny or stuffy nose, and sinus congestion. The Role of Urine Therapy Urine therapy, despite being a controversial topic, has been practiced for centuries in various cultures. Advocates of urine therapy believe that urine contains a range of beneficial substances, including vitamins, minerals, enzymes, antibodies, and hormones that can support the body's natural healing processes. When it comes to sinusitis and allergies, proponents argue that urine therapy may help alleviate symptoms and boost the immune system. Potential Benefits of Urine Therapy for Sinusitis and Allergies Antibacterial and Antiviral Properties Urine contains small amounts of urea, which has been found to have antibacterial and antiviral properties. This may help to combat any bacterial or viral infections that could be contributing to sinusitis. 
Anti-inflammatory effects, inflammation is a common symptom of sinusitis and allergies. Some proponents of urine therapy claim that the hormones and enzymes in urine can have anti-inflammatory effects, reducing the swelling and congestion associated with these conditions. Immune system support, urine contains antibodies and other immune factors that may help to strengthen the immune system. A healthy immune system is essential for protecting against allergic reactions and fighting off infections. Natural nasal rinse, nasal irrigation is a common practice for relieving sinus congestion. Some individuals use diluted urine as a natural saline solution to rinse the sinuses. The proponents of urine therapy believe that this practice can help remove irritants and allergens from the nasal passages. Considerations and precautions. While some individuals may find relief from sinusitis and allergies through urine therapy, it is important to consider the following. Individual sensitivities, as with any alternative therapy, individual sensitivities and reactions can vary. Some people may find urine therapy beneficial, while others may not experience any significant improvement or could potentially have adverse reactions. Possible risks before trying urine therapy for sinusitis or allergies, it is crucial to consult with a healthcare professional. They can provide guidance based on your specific health condition and advise on any potential risks or interactions with other medications. Hygiene and freshness. For those considering topical application or nasal rinses with urine, it is vital to ensure the freshness and hygiene of the urine used. Proper collection, storage, and hygiene practices must be followed to minimize the risk of contamination. Personal comfort. It is essential to consider personal comfort and preferences when exploring alternative therapies. If the idea of using urine therapy for sinusitis or allergies does not resonate with you, it is perfectly acceptable to pursue other conventional or alternative treatments that align with your beliefs and comfort level. Conclusion Urine therapy for sinusitis and allergies is a controversial topic that requires careful consideration and consultation with a healthcare professional. While some individuals claim to find relief and improvements through urine therapy, it is important to approach this therapy with an open mind and understand the potential risks and benefits. Ultimately, the decision to explore urine therapy for sinusitis and allergy should be based on individual preferences, comfort level, and in consultation with a healthcare professional. 5.3 Urine Therapy for Asthma and Bronchitis Asthma and bronchitis are respiratory conditions that can cause significant discomfort and affect daily life. While there are various conventional treatments available, some individuals have also turned to alternative therapies like urine therapy to manage their symptoms. Although this approach may seem unorthodox, advocates believe that urine therapy can provide relief and support respiratory health. In this section, we will explore the potential benefits of urine therapy for asthma and bronchitis. Understanding Asthma and Bronchitis Before delving into urine therapy, it is essential to have a basic understanding of asthma and bronchitis. Asthma is a chronic condition characterized by inflammation and narrowing of the airways, leading to symptoms such as wheezing, coughing, shortness of breath, and chest tightness. On the other hand, bronchitis refers to the inflammation of the bronchial tubes, which are responsible for carrying air to the lungs. Common symptoms of bronchitis include coughing, chest congestion, phlegm production, and fatigue. Potential Benefits of Urine Therapy Anti-inflammatory properties One of the key components of urine is urea, which has been found to possess anti-inflammatory properties. Inflammation in the airways is a significant factor in both asthma and bronchitis. By reducing inflammation, urine therapy may help alleviate symptoms and provide relief to individuals with these respiratory conditions. Antibacterial and antiviral properties Urine contains various substances, including antibodies, that can help combat bacterial and viral infections. For individuals with bronchitis, which is often caused by a viral or bacterial infection, urine therapy may assist in fighting off pathogens and promoting a quicker recovery. Mucolytic effects Urine has mucolytic properties, meaning it can help break down and thin mucus, making it easier to expel. In asthma and bronchitis, excessive mucus production can contribute to the obstruction of airflow, resulting in breathing difficulties. By promoting the elimination of mucus, urine therapy may help individuals breathe more easily and reduce coughing. Immunomodulatory effects Urine contains various immune system components, including white blood cells and cytokines, which play a vital role in regulating immune responses. By modulating immune function, urine therapy may help balance the immune system's response in individuals with asthma and bronchitis, potentially reducing the severity and frequency of symptoms. Methods of application While urine therapy for asthma and bronchitis primarily involves internal consumption, there are alternative methods of application that individuals may consider. Drinking urine Advocates of urine therapy claim that consuming urine can provide respiratory benefits. They suggest starting with small amounts, such as a few drops diluted in water, and gradually increasing the dosage if well tolerated. It is crucial to source urine from a healthy individual and ensure proper hygiene practices to minimize the risk of contamination and infection. Spraying urine, some proponents propose using a diluted urine solution as a nasal spray or throat spray. Advocates believe that this method can help reduce inflammation and promote healing in the respiratory tract. 
It is essential to exercise caution and consult a healthcare professional before attempting this method to ensure its safety and efficacy. Steam inhalation. Steam inhalation can be a helpful technique for respiratory conditions. Some individuals may choose to add a few drops of diluted urine to hot water and inhale the steam. This method aims to deliver the potential therapeutic properties of urine directly to the respiratory system. Important considerations. Before embarking on any alternative therapy, including urine therapy, individuals should consider the following. Consultation with healthcare professionals. It is crucial to consult with healthcare professionals, such as doctors or respiratory specialists, before incorporating urine therapy into your treatment plan. They can provide guidance, evaluate its potential benefits and risks based on your specific condition, and ensure it does not interfere with any other medications or treatments you may be undergoing. Individual variation. It is important to recognize that individual responses to urine therapy may vary. While some individuals may experience improvements or relief in their symptoms, others may not find it beneficial or may even experience adverse effects. Monitoring your body's responses and working closely with healthcare professionals can help determine the suitability of urine therapy for you. Hygiene and safety. If considering urine therapy, meticulous hygiene practices must be followed. Urine should be collected from a healthy individual and stored in a clean, sterile container. Additionally, attention must be given to proper dilution and preparation techniques to minimize the risk of infection or contamination. Holistic approach. It is essential to adopt a holistic approach to managing asthma and bronchitis. While urine therapy may be considered complementary, it should not replace conventional medical treatments or lifestyle modifications recommended by healthcare professionals. Proper management of respiratory conditions involves a comprehensive approach that includes medication, healthy lifestyle choices, and ongoing monitoring. Conclusion Urine therapy for asthma and bronchitis is an alternative therapy that some individuals have explored in their quest for relief and improved respiratory health. While urine contains various compounds that may have potential benefits, including anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties, it is crucial to approach this therapy with caution. Before integrating urine therapy into your treatment plan, consult with healthcare professionals for personalized guidance and ensure a thorough understanding of potential risks and benefits. 5.4 Urine Therapy for Sore Throat and Cough Urine therapy, also known as urotherapy or urine therapy, is a holistic healing practice that involves using one's own urine for various health benefits. While it may seem unconventional, urine therapy has been practiced for centuries and is supported by anecdotal evidence and some limited scientific research. Sore throat and cough are common symptoms of upper respiratory tract infections such as the common cold or the flu. These conditions can cause discomfort and interfere with daily activities. While there are various over-the-counter medications and natural remedies available to provide relief, some proponents of urine therapy believe that drinking urine or using it as a gargle may help alleviate sore throat and cough symptoms. One of the main principles behind using urine therapy for sore throat and cough is the belief that urine contains natural antibodies, hormones, and other beneficial substances that can help fight off infections and boost the immune system. Proponents also claim that urine therapy can reduce inflammation, soothe irritation, and promote healing in the throat and respiratory system. There is limited scientific evidence to support the use of urine therapy specifically for sore throat and cough. However, some components of urine, such as urea, uric acid, and certain enzymes, do have potential antimicrobial properties that could help combat bacterial or viral infections. Additionally, urine is known to contain various minerals and vitamins that may support overall immune function. To use urine therapy for sore throat and cough, proponents recommend the following methods. 1. Gargling with urine. Gargling with urine is one of the most common practices in urine therapy for sore throat and cough. Proponents suggest mixing fresh urine with warm water in equal parts and using it as a gargle, several times a day. They claim that this can help reduce inflammation, kill bacteria, and soothe the throat. 2. Drinking diluted urine. Another method suggested by proponents is drinking diluted urine to alleviate sore throat and cough symptoms. They recommend diluting urine with water, usually in a 1-1 or 2-1 ratio, and consuming it multiple times a day. Advocates believe that drinking urine can provide the body with antibodies and other immune-boosting substances that may help fight off infections. 3. Steam inhalation with urine. Steam inhalation is a common practice for relieving respiratory symptoms. Some proponents of urine therapy recommend adding a few drops of fresh urine to a bowl of hot water and inhaling the steam. They believe that inhaling the vapor can help soothe the throat, reduce inflammation, and loosen mucus, providing relief from cough and congestion. While some individuals may report positive experiences with urine therapy for sore throat and cough, it is essential to approach this practice with caution. Drinking or using urine as a throat gargle may not be suitable for everyone, and it is crucial to consult with a healthcare professional before trying any unconventional remedies. It is important to note that urine therapy should not be considered a substitute for standard medical care. If you have a persistent sore throat or a severe cough that does not improve or worsens over time, it is recommended to seek medical attention and follow the guidance of a qualified healthcare provider.
In conclusion, urine therapy has been suggested by some practitioners as a potential remedy for sore throat and cough. While there is limited scientific evidence supporting its effectiveness, individuals who choose to explore this practice should do so under the guidance of a healthcare professional. It is also important to remember that maintaining good hygiene practices and following conventional medical advice are crucial in managing and alleviating symptoms of sore throat and cough. 5.5 Urine Therapy for Lung Cleansing Urine therapy has been used for centuries as a natural remedy for various health conditions. One area where urine therapy has shown promising results is in lung cleansing and respiratory health. The lungs play a vital role in our respiratory system, and keeping them clean and healthy is essential for overall well-being. In this section, we will explore how urine therapy can benefit lung health and help in the cleansing and detoxification of the respiratory system. The respiratory system is constantly exposed to pollutants, allergens, and toxins present in the air we breathe. Over time, these substances can accumulate in the lungs, leading to respiratory issues such as allergies, asthma, bronchitis, and even lung infections. Urine therapy offers a natural and effective approach to help cleanse and support the lungs, promoting better respiratory health. Urine contains various compounds that can aid in lung cleansing. One of the essential components of urine is urea, which has been shown to have antimicrobial properties. The presence of urea in urine can help eliminate harmful bacteria and viruses that may be present in the lungs, reducing the risk of respiratory infections. Additionally, urine contains antibodies and immune-enhancing substances that can boost the immune system's function, further protecting the lungs from infections. One of the primary methods of using urine therapy for lung cleansing is through inhalation therapy. Inhalation therapy involves the direct inhalation of urine vapors, which can help deliver the beneficial compounds present in urine directly to the lungs. To practice inhalation therapy, you can place a small amount of fresh urine in a container and inhale the vapors by covering your head with a towel and leaning over the container. This practice can be particularly beneficial for individuals with respiratory conditions such as sinusitis, allergies, asthma, or bronchitis. The inhalation of urine vapors can help soothe and open up the airways, providing relief from congestion and breathing difficulties. It can also help reduce inflammation in the respiratory tract, alleviating symptoms associated with respiratory conditions. Furthermore, the antimicrobial properties of urine can help combat respiratory infections, supporting the body's natural defense mechanisms. Apart from inhalation therapy, drinking urine can also contribute to lung cleansing and respiratory health. When urine is consumed orally, it enters the bloodstream and circulates throughout the body, including the lungs. The nutrients, antibodies, and immune-enhancing substances present in urine can nourish and strengthen the lung tissues, improving their overall health and function. Drinking urine can also support the body's detoxification processes, which indirectly benefits lung health. By promoting overall detoxification, urine therapy helps eliminate toxins and free radicals from the body, reducing the burden on the respiratory system. This can lead to improved lung function and a decreased risk of respiratory ailments. It is important to note that while urine therapy has shown potential benefits for lung cleansing, it should not replace conventional medical treatments for respiratory conditions. It can be used as a complementary therapy to support respiratory, health and promote overall well-being. If you have a respiratory condition or any concerns about your lung health, it is crucial to consult a healthcare professional for proper diagnosis and treatment. In conclusion, urine therapy offers a natural and holistic approach to lung cleansing and respiratory health. Inhalation therapy and oral consumption of urine can provide beneficial compounds that help support the lungs, detoxification and strengthen their function. However, it is important to approach urine therapy as a complementary practice and seek medical guidance for any respiratory conditions. By incorporating urine therapy alongside conventional treatments and lifestyle modifications, individuals may experience improved respiratory health and a higher quality of life. 5.6 Urine Therapy for Respiratory Infections Respiratory infections are common ailments that affect the lungs, throat, and sinuses. They can range from mild conditions like the common cold to more severe illnesses such as bronchitis or pneumonia. These infections can be caused by viruses, bacteria, or even fungi, and they often result in symptoms like coughing, congestion, sore throat, and difficulty breathing. While traditional medical treatments for respiratory infections focus on relieving symptoms and fighting the underlying pathogens through antibiotics or antiviral medications, some individuals have turned to alternative methods like urine therapy to alleviate their symptoms and potentially improve their overall respiratory health. Urine therapy for respiratory infections involves the internal consumption of urine or the use of urine as an inhalant. Advocates of this therapy claim that urine contains compounds and substances that can help boost the immune system, reduce inflammation, and kill harmful bacteria or viruses that cause respiratory infections. How Urine Therapy Works for Respiratory Infections According to proponents of urine therapy, the practice works in several ways to combat respiratory infections. Boosting the immune system, urine contains various immune-boosting substances such as antibodies, cytokines, and white blood cells that can support the body's natural defense mechanisms. These components are believed to stimulate the immune system and help fight off respiratory infections. 
Antimicrobial properties, urine is said to have antimicrobial properties, including antiviral and antibacterial agents. These properties are believed to help kill or inhibit the growth of pathogens responsible for respiratory infections, potentially reducing the severity and duration of the illness. Anti-inflammatory effects, inflammation is a common symptom of respiratory infections. Advocates of urine therapy suggest that certain components in urine, such as urea and electrolytes, can help reduce inflammation in the respiratory system, providing relief from symptoms like coughing and congestion. Detoxification, proponents of urine therapy claim that consuming urine can help detoxify the body, thereby improving overall respiratory health. They believe that toxins and waste products present in urine can remove harmful substances from the body, leading to a cleaner and healthier respiratory system. How to use urine therapy for respiratory infections. There are several ways in which urine therapy can be utilized for respiratory infections. Internal consumption, drinking urine is the most common method used in urine therapy for respiratory infections. Advocates suggest starting with a small amount of fresh urine and gradually increasing the dose over time. It is important to note that urine should be collected midstream and preferably in the morning for best results. Inhalation therapy, inhalation of urine vapors is another method that some people use to relieve respiratory symptoms. This can be done by adding warm water to a container and holding it close to the face while urinating into the water. The steam produced can then be inhaled for a few minutes, allowing the respiratory system to absorb the beneficial compounds present in the urine. Gargling and nasal irrigation. Some individuals use urine as a gargle or nasal rinse to alleviate symptoms of throat or sinus infections. It involves mixing a small amount of urine with warm water and using it to rinse the throat or nasal passages. This practice is believed to help kill pathogens and reduce inflammation in these areas. Advantages and limitations. Advocates of urine therapy for respiratory infections believe that it offers several advantages, including its natural composition, affordability, and potential for improving immune function. They argue that urine therapy is a holistic approach to respiratory health that can complement traditional medical treatments and potentially enhance their effectiveness. However, it is important to note that scientific evidence supporting the use of urine therapy for respiratory infections is lacking. Most of the claims made by urine therapy advocates are based on anecdotal evidence and personal testimonials. Additionally, urine therapy may not be suitable for everyone, especially those with underlying medical conditions or individuals taking certain medications. Conclusion Urine therapy for respiratory infections is an alternative practice that some individuals explore to potentially alleviate symptoms and improve respiratory health. While there are anecdotal reports of positive outcomes, it is essential to approach this therapy with caution and consult with a healthcare professional before incorporating it into your treatment plan. Traditional medical treatments and preventive measures, such as proper hand hygiene, vaccination, and avoiding exposure to respiratory pathogens remain the primary methods for managing and preventing respiratory infections. 6. Urine therapy for urinary health. 6.1 Drinking Urine for Urinary Health Drinking urine for urinary health may sound unusual or even repulsive to some people, but urine therapy has been practiced for centuries and is believed to have numerous benefits. Urine, also known as liquid gold, or the water of life, is a natural substance that can offer support to the urinary system and help maintain its overall health and functionality. The primary function of the urinary system is to eliminate waste products from the body through the production and excretion of urine. It consists of several organs, including the kidneys, ureters, bladder, and urethra. These organs work together to filter out waste materials, excess fluid, and toxins from the bloodstream and eliminate them through urine. By drinking urine, proponents of urine therapy believe that you can support the health of your urinary system in several ways. Here are some of the potential benefits attributed to drinking urine for urinary health. 1. Nutritional Support Urine is not just a waste product, it also contains various nutrients that can be beneficial for the body. It is composed of water, along with small amounts of essential vitamins, minerals, amino acids, enzymes, hormones, and antibodies. These nutrients can provide nourishment to the body and support the overall health of the urinary system. 2. Antibacterial Properties Urine contains antimicrobial agents, such as urea and uric acid, that can help fight against harmful bacteria and protect the body from urinary tract infections, UTIs, and other urinary-related diseases. These natural antimicrobial properties of urine may contribute to maintaining a healthy balance of beneficial bacteria in the urinary tract. 3. Kidney Support The kidneys play a crucial role in filtering waste products and toxins from the bloodstream. Urine therapy proponents claim that drinking urine can help support the kidneys' detoxification process and improve their overall function. However, it is essential to note that there is limited scientific evidence to support this belief. 4. Hydration one of the more apparent benefits of drinking urine for urinary health is its hydrating properties. Urine is primarily composed of water, and by consuming it, you can help maintain adequate hydration levels in your body. 
Proper hydration is essential for healthy urinary function and can help prevent certain urine-related problems such as kidney stones and urinary tract infections. 5. Immune System Support Urine contains antibodies, which are proteins produced by the immune system to help fight against infections. By drinking urine, proponents of urine therapy believe that you can boost your immune system's ability to defend against pathogens and maintain a healthy urinary tract. While some individuals may find these potential benefits intriguing, it is important to note that the scientific evidence supporting the use of urine therapy for urinary health is scarce and limited. Most of the available research is anecdotal or based on historical practices rather than rigorous scientific studies. Moreover, it is important to exercise caution and consult with a healthcare professional before incorporating urine therapy into your routine. Drinking urine may not be suitable for everyone, especially those with underlying medical conditions or taking certain medications. If you are considering trying urine therapy for urinary health, here are a few guidelines to keep in mind. Hygiene. Ensure that you collect and store urine hygienically. Using a clean, sterile container to collect urine is essential to minimize the risk of contamination or infection. Start slowly. If you decide to drink urine, start with small amounts diluted in water and gradually increase the concentration if desired. It is important to listen to your body and stop if you experience any adverse reactions. Monitor your health. Pay close attention to any changes in your urinary health, such as increased frequency, pain, or changes in urine color or odor. If you notice any concerning symptoms, stop urine therapy and consult with a healthcare professional. In conclusion, drinking urine for urinary health is a controversial and unconventional practice. While some proponents of urine therapy believe it can offer benefits to the urinary system, the scientific evidence supporting its use is limited. It is crucial to approach urine therapy with caution, seek professional guidance, and prioritize personal hygiene and health. 6.2 Urine Therapy for Urinary Tract Infections Urinary tract infections, UTIs, are a common and painful condition that can affect anyone, regardless of age or gender. They occur when bacteria enter the urinary tract and multiply, leading to inflammation and infection. UTIs can cause symptoms such as frequent urination, burning sensation while urinating, cloudy or bloody urine, and lower abdominal pain. While traditional medical treatments for UTIs typically involve antibiotics, some individuals have turned to alternative therapies, such as urine therapy to alleviate their symptoms and promote healing. Urine therapy for UTIs involves using one's own urine to help combat the infection and restore the health of the urinary tract. Although it may sound unconventional, proponents of urine therapy believe that urine contains natural compounds and nutrients that can be beneficial in fighting off UTIs. The premise behind using urine therapy for UTIs lies in the belief that urine contains substances, such as urea, antibodies, and natural antibiotics that can help kill the bacteria responsible for the infection. Proponents of urine therapy also suggest that urine therapy can increase the body's overall immune response, making it better equipped to fight off infections. To use urine therapy for UTIs, it is typically recommended to drink a small amount of fresh urine, usually diluted with water, several times a day. It's important to note that urine therapy for UTIs should only be considered as a complementary approach and not as a replacement for medical treatment. If you suspect you have a UTI, it is essential to seek medical advice to receive an accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment. While there are anecdotal reports of individuals experiencing relief from UTI symptoms through urine therapy, there is currently limited scientific evidence to support its effectiveness. More research is needed to fully understand the potential benefits and risks of urine therapy for UTIs. It is also worth noting that individual responses to urine therapy may vary and what works for one person may not work for another. However, in some cases, urine therapy for UTIs may provide temporary relief or complement conventional treatment methods. Diluted urine could potentially help flush out the bacteria from the urinary tract, while the natural substances present in urine may have antibacterial properties. Additionally, proponents of urine therapy believe that regular consumption of urine can help strengthen the immune system, potentially reducing the risk of recurring UTIs. It is important to approach urine therapy for UTIs with caution and consult with a healthcare professional. They can provide guidance on the best course of treatment and monitor your progress. If you decide to try urine therapy as a complementary approach, it is essential to maintain proper hygiene practices and ensure that the urine used is fresh and uncontaminated. It's worth noting that urine therapy is not a substitute for conventional medical care or antibiotics. If your symptoms worsen or persist, it is crucial to seek medical attention to prevent complications and ensure proper treatment. In summary, urine therapy for urinary tract infections is an alternative approach that some individuals may consider to alleviate UTI symptoms and support overall urinary tract health. While there is limited scientific evidence to support its effectiveness, anecdotal reports suggest that urine therapy may provide temporary relief for some people. However, it is crucial to consult with a healthcare professional and continue with appropriate medical treatment for UTIs. 6.3 Urine Therapy for Kidney Stones Kidney stones, also known as renal calculi, are hard deposits of minerals and salts that form within the kidneys. 
They can be extremely painful and cause a range of symptoms, including severe back or abdominal pain, blood in the urine, frequent urination, and nausea. While there are various treatment options available for kidney stones, urine therapy is considered an alternative approach that can aid in their prevention and management. Urine therapy for kidney stones involves using one's own urine to help dissolve the stones or prevent their formation. This may seem counterintuitive, as kidney stones are primarily composed of crystals and minerals that are filtered out of the urine. However, urine contains natural substances, such as citrate, which have the ability to inhibit the formation of certain types of kidney stones. Citrate is a compound found in urine that acts as a natural inhibitor for stone formation. It binds to calcium, preventing it from crystallizing and forming stones. Additionally, urine therapy can increase urine volume and frequency, which helps flush out existing stones and reduces the concentration of minerals that contribute to stone formation. To harness the benefits of urine therapy for kidney stones, it is recommended to consume small amounts of fresh urine throughout the day. Fresh urine is preferable because it contains a higher concentration of citrate and other beneficial compounds. You can collect urine in a clean container and drink it within a few hours to ensure its potency. It is important to note that urine therapy should be used as a complementary approach alongside conventional medical treatments, and you should consult with a healthcare professional before making any changes to your treatment plan. One of the reasons urine therapy is believed to be effective for kidney stones is its alkalizing properties. Urine is naturally slightly alkaline, and this alkalinity can help neutralize the acids that contribute to stone formation. By maintaining a more alkaline environment in the urinary tract, the likelihood of developing stones can be reduced. Additionally, urine therapy is thought to have diuretic properties, meaning that it can increase the production and excretion of urine. This can be beneficial for kidney stone management as it helps to flush out the stones and reduce their size. By increasing urine volume, the concentration of minerals and salts in the urine is diluted, which makes it less likely for crystals to form and grow into larger stones. Furthermore, urine therapy may help improve overall kidney health and function. The kidneys play a crucial role in filtering waste products and toxins from the blood and maintaining fluid balance in the body. Through urine therapy, the kidneys are stimulated to work more efficiently, which can enhance their ability to remove waste products and prevent the buildup of substances that contribute to stone formation. It is important to note that urine therapy for kidney stones should be approached with caution, especially if you have underlying medical conditions such as kidney disease or urinary tract infections. Consulting with a healthcare professional is essential to ensure that urine therapy is safe and appropriate for your specific situation. In conclusion, urine therapy can be considered as a potential adjunctive treatment for kidney stones. Its alkalizing properties, ability to increase urine volume, and the presence of citrate make it a potential aid in preventing stone formation and aiding in their dissolution. However, further research is needed to fully understand the mechanisms behind urine therapy and its effectiveness for kidney stones. As always, it is important to work closely with a healthcare professional to develop a comprehensive treatment plan that best suits your individual needs. 6.4 Urine Therapy for Bladder Infections Bladder infections, also known as urinary tract infections, UTIs, are a common condition that affect millions of people worldwide, particularly women. These infections occur when bacteria enter the urethra and multiply in the bladder. The symptoms of a bladder infection can be uncomfortable and disruptive, including frequent urination, a burning sensation during urination, cloudy or bloody urine, and pelvic discomfort. While conventional medical treatments, such as antibiotics, are commonly used to treat bladder infections, some individuals also turn to alternative therapies like urine therapy to alleviate symptoms and promote healing. Urine therapy for bladder infections involves using one's own urine as a natural remedy to combat the bacteria causing the infection. Although it may sound unconventional, urine has been used for medical purposes throughout history and is believed to have antibacterial properties that can help in the treatment of bladder infections. The theory behind urine therapy is that the urine contains substances that can kill or slow the growth of bacteria, promoting healing and reducing symptoms. To use urine therapy for bladder infections, it is important to collect the urine in a clean container, preferably after cleansing the genital area to minimize the presence of external bacteria. Drinking a small amount of urine regularly throughout the day is suggested, as the urine's antibacterial agents may help inhibit the growth of bacteria causing the infection. Additionally, a warm compress soaked in fresh urine may be applied to the lower abdomen to relieve discomfort and promote healing. It is important to note that while urine therapy for bladder infections may provide relief for some individuals, it is not a substitute for medical treatment. If you suspect you have a bladder infection, it is crucial to consult with a healthcare professional for an accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment. Bladder infections can worsen if left untreated and may require antibiotics to fully resolve. Urine therapy for bladder infections is considered controversial and is not supported by extensive scientific research. The effectiveness of urine therapy in treating bladder infections may vary among individuals and results are subjective. Some anecdotal evidence suggests that urine therapy may offer relief from symptoms and promote healing, but further scientific studies are needed to validate these claims. It is also important to consider potential risks associated with urine therapy for bladder infections. 
drinking urine carries the risk of introducing additional bacteria into the urinary system, which may exacerbate the infection or lead to other complications. It is recommended to consult with a healthcare professional before attempting any alternative therapies, including urine therapy, especially if you have any underlying health conditions or are taking medications. In conclusion, urine therapy for bladder infections is an alternative approach that some individuals may consider to alleviate symptoms and potentially promote healing. However, it is essential to consult with a healthcare professional for an accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment. While urine therapy may offer relief for some individuals, its effectiveness is not widely supported by scientific research. It is crucial to prioritize conventional medical treatments, such as antibiotics, for the successful resolution of bladder infections. 6.5 Urine Therapy for Incontinence Incontinence refers to the involuntary leakage of urine, which can be a distressing and embarrassing condition for many people. While there are various treatment options available for managing incontinence, some individuals have explored alternative approaches, including urine therapy. Urine therapy for incontinence involves the use of one's own urine as a potential remedy for reducing or eliminating symptoms associated with bladder control issues. The underlying belief is that urine, being a natural substance produced by the body, contains a range of beneficial compounds that can help improve bladder function and strengthen the urinary system. Understanding Incontinence Before delving further into urine therapy for incontinence, it is important to have a basic understanding of the condition itself. Incontinence can manifest in different forms, including stress incontinence, urge incontinence, overflow incontinence, and mixed incontinence. Each type has its own unique causes and symptoms. Stress incontinence occurs when there is increased pressure on the bladder, leading to urine leakage during activities such as coughing, sneezing, laughing, or exercising. Urge incontinence, on the other hand, is characterized by a sudden and intense urge to urinate, which may result in leakage before reaching the restroom. Overflow incontinence occurs when the bladder does not empty fully, causing it to overflow and result in leakage. Mixed incontinence combines symptoms of both stress and urge incontinence. Urine therapy benefits for incontinence. Advocates of urine therapy suggest that it can potentially provide several benefits for individuals experiencing incontinence. 1. Strengthening the pelvic floor muscles, urine contains various nutrients and compounds, including hormones and enzymes, that are believed to support muscle health. Strengthening the pelvic floor muscles through urine therapy exercises may help improve bladder control and reduce the frequency of urine leakage. 2. Promoting tissue healing, advocates claim that urine contains natural substances that can promote tissue healing and regeneration. By topically applying urine to the affected area, it is believed to stimulate the growth of healthy tissues and potentially improve the strength and elasticity of the bladder. 3. Balancing the urinary system, urine is believed to have a balancing effect on the urinary system, helping to regulate and normalize urinary functions. Proponents of urine therapy suggest that by consuming small amounts of fresh urine, it can help restore the balance of the urinary system and improve bladder control. 4. Boosting the immune system, some proponents claim that urine contains antibodies and other immune-boosting substances that can help strengthen the immune system. A stronger immune system may have a positive impact on overall urinary health, potentially reducing the risk of infections and inflammation that can worsen incontinence symptoms. 5. Hydration and electrolyte balance. Proper hydration is essential for maintaining a healthy urinary system. Urine therapy involves consuming small amounts of fresh urine, which can contribute to hydration and electrolyte balance. Adequate hydration may reduce irritation and inflammation in the bladder, thereby improving incontinence symptoms. Methods of urine therapy for incontinence. If you are considering urine therapy for incontinence, it is crucial to approach it with caution and consult a healthcare professional. Here are a few methods that individuals have explored. 1. Internal consumption. Some proponents of urine therapy recommend consuming small amounts of fresh urine as a potential bladder support technique. It is important to note that this approach should only be considered under the guidance of a qualified healthcare practitioner, as they can assess individual health needs and provide appropriate recommendations. 2. Topical application. Topical application of urine to the pelvic area is another method some people have tried. It involves gently massaging fresh urine into the skin around the bladder and pelvic region. Advocates claim that this can promote tissue healing, improve muscle strength, and potentially alleviate incontinence symptoms. 3. Complementary therapies. Alongside urine therapy, individuals may also explore other complementary therapies to further support bladder health and incontinence management. These may include pelvic floor exercises, dietary changes, herbal remedies, and stress reduction techniques. It is important to consult with a healthcare professional to ensure the safe and effective integration of these therapies. Conclusion Urine therapy for incontinence is a controversial and unconventional approach that some individuals have explored. While some people claim to have experienced positive results, there is a lack of scientific evidence to support the effectiveness of urine therapy for incontinence. It is crucial to approach this alternative therapy with caution and consult a healthcare professional before considering it as a treatment option. 
Healthcare professionals can provide guidance and explore evidence-based approaches for managing incontinence, tailoring treatment plans to each individual's specific needs. 6.6 Urine Therapy for Prostate Health The prostate is a small, walnut-shaped gland located just below the bladder in men. It plays a crucial role in the reproductive system by producing and secreting a fluid that nourishes and protects sperm. However, as men age, the prostate can become susceptible to various health issues, including inflammation, enlargement, and the development of cancer. These conditions can cause discomfort, urinary problems, and impact overall quality of life. Urine therapy, the practice of using one's own urine for medicinal purposes, has been recognized for its potential benefits in promoting prostate health and addressing prostate-related issues. While the scientific evidence supporting these claims is limited, anecdotal reports suggest that urine therapy may offer some relief and support for prostate health. One of the hypothesized mechanisms through which urine therapy may benefit the prostate is by providing essential nutrients, hormones, and enzymes that promote healing and reduce inflammation. Urine is known to contain a variety of substances, including vitamins, minerals, amino acids, enzymes, hormones, and antibodies. These components may have anti-inflammatory and immune-boosting properties that could potentially aid in the management of prostate conditions. Additionally, proponents of urine therapy for prostate health argue that it may help in reducing the size of an enlarged prostate, a condition known as benign prostatic hyperplasia, beef. Beef is a common condition that affects many older men and can cause urinary symptoms such as frequent urination, weak urine flow, and difficulty emptying the bladder. It is believed that certain components present in urine, such as hormones and growth factors, may exert an inhibitory effect on the prostate gland, potentially reducing its size and relieving associated symptoms. Moreover, urine therapy may also have potential benefits in preventing and combating prostate cancer, one of the most common cancers in men. While research on the topic is still in its early stages, some studies have suggested that certain compounds found in urine, such as antiangiogenic factors and biomarkers, could possess anti-cancer properties. These substances may help inhibit the growth of cancer cells and potentially promote their apoptosis, cell death. When it comes to using urine therapy for prostate health, it is essential to consult with a healthcare professional before attempting any self-treatment. Despite the potential benefits, urine therapy is not a substitute for traditional medical interventions. Healthcare providers can provide a comprehensive evaluation and recommend appropriate diagnostic tests to assess the underlying cause of prostate symptoms. They can guide individuals on the best course of action and tailor a treatment plan based on their unique needs. It is important to note that urine therapy should not replace or interfere with any ongoing medical treatments without professional guidance. It is crucial to follow medical advice and treatments prescribed by healthcare professionals. Urine therapy can be used as a complementary approach alongside conventional medical interventions under medical supervision. For those interested in exploring urine therapy for prostate health, the most common method involves drinking one's own urine. Proponents believe that the therapeutic benefits lie in the presence of various bioactive compounds present in the urine. However, it is important to understand that the taste and smell of urine can be off-putting for many individuals. Therefore, it is recommended to dilute the urine with water or combine it with other natural ingredients to make it more palatable. Urine therapy can also be used topically for prostate health. Some individuals advocate for applying fresh urine directly to the lower, abdomen or perineum, the area between the scrotum and anus. This approach aims to deliver the beneficial components of urine directly to the prostate gland. While urine therapy may hold promise for promoting prostate health, more scientific research is required to understand its mechanisms of action, efficacy, and potential side effects fully. Until then, individuals should exercise caution and make informed decisions about incorporating urine therapy into their prostate health regimen. In conclusion, urine therapy has been suggested as a potential complementary approach for promoting prostate health. Its purported benefits include reducing inflammation, addressing benign prostatic hyperplasia, and possibly even preventing and combating prostate cancer. However, it is essential to remember that scientific research on urine therapy for prostate health is still limited, and it should not replace or interfere with conventional medical treatments. Consulting with a healthcare professional is crucial to obtain a proper diagnosis, follow appropriate medical interventions, and ensure safe and effective management of prostate-related conditions. 7. Urine Therapy for Immune System Boost 7.1 Urine as an Immune Booster Urine therapy, also known as urotherapy or auto-urine therapy, is a practice that involves using one's own urine for medicinal purposes. Throughout history, urine has been recognized for its potential benefits in boosting the immune system and promoting overall health and wellness. In this section, we will explore the immune-boosting properties of urine therapy and how it may support the body's defense mechanisms. The immune system plays a vital role in protecting the body from harmful pathogens, such as bacteria, viruses, and fungi. It is an intricate network of cells, tissues, and organs that work together to identify and neutralize foreign substances and maintain the overall health of the body. When the immune system is weakened, the body becomes more susceptible to infections, allergies, and other diseases. Urine therapy has been claimed to enhance the immune system's function and promote overall well-being. One of the ways urine therapy may boost immunity is through its immunomodulatory properties. 
Certain components found in urine, such as antibodies, cytokines, and peptides, have been shown to have immunomodulatory effects, meaning they can regulate and optimize the immune system's response. Antibodies are proteins produced by the immune system in response to the presence of foreign substances. They bind to these substances, such as bacteria or viruses, to neutralize and eliminate them from the body. Some studies have demonstrated the presence of antibodies in urine, suggesting that the topical or oral application of urine may supply the body with additional antibodies to strengthen the immune response. Cytokines are small proteins that act as messengers between immune cells. They play a crucial role in regulating immune responses, inflammation, and the activation of immune cells. It has been found that urine contains various cytokines, such as interleukins and interferons, which can modulate immune cell activity and promote a balanced immune response. Additionally, urine contains peptides, which are short chains of amino acids that have diverse biological functions. Certain peptides found in urine have been shown to possess antimicrobial properties, helping to inhibit the growth of bacteria and fungi. These antimicrobial peptides may also have immune regulatory effects, assisting in the overall defense against infections. One of the proposed mechanisms by which urine therapy may boost the immune system is through the process of auto-vaccination. Auto-vaccination refers to the introduction of small amounts of pathogens or their byproducts back into the body to stimulate the immune system's response. By reintroducing small traces of pathogens present in the urine, it is believed that urine therapy may help train the immune system to recognize and combat potential threats more effectively. Furthermore, urine therapy is thought to aid in the detoxification of the body. The immune system works closely with the liver and kidneys to eliminate toxins and metabolic waste products. By promoting the detoxification process, urine therapy may relieve the burden on the immune system, allowing it to focus on defending against foreign invaders. While there are anecdotal reports of individuals experiencing immune boosting effects from urine therapy, it is crucial to note that scientific research in this area is limited. More studies are needed to fully understand the mechanisms behind urine, therapy's potential immune-boosting properties and its effectiveness in promoting overall immune health. It is important to consult with a healthcare professional before considering urine therapy or any alternative practices for immune support. They can provide guidance, assess your individual circumstances, and determine the best course of action for your specific health needs. Urine therapy should not replace conventional medical treatments, but may be used as a complementary approach under appropriate medical supervision. In conclusion, urine therapy has been associated with potential immune-boosting properties. Components found in urine, such as antibodies, cytokines, and peptides, may interact with the immune system and modulate its response. However, the scientific evidence in this field is limited, and more research is necessary to substantiate the claims. As with any alternative practice, it is crucial to consult with a healthcare professional before considering urine therapy for immune support. 7.2 Urine Therapy for Autoimmune Disorders Autoimmune disorders are conditions where the body's immune system mistakenly attacks healthy cells and tissues. These disorders can cause a wide range of symptoms and complications, affecting various parts of the body. While urine therapy may not be a cure for autoimmune disorders, some proponents believe that it can help alleviate symptoms and support immune system function. Urine therapy involves the use of one's own urine for therapeutic purposes. It is based on the belief that urine contains vital substances and compounds that can promote healing and boost immunity. When it comes to autoimmune disorders, urine therapy is thought to work by modulating the immune system's response and reducing inflammation. One of the main components of urine is urea, a nitrogenous waste product that is filtered out of the bloodstream by the kidneys. Urea has been found to have anti-inflammatory properties and is known to play a role in immune regulation. It is believed that by reintroducing urea into the body through urine therapy, the immune system's response can be balanced, potentially reducing the severity of autoimmune symptoms. In addition to urea, urine also contains various other compounds that can have immune-boosting effects. These include peptides, hormones, enzymes, vitamins, and minerals. Proponents of urine therapy believe that when these substances are reabsorbed through the skin or consumed orally, they can support the body's immune response and help regulate the immune system's attack on healthy tissues. There is limited scientific research specifically examining urine therapy for autoimmune disorders. However, some studies have explored the use of urine-derived compounds, such as urokinase and urophilotropin, for their potential immunomodulatory effects. These compounds have shown promise in reducing inflammation and modulating immune responses in certain autoimmune conditions. While anecdotal evidence and personal testimonials suggest that urine therapy may have benefits for autoimmune disorders, it is essential to approach these claims with caution. Autoimmune disorders are complex conditions with varied symptoms and presentations. What works for one individual may not work for another, and there is no one-size-fits-all approach to treatment. If you are considering urine therapy for an autoimmune disorder, it is crucial to consult with a healthcare professional who specializes in autoimmune diseases. They can provide guidance and support in making informed decisions about your treatment options. It is important to note that urine therapy should not be used as a substitute for conventional medical care but rather as a complementary approach. It is also worth noting that individuals with autoimmune disorders often have specific dietary restrictions or sensitivities. 
Before starting urine therapy or any alternative treatment, it is vital to ensure that it does not interfere with any existing treatments or dietary regimens. In conclusion, urine therapy for autoimmune disorders is an area that requires further research and scientific investigation. While there may be potential benefits in using urine-derived compounds for immune modulation, it is important to approach urine therapy with caution and under the guidance of a qualified healthcare professional. Autoimmune disorders are complex conditions that require a comprehensive approach to treatment, and urine therapy should be seen as a complementary therapy rather than a standalone treatment option. 7.3 Urine Therapy for Allergies and Sensitivities Allergies and sensitivities can greatly affect our quality of life. They can cause discomfort, physical symptoms, and even lead to serious health issues if left untreated. Many people turn to conventional treatments such as antihistamines or allergy shots to alleviate their symptoms. However, there is a lesser-known alternative therapy that has been gaining attention for its potential effectiveness in addressing allergies and sensitivities, urine therapy. Urine therapy for allergies and sensitivities involves the use of one's own urine to help alleviate symptoms and improve overall immune function. While the idea of using urine for therapeutic purposes may seem unconventional and unappealing to some, proponents of urine therapy believe that it has the potential to provide relief for a variety of allergic conditions. One of the main reasons why urine therapy is thought to be effective for allergies and sensitivities is its ability to modulate the immune system. Allergies and sensitivities occur due to an overreaction of the immune system to harmless substances, such as pollen or certain foods. By introducing small amounts of urine into the body, it is believed that urine therapy can help regulate the immune response and reduce the body's sensitivity to allergens. Urine therapy is often used in two different ways for allergies and sensitivities, oral consumption and topical application. Oral consumption when used orally, urine is ingested to promote overall immune balance and reduce the body's hypersensitivity to allergens. Some proponents suggest starting with a few drops of fresh urine and gradually increasing the quantity over time. It is recommended to consult with a healthcare professional or a practitioner experienced in urine therapy before attempting oral consumption. Advocates of urine therapy for allergies believe that this approach helps the body build tolerance to allergens and reduce the severity of allergic reactions. It is important to note that, while anecdotal evidence supports the use of urine therapy for allergies, more scientific research is needed to understand the mechanisms and verify its effectiveness. Topical application Topical application of urine is another potential method for addressing allergies and sensitivities. It involves applying fresh urine directly to the affected area or using urine-soaked compresses. Proponents claim that this approach can provide relief by reducing inflammation, soothing irritation, and promoting skin healing. Some individuals also use urine as a nasal rinse or eye drops to alleviate symptoms associated with allergies or sensitivities affecting those areas. However, it is crucial to exercise caution and ensure that proper hygiene practices are followed when using urine for topical application. It is recommended to dilute urine with water before applying it to the skin or mucous membranes. While urine therapy for allergies and sensitivities has been practiced and valued by some individuals, it is important to note that conventional medical treatments and interventions should not be disregarded. Allergies and sensitivities can vary widely in severity, and professional medical advice should always be sought to determine the most appropriate course of action. Moreover, it is essential to be aware of potential risks and contraindications associated with urine therapy. Those with certain medical conditions, such as urinary tract infections or kidney problems, should avoid urine therapy. Additionally, urine therapy should never replace prescribed medications or treatments without consulting a healthcare professional. In conclusion, urine therapy for allergies and sensitivities is a controversial and alternative approach that some individuals have found helpful in managing their symptoms. While anecdotal evidence suggests potential benefits, further scientific research is needed to establish its effectiveness and safety. It is important to approach urine therapy with caution, consult with healthcare professionals, and explore a comprehensive approach that considers conventional treatments and lifestyle modifications for managing allergies and sensitivities. 7.4 Urine Therapy for Cancer Support Cancer is a devastating disease that affects millions of people worldwide. It is characterized by the uncontrolled growth and spread of abnormal cells in the body. While there are many conventional treatment options available for cancer, such as chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and surgery, some individuals turn to alternative therapies like urine therapy to support their cancer treatment journey. Urine therapy, also known as urotherapy or auto-urine therapy, involves the use of one's own urine for therapeutic purposes. It has been used in various cultures for centuries and is believed to have numerous health benefits. While its effectiveness in treating cancer is still a topic of debate in the medical community, some individuals claim that urine therapy can provide support during cancer treatment and help reduce its side effects. Here, we explore the potential benefits of urine therapy for cancer support. 1. Immune System Enhancement The immune system plays a crucial role in identifying and eliminating abnormal cells, including cancer cells. Supporters of urine therapy believe that it can stimulate and strengthen the immune system, potentially aiding in the body's natural defense against cancer. 
Urine contains various components, such as antibodies, cytokines, and immune cells that may help support immune system function. Detoxification and cleansing. Cancer treatment often involves the use of chemotherapy and radiation therapy, which can produce toxic byproducts in the body. Proponents of urine therapy suggest that it can assist in detoxification and cleansing, helping to eliminate these accumulated toxins. Additionally, urine therapy is believed to have diuretic properties, promoting the excretion of waste products and potentially improving overall bodily functions. Nutritional support Urine contains a variety of nutrients, including vitamins, minerals, and amino acids. Advocates of urine therapy claim that these nutrients can provide nutritional support during cancer treatment. While urine is not considered a primary source of nutrition, it may contribute to a well-rounded diet and help maintain adequate nutrient levels in the body. Hydration and electrolyte balance Staying hydrated is essential for overall health, including during cancer treatment. Maintaining proper hydration levels can support bodily functions and aid in the management of cancer-related side effects, such as nausea, vomiting, and fatigue. Urine therapy, when used in conjunction with adequate water intake, may help promote hydration and electrolyte balance. Emotional and psychological support Dealing with a cancer diagnosis and its treatment can take a toll on an individual's emotional and psychological well-being. Some proponents of urine therapy argue that it can provide psychological support by promoting a positive mindset and boosting overall well-being. Engaging in self-care practices and incorporating alternative therapies into one's routine may help reduce stress and improve the quality of life during cancer treatment. Complementary Therapy It's important to note that urine therapy should not be used as a standalone treatment for cancer. Instead, it is often recommended as a complementary therapy in conjunction with conventional medical treatments. It is crucial to discuss the use of urine therapy with a qualified healthcare professional to ensure its safe integration into an individual's overall cancer treatment plan. Potential Risks and Considerations While proponents of urine therapy claim various benefits, it is essential to approach this alternative therapy with caution, particularly when undergoing cancer treatment. Some potential risks and considerations include the following. Urine therapy may not be suitable for individuals with compromised immune systems. There is limited scientific evidence supporting the use of urine therapy for cancer treatment. Certain medications, chemotherapy drugs, or treatments may interact with urine therapy, leading to potential side effects or reduced efficacy. There is a risk of contamination or infection if urine is not collected, stored, or used properly. Always consult a healthcare professional before considering urine therapy or any alternative therapy, especially if you have been diagnosed with cancer or are undergoing cancer treatment. Your healthcare team can provide personalized guidance based on your specific situation and help determine if urine therapy may be suitable for you. In conclusion, urine therapy is an alternative practice that some individuals turn to during their cancer treatment journey. While its efficacy in cancer support is still under debate, some proponents believe it can provide benefits such as immune system enhancement, detoxification, nutritional support, hydration, emotional support, and complementary therapy. However, it is crucial to approach urine therapy with caution, consult with a healthcare professional, and integrate it into a comprehensive cancer treatment plan. As with any alternative therapy, individual results and experiences may vary. 7.5 Urine Therapy for HIV and AIDS Urine therapy has garnered attention for its potential benefits in supporting the immune system and combating various health conditions. In the case of HIV, human immunodeficiency virus, and AIDS-acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, urine therapy is often seen as a complementary approach to conventional medical treatments. While urine therapy does not provide a cure for HIV or AIDS, it may offer some potential advantages in managing symptoms and enhancing overall well-being for individuals living with these conditions. It is important to note that HIV is a viral infection that attacks the immune system, specifically targeting CD4 cells. Over time, the virus can lead to a weakened immune system, making individuals more susceptible to infections and diseases. On the other hand, AIDS is the advanced stage of HIV infection, characterized by a severely compromised immune system and the occurrence of opportunistic infections. While antiretroviral therapy, ART, is the primary medical treatment for HIV and AIDS, some people explore alternative therapies, such as urine therapy, to complement their existing treatment plans. One of the reasons urine therapy may be considered for HIV and AIDS management is its potential immune-boosting properties. Urine contains various substances that are believed to support immune function, including antibodies, cytokines, and other immune-modulating compounds. These components may help strengthen the immune response and promote overall immune system health. However, it is essential to emphasize that urine therapy should never be used as a substitute for antiretroviral medication. Although there is limited scientific research on urine therapy specifically, for HIV and AIDS, anecdotal evidence suggests that some individuals have experienced improvements in their immune health and overall well-being when incorporating urine therapy into their treatment regimen. Supporters of urine therapy for HIV and AIDS believe that drinking one's own urine may help stimulate the production of immune cells, increase energy levels, and alleviate symptoms associated with the conditions.
Furthermore, proponents of urine therapy for HIV and AIDS suggest that urine contains antiviral properties that could potentially help fight against the HIV virus itself. While scientific studies have not yet validated these claims, some anecdotal reports suggest that topical application of urine on skin, lesions caused by the herpes simplex virus, HSV, may help reduce their severity and duration. However, it is essential to note that HIV is a different type of virus, and further research is needed to explore the potential antiviral properties of urine for HIV specifically. In addition to immune support, urine therapy may also offer various secondary benefits that can positively impact the overall well-being of individuals living with HIV and AIDS. For instance, urine is rich in nutrients, vitamins, and minerals that may help address nutritional deficiencies, often associated with these conditions. HIV and AIDS can lead to malabsorption issues and nutrient deficiencies, and urine therapy may provide an additional source of essential nutrients that can support overall health and well-being. Furthermore, urine therapy may help with the management of opportunistic infections commonly experienced by individuals living with HIV and AIDS. Some anecdotal reports suggest that topical application of urine on skin, infections or wounds may help promote, healing and prevent the growth of harmful bacteria. However, it is important to consult with a healthcare professional before using urine for such purposes to ensure proper infection control and wound care. It is crucial to reiterate that urine therapy should always be approached with caution and under the guidance of a healthcare professional. While some individuals may find potential benefits from incorporating urine therapy into their HIV and AIDS management, it is essential to remember that this approach is not a substitute for conventional medical treatment. Antiretroviral therapy remains the cornerstone of managing HIV and AIDS, and any complementary therapy should be discussed and coordinated with a qualified healthcare provider. In conclusion, urine therapy has been explored as a complementary approach for individuals living with HIV and AIDS. While there is limited scientific research on its specific benefits for these conditions, anecdotal evidence suggests that urine therapy may have potential immune, boosting properties and offer secondary benefits like nutritional support and wound healing. However, it is crucial to emphasize that urine therapy should never replace antiretroviral therapy or any other prescribed medical treatments. As with any alternative therapy, it is important to consult with a healthcare professional before incorporating urine therapy into an HIV and AIDS management plan. 7.6 Urine Therapy for General Immune Health Urine therapy has been recognized for its potential benefits in boosting the immune system. The immune system plays a crucial role in defending the body against harmful pathogens and foreign substances. A strong immune system is vital for maintaining overall health and well-being. While urine therapy may not be widely accepted or understood, proponents believe that it can provide significant immune support when used appropriately. Immune-enhancing properties Urine contains various compounds that may have immune-enhancing properties. These include cytokines, antibodies, hormones, enzymes, and other bioactive substances. Some studies have shown that these components can help regulate the immune response, enhancing the body's ability to fight infections and diseases. Antibacterial and antiviral effects The antimicrobial properties of urine are well documented. It contains substances such as urea, uric acid, and antibodies that have been shown to exhibit antibacterial and antiviral effects. These components can help inhibit the growth of bacteria and viruses, reducing the risk of infections and supporting the immune system. Detoxification and elimination of toxins Urine is a byproduct of the body's natural detoxification processes. It helps eliminate waste products, toxins, and metabolic byproducts from the body. By supporting the body's detoxification processes, urine therapy may help reduce the burden on the immune system, allowing it to focus on fighting infections and maintaining optimal health. Anti-inflammatory properties Chronic inflammation can weaken the immune system and make it more susceptible to diseases. Urine contains anti-inflammatory compounds like cytokines, prostaglandins, and growth factors that can help reduce inflammation in the body. By reducing inflammation, urine therapy may support a healthier immune response. Immune modulation Urine therapy has been suggested to modulate the immune system, helping to balance the immune response. This can be particularly beneficial in autoimmune conditions where the immune system mistakenly attacks healthy tissues. While further research is needed, proponents believe that urine therapy may help regulate the immune system and prevent excessive immune responses. Nourishment and hydration. Proper nutrition and hydration are essential for maintaining a strong immune system. Urine contains various vitamins, minerals, electrolytes, and beneficial substances that can provide nourishment to the body. Additionally, urine therapy promotes hydration, which is crucial for the optimal functioning of the immune system. Stress reduction and emotional well-being. It is well known that stress can negatively impact the immune system. Urine therapy practitioners believe that urine contains hormones and neuropeptides that can help reduce stress and promote emotional well-being. By managing stress levels, urine therapy may indirectly support the immune system. It is important to note that urine therapy for immune health should be approached with caution and under the guidance of a healthcare professional. While many proponents advocate for the potential benefits of urine therapy, its use should not replace conventional medical treatments or interventions. Despite the anecdotal reports, scientific research in this area is limited and inconclusive.
it is essential to maintain a balanced approach to immune health, which includes proper nutrition, regular exercise, sufficient sleep, stress management, and a healthy lifestyle overall. If you are considering urine therapy for immune support, it is advisable to consult with a healthcare professional who can provide appropriate guidance based on your individual health needs and concerns. In conclusion, urine therapy for general immune health is a controversial topic with limited scientific evidence supporting its effectiveness. While urine contains various components that may enhance the immune system, further research is needed to validate these claims. It is crucial to approach urine therapy with caution and under professional guidance. Focus on maintaining a healthy lifestyle and supporting your immune system through proper nutrition, exercise, and stress management. 8. Urine therapy for musculoskeletal health. 8.1 Topical application of urine for muscle pain. Muscle pain, also known as myalgia, can be a frustrating and debilitating condition. It can occur as a result of strenuous exercise, overuse of muscles, or even due to underlying medical conditions. While there are various conventional treatment options available for muscle pain, some individuals may seek alternative and natural remedies, such as urine therapy. Urine therapy involves the external application or ingestion of one's own urine for therapeutic purposes. In the context of muscle pain, topical application of urine has been suggested as a potential remedy to alleviate symptoms and promote healing. Advocates of urine therapy for muscle pain believe that urine contains various beneficial substances that can help reduce inflammation, improve circulation, and accelerate the healing process. One of the key components found in urine is urea, a compound that acts as a natural moisturizer. When applied topically to the skin, urea helps to hydrate the tissues and promote overall skin health. This moisturizing effect can be particularly beneficial for muscle pain, as dry and dehydrated muscles can contribute to increased discomfort and stiffness. By applying urine topically to the affected area, individuals may experience relief from muscle, pain, and improved flexibility. Additionally, urine contains various hormones, enzymes, and antibodies that can potentially have anti-inflammatory properties. Inflammation plays a significant role in muscle pain, and reducing inflammation can help alleviate symptoms and promote healing. Advocates of urine therapy believe that the application of urine to the skin can help reduce inflammation in the muscles, hence providing relief from pain and discomfort. Furthermore, urine therapy is believed to stimulate blood circulation and enhance the delivery of vital nutrients and oxygen to the muscles. Improved circulation can aid in the removal of waste products and toxins that may contribute to muscle pain. By applying urine topically to the affected muscles, individuals may promote blood flow and enhance the healing process. To apply urine topically for muscle pain, it is recommended to first clean the affected area with mild soap and water. Afterward, a small amount of fresh urine can be gently massaged into the skin, focusing on the areas experiencing pain or discomfort. It is advisable to use clean, midstream urine for topical application, as this is considered the most sterile and least odorous. Individuals may choose to apply urine several times a day, depending on the severity of their muscle pain. Some proponents of urine therapy suggest soaking a clean cloth or cotton pad in fresh urine and placing it directly on the affected area for a more extended period. This method allows for prolonged contact between urine and the skin, potentially enhancing its therapeutic effects. It is essential to note that while urine therapy has been practiced for centuries and is believed to have various health benefits, scientific evidence supporting its efficacy for muscle pain specifically is lacking. The limited research available mostly consists of anecdotal reports and personal testimonials. Therefore, it is important to approach urine therapy for muscle pain with caution and consult with a healthcare professional before starting any unconventional treatment. Moreover, it is crucial to ensure proper hygiene and cleanliness when engaging in urine therapy. Using fresh urine and thoroughly cleaning the affected area before application can help minimize the risk of infection or adverse reactions. If any signs of irritation or discomfort occur during or after topical application, it is recommended to discontinue use and seek medical advice. In conclusion, topical application of urine for muscle pain is a practice rooted in alternative medicine. Advocates of urine therapy believe that it can moisturize the skin, reduce inflammation, improve circulation, and promote healing. However, scientific evidence supporting its effectiveness in relieving muscle pain is limited. If considering urine therapy for muscle pain, it is advisable to consult with a healthcare professional and approach the treatment with caution and proper hygiene. 8.2 Urine Therapy for Joint Disorders Urine therapy, the ancient practice of using one's own urine for therapeutic purposes, has been found to have numerous benefits for various health conditions. Among these conditions are joint disorders, which can cause significant pain and discomfort for individuals. Joint disorders, such as arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, and gout, affect millions of people worldwide and can significantly impact their quality of life. Urine therapy for joint disorders involves both internal consumption and external application of urine. Many proponents of urine therapy believe that urine contains essential nutrients, hormones, enzymes, and antibodies that can help alleviate joint pain, reduce inflammation, and improve overall joint health. While scientific research on urine therapy for joint disorders is limited, anecdotal evidence and historical use suggest that it may provide some relief for individuals suffering from these conditions. Why Urine Therapy for Joint Disorders? 
urine therapy is believed to work for joint disorders through several mechanisms. Firstly, urine contains various substances that possess anti-inflammatory properties. Urine, especially the first morning urine, contains higher concentrations of substances such as urea, uric acid, and certain enzymes that have been found to have anti-inflammatory effects. These anti-inflammatory properties can help reduce swelling and pain in the joints. Secondly, urine therapy is believed to promote detoxification. It is thought that joint disorders can be partly caused by the accumulation of toxins and waste products in the body. Proponents of urine therapy suggest that by reintroducing urine into the body, it can help eliminate toxins, reduce inflammation, and promote healing in the joints. Additionally, urine therapy is believed to stimulate the body's natural healing processes, supporting the repair of damaged joint tissues. Internal consumption of urine for joint disorders Internal consumption of urine for joint disorders involves ingesting urine orally. Proponents of urine therapy suggest that regularly consuming small amounts of urine can help improve joint health. They believe that urine contains substances that can strengthen bones, reduce inflammation, and provide essential nutrients to support joint function. Some proponents of urine therapy recommend starting with a small amount of urine, preferably the midstream urine, and gradually increasing the dosage if tolerated. It is important to note that urine therapy should only be practiced under the guidance of a qualified healthcare professional. They can help determine the appropriate dosage and monitor any potential side effects. External application of urine for joint disorders. External application of urine for joint disorders involves using urine topically on the affected joints. Proponents of urine therapy suggest that applying urine directly to the joints can help relieve pain, reduce inflammation, and improve mobility. They believe that the enzymes and other substances present in urine can penetrate the skin and provide beneficial effects directly to the affected area. To apply urine topically, proponents recommend massaging the urine into the affected joints or using compresses soaked in urine. Some individuals may find it beneficial to combine urine with other natural remedies such as essential oils or herbal extracts for enhanced effects. However, it is crucial to exercise caution and consult with a healthcare professional before using any combination therapies. Precautions and considerations While urine therapy for joint disorders may offer potential benefits, it is essential to approach it with caution and consider the following. Personal preference and comfort, urine therapy may not be suitable or comfortable for everyone. It is crucial to listen to your body and respect your personal preferences. Hygiene and cleanliness, if you choose to practice urine therapy, ensure that you collect and store urine in a clean and hygienic manner. Follow proper hygiene practices to minimize the risk of contamination. Healthcare professional guidance, before starting urine therapy for joint disorders, it is advisable to consult a qualified healthcare professional. They can help assess your individual health situation, provide guidance, and monitor any potential side effects. Potential risks and allergies. Some individuals may be allergic or intolerant to certain substances present in urine. It is important to be aware of any potential allergies or adverse reactions and discontinue use if any occur. Complementary approaches. Urine therapy should not be considered a standalone treatment for joint disorders. It may be beneficial to combine urine therapy with other conventional treatments, lifestyle modifications, and physical therapies as recommended by a healthcare professional. It is important to note that scientific research on urine therapy, specifically for joint disorders, is limited. The available evidence comes primarily from anecdotal reports and traditional practices. Therefore, individuals considering urine therapy for joint disorders should approach it with an open mind, conduct thorough research, and consult with a healthcare professional for personalized advice. 8.3 Urine Therapy for Osteoporosis and Bone Health Osteoporosis is a common condition characterized by a loss of bone density, making the bones weak and more susceptible to fractures. It is particularly prevalent in older individuals, especially women after menopause. While there are various medical treatments available for osteoporosis, some people have turned to alternative therapies like urine therapy to support bone health. Urine therapy for osteoporosis involves the consumption of one's own urine in an attempt to improve bone density and prevent further bone loss. Proponents of this therapy believe that urine contains essential minerals, hormones, and other substances that can benefit the bones. However, it is important to note that the scientific evidence supporting urine therapy for osteoporosis is limited, and its effectiveness remains a subject of debate. Urine contains several minerals that are known to be important for bone health, including calcium, magnesium, and phosphorus. These minerals play a critical role in maintaining the strength and integrity of bones. Calcium, in particular, is essential for bone mineralization and is often supplemented in conventional osteoporosis treatments. Proponents of urine therapy argue that consuming urine can provide the body with these minerals in a more natural and easily absorbable form. Additionally, urine therapy supporters claim that urine contains hormones such as calcitonin, estrogen, and progesterone, which are involved in regulating bone metabolism. Calcitonin, for example, helps to reduce bone breakdown and is commonly used in medical treatments for osteoporosis. It is believed that consuming urine may provide the body with these natural hormones, potentially slowing down bone loss and promoting bone regeneration. 
Despite these claims, there is limited scientific research specifically focused on urine therapy for osteoporosis. Most of the available studies on the topic are anecdotal or based on historical practices, rather than clinical trials. As a result, it is challenging to draw definitive conclusions about the effectiveness of urine therapy for improving bone health. Furthermore, it is important to consider potential risks associated with urine therapy. While urine is generally sterile and unlikely to cause harm when consumed in small amounts, there is a risk of bacterial contamination if proper hygiene practices are not followed during collection and storage. Additionally, urine may contain waste products and toxins that could be harmful if consumed in large quantities or by individuals with underlying health conditions. Therefore, it is crucial to consult with a healthcare professional before considering urine therapy for osteoporosis or any other health condition. It is also worth noting that urine therapy should not be viewed as a standalone treatment for osteoporosis. Conventional medical treatments, such as calcium and vitamin D supplementation, lifestyle modifications, and prescription medications, have been extensively studied and proven effective in managing osteoporosis. These treatments should be the primary focus for individuals diagnosed with osteoporosis, and any alternative therapies, like urine therapy should be discussed with a healthcare professional as a complementary approach, if at all. In summary, urine therapy for osteoporosis is a controversial topic with limited scientific evidence to support its effectiveness. While urine does contain minerals and hormones that are important for bone health, the overall benefits and risks of urine therapy in relation to osteoporosis are not well established. It is crucial to prioritize proven medical treatments for osteoporosis and consult with a healthcare professional before considering any alternative therapies. 8.4 Urine Therapy for Arthritis and Rheumatic Conditions Arthritis and rheumatic conditions are chronic inflammatory disorders that affect millions of people worldwide, causing pain, stiffness, and swelling in the joints. These conditions can significantly impact a person's quality of life and make even the simplest tasks difficult to perform. While there are various conventional treatments available, urine therapy has emerged as an alternative approach to managing these conditions. Urine therapy for arthritis and rheumatic conditions involves the use of one's own urine to alleviate symptoms and promote healing. Supporters of this therapy believe that urine contains powerful nutrients, hormones, and enzymes that can reduce inflammation, relieve pain, and improve joint mobility. Let's explore how urine therapy can benefit individuals with arthritis and rheumatism. Anti-inflammatory properties of urine Inflammation is a hallmark of arthritis and rheumatic conditions. The immune system mistakenly attacks healthy tissues in the joints, leading to redness, swelling, and pain. Urine contains substances such as urea, uric acid, and cytokines that possess anti-inflammatory properties. These components can help reduce the production of pro-inflammatory proteins in the body and modulate the immune response, thereby alleviating the symptoms associated with arthritis and rheumatism. Pain relief and improved joint mobility. Persistent joint pain and stiffness are common complaints among individuals with arthritis and rheumatic conditions. Urine therapy enthusiasts claim that the hormones and analgesic compounds present in urine can provide natural pain relief. Proponents believe that urine therapy can help stimulate the body's production of natural painkillers, such as endorphins and enkephalins, which can help reduce pain levels and enhance overall joint mobility. Detoxification and Waste Elimination Urine therapy for arthritis and rheumatic conditions may also aid in detoxification and waste elimination. According to proponents, urine contains waste products, toxins, and metabolic byproducts that are excreted from the body. By re-ingesting urine or applying it topically, supporters of urine therapy suggest that these waste materials may be reabsorbed, allowing the body to eliminate them more effectively. This detoxification process is believed to reduce the overall burden on the joints, potentially leading to a reduction in inflammation and symptoms. Enhancing the immune system An improperly functioning immune system can exacerbate the symptoms of arthritis and rheumatic conditions. Urine therapy enthusiasts argue that the various immune-boosting substances found in urine, including antibodies, interleukins, and lymphokins, can help restore balance to the immune system and enhance its ability to fight off inflammation and tissue damage. By strengthening the immune response, urine therapy may help regulate the immune system's activity, leading to a reduction in the severity of symptoms associated with arthritis and rheumatism. Improved Nutrient Absorption Proponents of urine therapy claim that, when urine is consumed or applied topically, the body can reabsorb essential nutrients that were initially excreted in the urine. They argue that this recycling process allows the body to regain essential vitamins, minerals, and enzymes to support joint health, reduce inflammation, and promote healing. While there is limited scientific evidence to support this claim, some individuals report experiencing improved nutrient absorption and overall well-being when practicing urine therapy for arthritis and rheumatic conditions. Considerations and Precautions before considering urine therapy for arthritis and rheumatic conditions, it is essential to consult with a healthcare professional. While some individuals may experience benefits from urine therapy, others may not find it suitable or effective. Additionally, it is important to note that urine therapy should not replace conventional medical treatments for arthritis and rheumatic conditions. Instead, it should be viewed as a complementary approach that may help alleviate symptoms and improve overall well-being. 
Furthermore, hygiene and safety should be prioritized when engaging in urine therapy. It is crucial to collect urine using clean containers and ensure its proper storage to prevent contamination. If using urine topically, it is recommended to dilute it with water before application to avoid any potential skin irritation. Conclusion Urine therapy for arthritis and rheumatic conditions remains controversial, with limited scientific evidence to support its effectiveness. However, anecdotal reports suggest that some individuals have experienced positive outcomes when incorporating urine therapy into their treatment regimen. As with any alternative therapy, it is essential to approach urine therapy for arthritis and rheumatisms with an open mind and consult with a healthcare professional to determine its potential benefits and suitability for individual cases. 8.5 Urine Therapy for Sports Injuries Sports injuries are a common occurrence for athletes and can range from minor sprains and strains to more severe conditions like fractures and ligament tears. While there are various treatments available for sports injuries, urine therapy is an alternative approach that has gained some attention in recent years. In this section, we will explore the potential benefits of urine therapy in the context of sports injuries and its role in promoting healing and recovery. Understanding Sports Injuries Before we delve into the potential benefits of urine therapy for sports injuries, it is essential to have a basic understanding of these injuries and how they occur. Sports injuries can result from various activities, including contact sports, repetitive motion, and overuse. Common sports injuries include sprains, strains, fractures, dislocations, and tendonitis. These injuries can cause pain, swelling, limited range of motion, and functional impairment, leading to a prolonged recovery process. The Role of Urine Therapy in Sports Injuries Urine therapy is a practice that involves using one's own urine for various health purposes. While traditional medical approaches are the primary method of treatment for sports injuries, some people have turned to urine therapy as a complementary or alternative option. Advocates of urine therapy claim that it can enhance the body's natural healing abilities and accelerate the recovery process. Anti-inflammatory properties one of the primary reasons why urine therapy may be beneficial for sports injuries is its anti-inflammatory properties. Inflammation is a natural response of the body to injury or trauma, but excessive inflammation can prolong the healing process and lead to further damage. Proponents of urine therapy assert that urine contains anti-inflammatory compounds, such as urea and uric acid, which can help reduce inflammation and swelling associated with sports injuries. Pain relief Another potential benefit of urine therapy for sports injuries is its alleged analgesic or pain-relieving effects. Many athletes experience pain as a result of their injuries, and managing pain is crucial for maintaining functionality and promoting the healing process. Some proponents of urine therapy claim that applying urine topically to the affected area or drinking, it can help alleviate pain by stimulating the body's natural pain relief mechanisms. Increased blood flow and circulation Urine therapy may also have implications for improving blood flow and circulation to injured tissues. Efficient blood flow is vital for delivering essential nutrients and oxygen to the injured area, which aids in the healing process. Advocates of urine therapy posit that the application of urine topically or consumption of urine can promote vasodilation, expanding blood vessels and increasing blood flow to the injured area, thereby facilitating tissue repair. Wound healing and tissue regeneration Urine contains various components that are essential for wound healing and tissue regeneration. For instance, it is rich in growth factors, hormones, and proteins that may aid in the regeneration of damaged tissues and the formation of new blood vessels. Some proponents of urine therapy argue that the application of urine topically to sports injuries can promote faster healing and tissue regeneration, thereby reducing the recovery time. Psychological Benefits In addition to the physical benefits, urine therapy for sports injuries may also offer psychological advantages. When athletes sustain injuries, they often experience a range of emotions, including frustration, sadness, and anxiety. Engaging in urine therapy, especially if athletes believe in its healing properties, can provide a sense of control and empowerment over their recovery process, leading to improved psychological well-being and potentially enhancing the overall healing experience. Considerations and Precautions While urine therapy may hold promise in promoting healing and recovery for sports injuries, it is essential to approach it with caution. It is crucial to consult with a healthcare professional before incorporating urine therapy into a treatment regimen. Furthermore, urine therapy should not be considered a standalone treatment, but rather as a complementary approach alongside conventional medical interventions. It is also important to maintain proper hygiene practices when using urine topically to avoid the risk of infection. Conclusion Urine therapy for sports injuries has gained attention for its potential benefits in promoting healing, reducing inflammation, relieving pain, and enhancing the overall recovery process. While more research is needed on this topic, athletes and individuals interested in exploring urine therapy should approach it with caution and seek guidance from healthcare professionals. Ultimately, the decision to incorporate urine therapy into a treatment plan for sports injury should be made collaboratively with medical professionals to ensure the best possible outcomes. 8.6 Urine Therapy for Muscle Recovery and Strength Urine therapy has been gaining popularity as a natural and alternative approach to promoting muscle recovery and strength. 
The practice involves using urine, which contains a variety of nutrients and compounds, to support the body's natural processes of healing and regeneration. While the idea of using urine for muscle recovery may seem unconventional, there is evidence to suggest that it can indeed offer benefits in this regard. Urine is composed of various substances, including water, electrolytes, hormones, and waste products. One of the key components of urine that may contribute to muscle recovery is urea. Urea is a waste product that is excreted in the urine and is known to have both antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. These properties may help reduce inflammation and oxidative stress in the muscles, which can lead to faster recovery and decreased muscle soreness after intense exercise or physical activity. Additionally, urine also contains a range of vitamins, minerals, and amino acids that are essential for optimal muscle function and repair. These nutrients play crucial roles in processes such as protein synthesis, which is essential for muscle, growth, and recovery. By replenishing the body with these nutrients through urine therapy, it is believed that muscle recovery and strength can be enhanced. Urine therapy for muscle recovery can be performed in various ways. One common approach is topical application, where urine is applied directly to the muscles or affected areas. This can be done through massage or by soaking a cloth or compress in urine and applying it to the skin. The nutrients and compounds in urine can penetrate the skin and reach the underlying muscle tissues, promoting healing and recovery. Another approach is internal consumption, where small amounts of urine are ingested orally. This method is believed to provide the body with a concentrated source of nutrients that can support muscle, recovery and strength from within. It is important to note that urine consumed for therapeutic purposes should be diluted and filtered to ensure safety and minimize any potential risks. While scientific research specifically on urine therapy for muscle recovery is limited, anecdotal evidence and historical accounts suggest that it may offer benefits. Many proponents of urine therapy for muscle recovery report reduced muscle soreness, increased muscle strength, and improved overall performance. However, it is crucial to consult with a healthcare professional before incorporating urine therapy into your muscle recovery regimen, especially if you have any underlying health conditions or concerns. It is also worth noting that urine therapy for muscle recovery should not be considered a standalone solution. It is essential to adopt a holistic approach to muscle recovery, which includes proper nutrition, hydration, rest, and appropriate exercise. Urine therapy can be viewed as a complementary practice that may further support the body's natural healing processes. In summary, urine therapy for muscle recovery and strength is a practice that involves using urine's nutrients and compounds to promote healing and regeneration in the muscles. While scientific research in this specific area is limited, anecdotal evidence suggests that it may offer benefits, such as reduced muscle soreness and improved performance. However, it is important to approach urine therapy as a complementary practice and to consult with a healthcare professional before incorporating it into your muscle recovery routine. 9. Urine Therapy for Mental and Emotional Well-Being 9.1 Urine Therapy for Stress and Anxiety Stress and anxiety have become prevalent conditions in our modern society, affecting millions of people worldwide. These mental health issues can have a significant impact on our overall well-being, hindering our ability to function and enjoy life to the fullest. While there are many conventional treatments available, some individuals have turned to alternative therapies, such as urine therapy, to alleviate the symptoms of stress and anxiety. Urine therapy, also known as urotherapy or urine therapy, is the practice of using one's own urine for medicinal purposes. The concept behind urine therapy is based on the belief that urine contains various beneficial components, including hormones, vitamins, minerals, and enzymes that can promote healing and balance in the body. Advocates of urine therapy claim that it can help to cleanse the body, boost the immune system, and improve mental and emotional well-being. When it comes to stress and anxiety, urine therapy proponents suggest that the components found in urine can help regulate the body's stress response and promote a sense of calm and relaxation. While there is limited scientific research on the specific effects of urine therapy for these conditions, anecdotal evidence and historical use provide some insight into the potential benefits. One of the theories behind urine therapy's potential ability to reduce stress and anxiety is its hormone content. Urine contains small amounts of hormones such as adrenaline, cortisol, and melatonin, which are involved in regulating the body's response to stress and promoting relaxation. Some believe that reintroducing these hormones back into the body through urine therapy can help rebalance the stress response system, leading to a reduction in stress and anxiety symptoms. Furthermore, urine therapy advocates also argue that the nutrients present in urine, such as vitamins and minerals, can support brain health and function, thereby aiding in stress and anxiety reduction. Nutrients like B vitamins, magnesium, and omega-3 fatty acids are known to play a role in mood regulation and can help mitigate the effects of stress on the body. By consuming urine, proponents believe they can supply the brain with these essential nutrients and support its ability to manage stress and anxiety. In addition to its hormonal and nutritional content, urine therapy may also influence stress and anxiety through its potential detoxification effects. The proponents of urine therapy suggest that the practice can help eliminate toxins from the body, which may contribute to stress and anxiety symptoms. By promoting detoxification, urine therapy may help reduce the burden on the body and support its natural ability to manage stress.
It is important to note that while urine therapy may hold promise in reducing stress and anxiety, it is not a replacement for conventional treatment approaches. Mental health conditions should always be taken seriously, and individuals experiencing stress and anxiety should consult with a qualified healthcare professional. If you are interested in exploring urine therapy for stress and anxiety, it is crucial to approach it with caution and an open mind. Here are a few considerations to keep in mind. Hygiene and safety. Ensure that you collect and handle urine in a clean and hygienic manner to minimize the risk of contamination and infection. It is advisable to consult guidelines or seek guidance from experienced practitioners. Individual response. Everyone's experience with urine therapy may be different. Some individuals may find it helpful in managing stress and anxiety, while others may not experience any significant benefits. It is essential to listen to your body and pay attention to how you feel during the practice. Personal preference, urine therapy is not for everyone, and it is crucial to respect individual preferences and boundaries. If the idea of urine therapy does not resonate with you or makes you uncomfortable, there are numerous other strategies and therapies available for managing stress and anxiety. Professional guidance, it is always advisable to consult a healthcare professional before incorporating any alternative therapies into your treatment plan. They can provide guidance, monitor your progress, and ensure that the approach you choose is safe and suitable for your specific needs. In conclusion, while urine therapy may hold potential benefits for stress and anxiety management, it is important to approach it with caution and consult with a healthcare professional. The limited scientific research and anecdotal evidence suggests that urine therapy's hormonal, nutritional, and detoxification properties may play a role in reducing stress and anxiety symptoms. However, more rigorous scientific studies are needed to fully understand the mechanisms and effectiveness of urine therapy for these conditions. 9.2 Urine Therapy for Depression and Mood Disorders Depression and mood disorders have become increasingly prevalent in our modern society, affecting millions of people worldwide. These conditions can significantly impact a person's quality of life, leading to feelings of hopelessness, sadness, and a loss of interest in daily activities. While conventional treatments such as therapy and medication are widely used, there is growing interest in alternative approaches, including urine therapy, as a potential avenue for relief. Urine therapy for depression and mood disorders is based on the belief that urine contains various substances that can positively affect brain chemistry and promote emotional well-being. Advocates of this therapy claim that the urine's nutrient content and natural compounds, such as hormones, enzymes, and neurotransmitters, can influence brain function and help regulate mood. One of the key components in urine that proponents believe may contribute to its antidepressant effects is urea. Urea is a waste product produced by the body during the oxidation of protein. It is thought to have diuretic and antidepressant properties. Supporters of urine therapy suggest that when ingested, urea may help enhance the production of serotonin and other neurotransmitters involved in regulating mood. Another substance found in urine that is often emphasized in relation to mood disorders is melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone that plays a crucial role in regulating sleep patterns. It is produced by the pineal gland in the brain and helps control the body's internal clock. Insufficient melatonin levels have been linked to sleep disturbances and imbalances in mood. Some proponents believe that by consuming urine, which contains trace amounts of melatonin, individuals may experience improvements in their emotional, well-being and sleep quality. In addition to urea and melatonin, urine also contains various vitamins, minerals, and amino acids that are essential for overall brain health. For example, urine contains B vitamins, including B12, which are known to be important for proper neurological functioning. Furthermore, urine therapy proponents claim that the presence of amino acids, such as tryptophan and tyrosine, may have a positive impact on mood regulation by promoting the production of serotonin and dopamine, respectively. While there is anecdotal evidence and personal testimonials supporting the use of urine therapy for depression and mood disorders, it is important to note that scientific research in this area is limited. The understanding of how urine substances interact with the brain and affect mood is not yet well established. Therefore, it is crucial to approach urine therapy as a complementary therapy and not a replacement for medical or psychological intervention. If you are considering exploring urine therapy as a potential adjunct to existing treatments for depression or mood disorders, it is essential to consult with a healthcare professional. They can provide guidance, evaluate the potential risks and benefits, and help determine the most appropriate course of action based on your individual circumstances. It is also crucial to maintain open communication with your healthcare team to ensure that all aspects of your mental health and well-being are adequately addressed. It is worth noting that alternative therapies such as urine therapy should never be used as a substitute for evidence-based treatments. Depression and mood disorders are complex conditions that require comprehensive care and support. In addition to traditional treatments, incorporating healthy lifestyle choices, such as regular exercise, sufficient sleep, a balanced diet, and engaging in stress reduction techniques, can also play a vital role in improving mental health. In conclusion, urine therapy for depression and mood disorders is an emerging area of interest and research. While anecdotal evidence suggests potential benefits, there is currently limited scientific evidence to support its widespread use as a primary treatment approach.
As with any alternative therapy, it is crucial to consult with a healthcare professional and approach urine therapy as a complementary treatment option alongside evidence-based interventions for optimal mental health management. 9.3 Urine Therapy for Insomnia and Sleep Disorders Insomnia and sleep disorders affect millions of people worldwide, leading to a variety of health issues and a decrease in overall well-being. While there are various conventional treatments available, some individuals seek alternative forms of therapy, such as urine therapy, to address their sleep problems. Urine therapy, often regarded as unconventional or controversial, claims to offer potential benefits in promoting restful sleep and addressing the underlying causes of insomnia and sleep disorders. Understanding Insomnia and Sleep Disorders Insomnia is a common sleep disorder characterized by difficulty falling asleep, staying asleep, or experiencing non-restorative sleep. It can lead to daytime fatigue, mood disturbances, and impaired cognitive functioning. Sleep disorders encompass a range of conditions, including sleep apnea, restless leg syndrome, and narcolepsy, which disrupt the normal sleep-wake patterns. The Role of Urine Therapy Urine therapy in the context of insomnia and sleep disorders involves the consumption of one's own urine or the topical application of urine to specific areas of the body. Advocates of urine therapy believe that it can improve the quality and duration of sleep by balancing bodily functions and addressing the root causes of sleep disturbances. Potential Mechanisms of Action Advocates of urine therapy suggest several mechanisms through which it may contribute to improved sleep. 1. Nutrition and hormonal balance. Urine contains a variety of nutrients, vitamins, and minerals that proponents believe can help maintain hormonal balance and support overall health. These nutrients may promote relaxation and help regulate sleep wake cycles. 2. Detoxification. Proponents argue that urine therapy assists in detoxifying the body, eliminating accumulated toxins and waste products from the system. By removing these toxins, it is believed that the body can achieve a more balanced state, leading to improved sleep. 3. Immune system activation, urine contains antibodies, enzymes, and other immune system components that proponents claim can enhance immunity. By boosting immune function, it is suggested that urine therapy may help address potential underlying causes of sleep disorders. 4. Hormonal regulation, some proponents of urine therapy claim that it can regulate hormonal imbalances, including those related to sleep-wake cycles. They believe that urine contains substances that can influence the production and release of hormones involved in regulating sleep. Anecdotal evidence and personal testimonials. While there is limited scientific research specifically investigating the effects of urine therapy on insomnia and sleep disorders, some individuals report positive experiences with its use. Personal testimonials often emphasize improvements in sleep quality, reduced sleep latency, the time it takes to fall asleep, and increased feelings of relaxation and calmness. However, anecdotal evidence should be interpreted with caution, as individual experiences may vary, and the placebo effect can play a significant role. The need for scientific research Despite the lack of scientific evidence supporting the use of urine therapy for insomnia and sleep disorders, it is important to recognize the potential benefits of conducting further research on this topic. Randomized controlled trials, longitudinal studies, and comprehensive investigations could provide valuable insights into the potential mechanisms of action and efficacy of urine therapy in addressing sleep-related conditions. Considerations and Precautions before considering urine therapy for insomnia or sleep disorders, it is crucial to consult with a qualified healthcare professional. They can evaluate your specific situation, consider any underlying medical conditions, and provide guidance regarding appropriate treatments. It is important to note that urine therapy may not be suitable for everyone, and its potential risks and contraindications should be thoroughly understood. Conclusion While urine therapy is viewed by many as an unconventional approach, some individuals explore its potential benefits for addressing insomnia and sleep disorders. The mechanisms through which urine therapy may affect sleep are still being investigated, and more research is needed to establish its efficacy. If you are considering urine therapy for sleep-related issues, it is essential to consult with a healthcare professional to ensure it is safe and appropriate for your specific situation. 9.4 Urine Therapy for Memory and Cognitive Function Urine therapy, the ancient practice of using one's own urine for therapeutic purposes, has been praised for its potential benefits in various aspects of health and well-being. While most people associate urine therapy with physical ailments, it is also believed to have positive effects on mental and cognitive function. In this section, we will explore the potential benefits of urine therapy for memory and cognitive function. Memory and cognitive function play a crucial role in our overall quality of life. They encompass our ability to learn, remember, think, reason, and make decisions. As we age, cognitive decline and memory loss are common concerns for many individuals. It is essential to understand that cognitive decline can occur due to various factors, including age, lifestyle, nutrition, genetics, and underlying medical conditions. Urine therapy proponents suggest that urine contains essential nutrients, hormones, neurotransmitters, and other bioactive compounds that could support brain health and improve cognitive function. They argue that by reintroducing these substances back into the body through urine consumption, one can potentially enhance memory, focus, clarity, and overall cognitive performance. 
However, it is important to note that scientific evidence supporting these claims is limited, and more research is needed to fully understand the potential benefits or risks of urine therapy for memory and cognitive function. One of the key components present in urine is urea, a waste product that is filtered out of the blood by the kidneys. Urea is thought to have neuroprotective properties and the ability to improve memory and cognitive function. Some studies have shown that urea can regulate the production of certain neurotransmitters, such as dopamine and serotonin, which play vital roles in memory formation and cognitive processes. In addition to urea, urine also contains various nutrients, including vitamins, minerals, amino acids, enzymes, and antioxidants, which are essential for brain health and function. These nutrients are believed to support neuronal growth, protect against oxidative stress, and enhance synaptic activity, all of which contribute to improved memory and cognitive abilities. Proponents of urine therapy claim that regular consumption of urine can provide the brain with these essential nutrients, resulting in enhanced cognitive function and improved memory. They argue that urine therapy can potentially help individuals suffering from memory loss, brain fog, difficulty concentrating, and other cognitive issues. However, it is important to approach these claims with caution. The scientific community has yet to conduct extensive research on the effects of urine therapy specifically on memory and cognitive function. While some studies have explored the potential benefits of individual components found in urine, such as urea and certain nutrients, further research is needed to determine the efficacy and safety of urine therapy as a whole. Moreover, it is important to stress that individuals considering urine therapy for memory, enhancement or cognitive improvement should consult with a healthcare professional before engaging in this practice. A qualified medical practitioner can provide personalized advice based on an individual's medical history, current health condition, and specific needs. In conclusion, while advocates of urine therapy suggest that it may have potential benefits for memory and cognitive function, the scientific evidence supporting these claims is limited. More research is needed to understand the specific mechanisms through which urine therapy may impact brain health and function. As such, it is always advisable to rely on evidence-based approaches to support memory and cognitive function, such as maintaining a healthy lifestyle, engaging in regular physical exercise, following a balanced diet, getting adequate sleep, managing stress levels, and seeking professional medical advice when needed. 9.5 Urine Therapy for Addiction and Substance Abuse Urine therapy, also known as urotherapy or urine therapy, is an alternative healing practice that involves using one's own urine for various health benefits. While the idea of using urine for medical purposes might sound unconventional, its potential therapeutic effects have been explored in different areas of health and wellness. One such area is addiction and substance abuse. Addiction and substance abuse are complex and challenging issues that can have a significant impact on a person's physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Traditional treatment approaches often involve therapy, medication, and support groups. However, there is growing interest in complementary and alternative approaches, such as urine therapy, as a supportive tool in addiction recovery. The rationale behind using urine therapy for addiction and substance abuse. Proponents of urine therapy believe that urine contains a plethora of compounds that can aid in the detoxification, process and support overall health. They argue that urine acts as a natural medicine that can rebalance the body's biochemistry and help alleviate the symptoms of withdrawal from addictive substances. One of the main components of urine that is believed to be beneficial in addiction recovery is urea. Urea is a waste product of protein, metabolism, and is found in urine. It is thought to have properties that can assist in the removal of toxins from the body, which is especially important in the context of substance abuse. Potential Benefits of Urine Therapy and Addiction Recovery While scientific research on the specific effects of urine therapy for addiction and substance abuse is limited, anecdotal evidence suggests some potential benefits. Here are a few ways in which urine therapy may be used as a complementary approach in addiction recovery. 1. Detoxification Support Urine therapy is believed to assist in the detoxification of the body by promoting the elimination of toxins. Proponents argue that the compounds found in urine, such as urea, can help neutralize and excrete harmful substances. This support during the detoxification process may help to reduce withdrawal symptoms and facilitate the body's natural healing mechanisms. 2. Nutritional Support Urine contains various vitamins, minerals, and amino acids that proponents claim can support the body's nutritional needs, which may be compromised by substance abuse. These nutrients can help replenish essential elements in the body and support overall health. 3. Emotional and mental well-being Addiction often takes a toll on a person's emotional and mental well-being. Some proponents of urine therapy believe that the practice can have a positive impact on mood, anxiety, and depression. They argue that urine contains compounds that can help regulate neurotransmitters and hormones, potentially supporting emotional stability during recovery. 4. Mindfulness and self-care Engaging in urine therapy requires a level of mindfulness and self-care, which can be beneficial for individuals in addiction recovery. The practice may promote a sense of self-awareness and encourage individuals to prioritize their well-being. This focus on self-care can aid in the overall healing process and help individuals develop healthier habits.
precautions and considerations. It is important to note that urine therapy should never be seen as a standalone treatment for addiction and substance abuse. It should always be used as a complementary approach alongside conventional treatment methods. Furthermore, it is crucial to consult with healthcare professionals or addiction specialists before incorporating urine therapy into a treatment plan. They can provide guidance and ensure that the chosen approach aligns with the individual's needs and preferences. Conclusion Urine therapy is a controversial healing practice that has been explored in various areas of health and wellness, including addiction recovery. While there is limited scientific evidence on its specific effects, some individuals have reported positive outcomes when using urine therapy as a complementary approach in their journey towards overcoming addiction and substance abuse. However, it is important to approach urine therapy with caution and consult with healthcare professionals. Remember that addiction is a complex condition that requires a multidimensional treatment approach. By combining conventional treatment methods with complementary practices like urine therapy, individuals may find additional support on their path to recovery. 9.6 Urine Therapy for Spiritual and Emotional Connection Urine therapy, although primarily known for its physical health benefits, is also believed to have a profound impact on spiritual and emotional well-being. This alternative therapy promotes a holistic approach to healing, aiming to restore balance and harmony within the body and mind. Throughout history, urine has been considered a sacred substance in many cultures, revered for its spiritual and transformative properties. This section explores the role of urine therapy in fostering a deeper spiritual and emotional connection. The Spiritual Significance of Urine Various spiritual traditions have incorporated urine in their rituals and practices as a means of purifying the soul and connecting with a higher power. In ancient Ayurvedic and yogic traditions, urine is believed to possess divine energy and is referred to as Amaroli or Shivambu. It is considered a sacred elixir that can facilitate spiritual growth and self-realization. Many practitioners of urine therapy believe that by ingesting or applying urine topically, they can tap into its spiritual essence and enhance their connection with the spiritual realm. Purification and Cleansing In spiritual practices around the world, purification and cleansing rituals are often performed to rid the body of negative energies and emotional blockages. Urine therapy is believed to assist in this process by purifying the body on both physical and energetic levels. Advocates of urine therapy claim that it can help release emotional traumas and energetic imbalances, promoting spiritual growth and clarity of mind. By embracing urine therapy as a tool for purification, individuals may experience a heightened sense of spiritual awareness and emotional well-being. Energy Balancing According to traditional Chinese medicine and other energy-based healing systems, good health depends on the balance and flow of vital life force energy, known as qi or prana. Urine therapy is thought to help balance this energy and remove blockages that hinder its smooth circulation. Through urine therapy, individuals aim to restore and enhance their energetic harmony, which can contribute to a sense of emotional well-being and spiritual connection. Supporters believe that by utilizing the energy within urine, individuals can align themselves with the universal energy and experience a profound sense of inner peace and connection. Self-reflection and introspection Urine therapy can also serve as a catalyst for self-reflection and introspection. By engaging in a practice that challenges societal norms and taboos, individuals may be prompted to question their beliefs and prejudices surrounding bodily functions and waste. This introspection can lead to a deeper understanding of oneself and a heightened self-awareness, fostering personal growth and spiritual development. Additionally, the act of using urine as a form of therapy requires a certain level of mindfulness and intention, which can further facilitate self-reflection and cultivate a sense of peace and unity within oneself. Emotional Release and Healing the physical act of urine therapy, whether through ingestion or topical application, can also have a profound impact on emotional well-being. Some proponents of urine therapy believe that the unique chemical composition of urine contains substances that may regulate emotions and enhance mood. Others assert that urine therapy's psychological benefits stem from the act of self-care and self-love associated with engaging in this alternative practice. By incorporating urine therapy into their self-care routines, individuals may experience an increased sense of emotional well-being, finding solace and healing in the process. Inner Transformation and Spiritual Growth For many individuals, urine therapy represents a journey of personal transformation and spiritual growth. Engaging in this alternative practice requires an open mind, a willingness to challenge societal norms, and a belief in the body's inherent wisdom. Through the process of incorporating urine therapy into their daily lives, individuals often experience a shift in their perception of themselves and the world around them. This inner transformation can lead to an enhanced spiritual connection, increased self-empowerment, and a deeper understanding of one's place in the universe. In conclusion, urine therapy not only offers physical health benefits, but also holds the potential for deep, spiritual and emotional connections. By embracing this alternative practice, individuals may experience purification, energy balancing, self-reflection, emotional release, and inner transformation. It is important to note that urine therapy, like any alternative therapy, is a personal choice, and individuals should consult with healthcare professionals and trusted practitioners before incorporating it into their wellness routines. 
Through a holistic approach to healing, urine therapy offers the possibility of integrating the physical, emotional, and spiritual aspects of our being to promote overall well-being. 10. Urine therapy for reproductive health. 10.1 Urine therapy for menstrual disorders. Menstrual disorders can greatly impact a woman's quality of life, causing discomfort, pain, and disruption to daily activities. Many women look for natural remedies to alleviate their symptoms and regain control over their menstrual cycles. One unconventional approach that has gained attention is urine therapy. While it may sound strange or unappealing, proponents claim that urine therapy can offer relief and even help in the management of menstrual disorders. In this section, we will explore the potential benefits and considerations of urine therapy for menstrual disorders. Understanding Menstrual Disorders Before delving into the potential benefits of urine therapy, it is important to understand the different types of menstrual disorders that women may experience. Dysmenorrhea, commonly known as painful periods, dysmenorrhea refers to severe cramping and pain during menstruation. Menorrhagia, this condition involves abnormally heavy or prolonged menstrual bleeding. Amenorrhea, amenorrhea refers to the absence of menstruation, either temporarily or permanently. Premenstrual syndrome, PMS, PMS encompasses a range of physical and emotional symptoms that occur in the days leading up to menstruation. Now let's explore how urine therapy may offer potential benefits for these menstrual disorders. Potential Benefits of Urine Therapy for Menstrual Disorders Pain Relief One of the most commonly reported benefits of urine therapy for menstrual disorders is pain relief. Proponents claim that applying fresh urine topically on the lower abdomen or using it as a warm compress can help alleviate cramps and reduce the intensity of dysmenorrhea. Hormonal Balance Urine therapy enthusiasts suggest that drinking one's own urine can help balance hormone levels, potentially leading to more regular menstrual cycles and reducing the symptoms associated with hormonal imbalances. Menorrhagia management. Some anecdotal evidence suggests that urine therapy may help manage menorrhagia by regulating the menstrual flow. However, more research is needed to substantiate these claims. Reduced PMS symptoms. Supporters of urine therapy believe that it can help relieve the physical and emotional symptoms associated with PMS, such as bloating, breast tenderness, mood swings, and irritability. Regulation of menstrual cycles. Advocates of urine therapy claim that it can help regulate irregular menstrual cycles by supporting the body's natural detoxification processes, which may contribute to the normalization of hormone levels. Considerations and precautions. While some individuals may find relief from menstrual disorders through urine therapy, it is important to approach this alternative therapy with caution. Here are some considerations and precautions to keep in mind. Consultation with healthcare provider. Before considering urine therapy for menstrual disorders, it is crucial to consult with a healthcare provider who can provide professional guidance and ensure that there are no underlying medical conditions that require conventional treatments. Hydration and diet. Proponents of urine therapy emphasize the importance of maintaining proper hydration and adopting a healthy diet, as these factors can influence the composition and quality of urine. Drinking sufficient water and consuming a balanced diet is essential for overall well being. Potential risks and side effects. There are potential risks and side effects associated with urine therapy, including urinary tract infections, UTIs, if proper hygiene practices are not followed, as well as the possibility of allergic reactions in some individuals. It is essential to be mindful of personal hygiene and discontinue urine therapy if any adverse effects occur. Personal comfort and acceptance. It is important to consider one's personal comfort and acceptance when contemplating urine therapy. It may not be a suitable or acceptable practice for everyone, and alternative treatment options should be explored if urine therapy is not aligned with personal beliefs or comfort levels. Conclusion Urine therapy for menstrual disorders is an unconventional approach that some women may find beneficial. The potential benefits reported by proponents include pain relief, hormonal balance, and the management of menorrhagia and PMS symptoms. However, it is important to approach urine therapy with caution, considering the advice of healthcare professionals, maintaining proper hygiene, and being aware of potential risks and side effects. Ultimately, every woman should make an informed decision based on their individual circumstances, comfort, and beliefs. 10.2 Urine Therapy for Fertility and Conception Urine therapy has long been credited with various health benefits, and its potential role in enhancing fertility and promoting conception is one area that has gained attention. Although urine therapy for fertility may sound unconventional, its roots can be traced back to ancient cultures that believed urine possessed unique properties that could aid in reproductive health. In this section, we will explore the potential benefits of urine therapy for fertility and conception. Understanding Fertility Fertility is a complex process that involves multiple factors, including hormonal balance, reproductive organ health, and the production of healthy sperm and eggs. Many couples face difficulties in conceiving due to various reasons, such as hormonal imbalances, impaired reproductive organ function, or poor egg or sperm quality. Traditional medical approaches often center around assisted reproductive technologies, like in vitro fertilization, IVF, or hormonal treatments. 
However, an increasing number of individuals are seeking alternative and complementary therapies, including urine therapy, to enhance their chances of conceiving naturally. Historical significance. The use of urine for enhancing fertility is not a new concept and can be traced back to ancient civilizations, such as the Egyptians, Greeks, and Chinese. These cultures believe that urine contains vital life, force and reproductive energy that could help overcome fertility challenges. In India, urine therapy for fertility is known as Shivambu Kalpa, which translates to water of Shiva. Shiva, the Hindu god, is associated with creation and renewal, making urine therapy an integral part of ancient Ayurvedic medicine for promoting fertility. Potential Benefits Proponents of urine therapy for fertility claim that it can provide the following benefits. Hormonal balance. Urine contains various hormones, including estrogen, testosterone, and follicle-stimulating hormone, EFSH, which play crucial roles in regulating the reproductive system. Supporters of urine therapy believe that consuming urine can help balance hormonal levels, thus promoting fertility. Nutritional support. Urine is a rich source of essential nutrients, including vitamins, minerals, and amino acids. These nutrients are necessary for reproductive health, as they support the production of healthy sperm and eggs. Additionally, urine therapy may provide the body with bioavailable nutrients that are easily absorbed and utilized. Detoxification Detoxification is an essential aspect of fertility, as it helps eliminate harmful toxins that can impact reproductive function. Proponents of urine therapy argue that urine contains natural detoxifying agents that can help cleanse the body and improve fertility. Immune System Support a robust immune system is crucial for maintaining fertility. Urine therapy is believed to stimulate the immune system, enhancing its ability to fight off infections or potential threats that could affect reproductive health. Method of application Urine therapy for fertility can be practiced in various ways, including Oral consumption One common method involves consuming small amounts of fresh urine daily. Proponents believe that ingesting urine can introduce beneficial hormones and nutrients to the body, supporting reproductive health. Topical appell. Some individuals choose to apply urine directly to the reproductive organs or surrounding areas. Advocates argue that this may stimulate blood flow, improve tissue health, and enhance overall reproductive function. External use Urine can also be used in the form of compresses or baths to provide external nourishment to the reproductive organs. Supporters of this method believe that it can help balance energy and promote optimal functioning. Safety and considerations while urine therapy for fertility may hold promise, it is essential to approach it with caution and consider the following factors. Hygiene and cleanliness It is crucial to ensure proper hygiene and cleanliness when practicing urine therapy, especially when using urine for topical applications. Thoroughly wash the area before and after use to minimize the risk of infection. Consultation with healthcare professionals Before incorporating urine therapy into your fertility journey, it is advisable to consult with healthcare professionals. They can provide guidance, assess your specific situation, and offer alternative evidence-based treatments if necessary. Individualized approach Fertility challenges can vary greatly among individuals, and what works for one person may not necessarily work for another. It is essential to listen to your body, monitor how it responds to urine therapy, and make any necessary adjustments. Emotional support Embarking on a fertility journey can be emotionally taxing. It is crucial to seek emotional support from loved ones, support groups, or professional counselors who specialize in fertility-related issues. Conclusion Urine therapy for fertility and conception is a practice rooted in ancient traditions, and some individuals believe it holds potential benefits for reproductive health. However, it is important to approach urine therapy with an open mind while considering individual circumstances and consulting healthcare professionals. While further research is needed to validate the claims surrounding urine therapy for fertility, it is always advisable to explore a comprehensive approach that combines evidence-based treatments with complementary therapies to optimize reproductive health. 10.3 Urine Therapy for Pregnancy and Postpartum Care Urine therapy, an unconventional form of alternative medicine, has been practiced for centuries and has gained popularity in recent years due to its potential health benefits. Many proponents of urine therapy claim that it can be beneficial during pregnancy and in the postpartum period. While urine therapy is not widely accepted or supported by scientific evidence, some individuals believe that it can aid in various aspects of pregnancy and postpartum care. In this section, we will explore the potential benefits and risks of urine therapy for pregnancy and postpartum care. Benefits of Urine Therapy During Pregnancy Nutritional Support Proponents of urine therapy argue that urine contains essential nutrients and hormones that can provide nutritional support during pregnancy. 
it is claimed that consuming urine during pregnancy can help meet the increased nutrient requirements of the developing fetus. However, it is important to note that urine primarily consists of waste products and toxins that the body is eliminating. Hydration. Staying hydrated is crucial during pregnancy, and some proponents of urine therapy believe that drinking urine can help maintain hydration levels. However, it is essential to prioritize drinking enough water and other healthy fluids to ensure adequate hydration during pregnancy. Immune support. Urine therapy enthusiasts suggest that consuming urine during pregnancy may boost the immune system and help protect against common infections. However, there is no scientific evidence to support this claim, and relying on urine as a source of immune support may not be advisable. Morning sickness relief. Pregnancy is often accompanied by morning sickness, and some individuals believe that urine therapy can alleviate these symptoms. However, there is no scientific evidence to support this claim, and it is important to consult with a healthcare professional for appropriate remedies for morning sickness. Risks and concerns of urine therapy during pregnancy. Contamination and infection. One of the main concerns with urine therapy during pregnancy is the potential risk of contamination and infection. Urine can contain bacteria and other microorganisms that may pose a risk to both the mother and the developing fetus. It is crucial to prioritize food safety and proper hygiene practices during pregnancy. Dehydration. While some proponents suggest that urine therapy can help with hydration, relying solely on urine as a source of fluids may not provide adequate hydration during pregnancy. Drinking enough water is essential for the healthy development of the baby and the overall well-being of the mother. Unreliable source of nutrients, urine primarily consists of waste products and toxins that the body eliminates. It is not a reliable source of essential nutrients needed for a healthy pregnancy. Relying on urine as a source of nutrients may lead to nutritional deficiencies and potential harm to the developing fetus. Lack of scientific evidence, there is a lack of scientific evidence to support the use of urine therapy during pregnancy. The claims made by urine therapy enthusiasts are not supported by rigorous scientific studies. It is essential to rely on evidence-based practices and consult with a healthcare professional for appropriate prenatal care. Urine therapy and postpartum care. After childbirth, women may experience various physical and emotional changes. Some proponents of urine therapy suggest that it can aid in postpartum recovery. However, it is important to approach these claims with caution and prioritize evidence-based practices in postpartum care. Wound healing, urine therapy enthusiasts claim that applying urine topically on episiotomy wounds or cesarean incisions can promote healing. However, there is no scientific evidence to support this claim, and it is crucial to follow the recommendations of healthcare professionals for wound care. Hormonal balance, urine contains hormones, and some proponents argue that these hormones can help restore hormonal balance in the postpartum period. However, the hormonal changes that occur after childbirth are complex, and urine therapy may not be a reliable or safe method to regulate hormones. Emotional well-being, the postpartum period is often associated with emotional changes, including the baby blues and postpartum depression. While some urine therapy enthusiasts claim that urine therapy can improve mood and alleviate postpartum emotional symptoms, there is no scientific evidence to support these claims. It is essential to seek appropriate mental health support if experiencing postpartum emotional difficulties. Conclusion Urine therapy for pregnancy and postpartum care is not supported by scientific evidence, and the claims made by proponents of urine therapy should be approached with caution. It is important to prioritize evidence-based practices and consult with healthcare professionals for appropriate prenatal and postpartum care. Pregnancy and the postpartum period are critical times for both the mother and the developing fetus, and relying on unproven and potentially risky therapies may not be advisable. 10.4 Urine Therapy for Sexual Health and Libido Urine therapy, also known as urotherapy, has been believed to have numerous health benefits since ancient times. While the practice of using urine for therapeutic purposes may seem unconventional, it has been used by many cultures throughout history to promote overall well-being, including sexual health and libido. In this section, we will explore the potential benefits of urine therapy in improving sexual health and enhancing libido. 10.4.1 Urine Therapy for Enhancing Libido one of the primary concerns for individuals seeking to improve their sexual health is enhancing their libido or sex drive. Many factors can contribute to a decrease in libido, including stress, hormonal imbalances, and underlying health conditions. While there is no miracle cure for low libido, proponents of urine therapy suggest that it can help stimulate sexual desire and improve overall sexual function. Urine is believed to contain various hormones, enzymes, and nutrients that can potentially influence libido. For instance, testosterone is an essential hormone for both men and women that plays a crucial role in sexual desire and performance. 
Advocates of urine therapy claim that drinking urine can help balance hormone levels, leading to an increase in libido. 10.4.2 Urine Therapy for Erectile Dysfunction Erectile dysfunction, ED, is a common condition that affects many men and can significantly impact sexual performance and satisfaction. Various causes can contribute to ED, including age, chronic health conditions, stress, and lifestyle choices. While there are medical treatments available for ED, some proponents of alternative therapies, including urine therapy, believe that it can help improve erectile function. Supporters of urine therapy claim that the nutrients and compounds present in urine, such as hormones, enzymes, and minerals, can aid in improving blood flow to the genital area, which is essential for achieving and maintaining an erection. Furthermore, urine therapy is believed to enhance overall vascular health, which can directly affect erectile function. 10.4.3 Urine Therapy for Female Sexual Health Urine therapy is not limited to men, it is also believed to have potential benefits for women's sexual health. Like men, women can experience a decrease in libido and sexual satisfaction due to various factors. Proponents of urine therapy suggest that the nutrients and compounds found in urine may have a positive impact on female sexual function. It is believed that the hormonal components present in urine can help regulate hormonal imbalances that may affect women's libido and sexual arousal. Additionally, proponents claim that urine therapy can contribute to overall vaginal health by maintaining a balanced pH level and preventing infections. 10.4.4 Potential Mechanisms of Action While the exact mechanisms of how urine therapy may improve sexual health and libido are not fully understood, several theories have been proposed. One theory suggests that the hormonal components present in urine, such as testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone, can influence sexual desire and function. Another theory focuses on the potential detoxifying effects of urine therapy. It is believed that by eliminating toxins from the body, urine therapy can improve overall cellular function, including the reproductive system. Additionally, proponents claim that the minerals and enzymes present in urine may support healthy blood circulation, which is essential for sexual function. 10.4.5 The Importance of Medical Guidance It is important to note that the use of urine therapy for sexual health and libido should be approached with caution and under the guidance of a healthcare professional. While some anecdotal evidence supports the potential benefits of urine therapy, scientific research on this topic is limited. Before considering urine therapy, it is crucial to consult with a healthcare provider who can assess your individual health situation and guide you on the most appropriate course of action. They can help determine if there are underlying medical conditions contributing to sexual health issues and recommend evidence-based treatments. 10.4.6 Conclusion Urine therapy has been suggested as a potential practice to enhance sexual health and libido. However, it is essential to approach this therapy with caution and consult with a healthcare professional. While anecdotal evidence exists, more scientific research is needed to understand the potential benefits, risks, and mechanisms of action associated with urine therapy for sexual health. In the pursuit of better sexual well-being, it is advisable to explore other proven treatments and lifestyle modifications alongside professional medical guidance. 10.5 Urine Therapy for Menopause and Hormonal Balance Menopause is a natural biological process that occurs in women usually between the ages of 45 and 55. During this time, the ovaries gradually stop producing eggs, leading to a decline in hormone levels, particularly estrogen and progesterone. This hormonal transition can cause a range of symptoms, including hot flashes, night sweats, mood changes, vaginal dryness, and sleep disturbances. While there are various conventional treatments available for managing menopause symptoms, some individuals are exploring alternative approaches like urine therapy to address these issues. Urine therapy, also known as urotherapy or autourine therapy, involves the use of one's own urine for health purposes. Proponents suggest that urine contains hormones, enzymes, and other beneficial compounds that may help regulate hormones and alleviate menopausal symptoms. Hormonal balance and menopause Hormones play a crucial role in maintaining the balance and function of various bodily systems. During menopause, hormonal imbalances occur as the ovaries produce less estrogen and progesterone. These changes can lead to uncomfortable symptoms and an increased risk of certain health conditions. One of the potential benefits of urine therapy for menopause is its perceived ability to help restore hormonal balance. Advocates claim that urine contains hormones and hormone precursors that can support the body's natural hormone production and regulation. However, it is important to note that the levels of hormones in urine are typically very low, and their absorption and efficacy, when applied topically or consumed orally has not been widely studied or proven. Managing Menopause Symptoms 
While urine therapy for menopause is promoted as a way to alleviate symptoms, it is essential to consider the overall evidence and consult with a healthcare professional before trying any alternative therapies. Hot flashes and night sweats. Hot flashes and night sweats are common menopausal symptoms that can be particularly bothersome. Some individuals claim that applying urine topically or ingesting it may help reduce the frequency and severity of these episodes. However, there is limited scientific evidence to support these claims. It is crucial to discuss any treatment options, including urine therapy, with a healthcare provider. Vaginal dryness. Menopause can cause vaginal dryness and discomfort during sexual activity. Some proponents of urine therapy believe that using urine as a vaginal rinse or applying it topically may help restore moisture and alleviate dryness. However, it is essential to exercise caution and consult a healthcare professional regarding safe and effective methods for managing vaginal dryness. Mood changes and sleep disturbances. Hormonal fluctuations during menopause can lead to mood swings, irritability, anxiety, and sleep disturbances. While urine therapy is believed by some to have mood stabilizing properties, there is limited scientific evidence to support this claim. It is essential to explore other well established approaches for managing these symptoms, such as lifestyle modifications, stress reduction techniques, and therapy. Safety Considerations and Risks Before considering urine therapy or any alternative treatments for menopause, it is important to be aware of the potential risks and safety considerations. Risk of Infection Using urine topically or ingesting it can carry a risk of infection. It is crucial to ensure that the urine is collected and stored in a clean and sterile manner to minimize this risk. Nutritional Imbalance While urine contains some nutrients, the overall nutritional value is minimal. Relying on urine as a primary source of nutrients may lead to nutritional imbalances and deficiencies. Delayed medical attention. Relying solely on alternative therapies like urine therapy for menopause symptoms may delay seeking proper medical attention. It is important to remember that menopause is a natural physiological process, but certain symptoms may require medical evaluation and treatment. Individual variations. Each individual's response to urine therapy may vary. What works for one person may not be effective or safe for another. It is crucial to consider individual health conditions, allergies, and sensitivities when exploring alternative treatments. Conclusion While some individuals may advocate for urine therapy as a natural approach to manage menopause symptoms and promote hormonal balance, it is important to approach this therapy with caution. The scientific evidence supporting the efficacy and safety of urine therapy for menopause is limited, and the potential risks and individual variations should be taken into consideration. Before considering urine therapy or any alternative treatments, it is advisable to consult with a healthcare professional who can provide personalized guidance and recommend evidence-based approaches to manage menopause symptoms. Optimal management may involve a combination of conventional treatments, lifestyle modifications, and complementary therapies tailored to your specific needs and preferences. 10.6 Urine Therapy for Prostate and Sexual Dysfunction Urine therapy has gained popularity as a natural alternative to conventional treatments for various health conditions, including prostate and sexual dysfunction. While the idea of using urine as a therapeutic agent may seem unconventional, proponents of urine therapy believe that it can help improve prostate health and address issues related to sexual dysfunction in both men and women. Prostate health and urine therapy The prostate is a small gland located underneath the bladder in men. It plays a crucial role in the reproductive system by producing seminal fluid, which nourishes and transports sperm. Unfortunately, the prostate can be prone to certain conditions that can affect its function and cause discomfort. One of the most common prostate conditions is benign prostatic hyperplasia, beef, which refers to the enlargement of the prostate gland. Beef can lead to urinary symptoms, such as frequent urination, weak urine flow, and difficulty emptying the bladder completely. Another condition that can affect the prostate is prostatitis, which is the inflammation of the prostate gland. Prostatitis can cause pain and discomfort in the pelvic region. Urine therapy for prostate health involves the ingestion of one's own urine. Proponents of this therapy believe that urine contains various beneficial substances that can help reduce inflammation, alleviate symptoms, and promote healing in the prostate gland. These substances may include hormones, enzymes, and antibodies that could potentially have a positive effect on prostate health. Sexual dysfunction and urine therapy Sexual dysfunction refers to a range of problems that can affect an individual's ability to engage in and enjoy sexual activity. Both men and women can experience sexual dysfunction, which can be caused by various physical and psychological factors. For men, one common form of sexual dysfunction is erectile dysfunction, ED, which involves the inability to achieve or maintain an erection. Another condition that can affect both men and women is low libido, which refers to a decrease in sex drive.
these conditions can have a significant impact on one's sexual well-being and overall quality of life. Advocates of urine therapy believe that urine contains substances that can help address sexual dysfunction by promoting blood flow, balancing hormones, and improving overall bodily function. They argue that the natural components found in urine can potentially stimulate the production of nitric oxide, a compound that plays a crucial role in maintaining healthy blood flow to the genital area. By enhancing blood circulation, urine therapy may help improve sexual function and alleviate symptoms of sexual dysfunction. Scientific Perspective and Current Evidence It is important to note that the scientific evidence supporting the use of urine therapy for prostate and sexual dysfunction is limited. Most of the available studies on urine therapy are anecdotal or based on historical cultural practices. As such, it is essential to approach urine therapy with caution and consult with a healthcare professional before, considering it as a treatment option. While some individuals may report positive experiences with urine therapy for prostate and sexual dysfunction, it is essential to consider other factors that may contribute to their improvement. Placebo effects, psychological factors, and lifestyle changes can all have an impact on an individual's perception of improvement, making it difficult to determine the true efficacy of urine therapy alone. Additionally, it is important to remember that conventional treatments for prostate and sexual dysfunction, such as medication, therapy, or surgical interventions, have been extensively researched and proven effective. These treatments may provide more reliable and evidence-based results compared to alternative therapies like urine therapy. Conclusion Urine therapy for prostate and sexual dysfunction remains a controversial and experimental approach to addressing these conditions. While some individuals may report positive outcomes, there is insufficient scientific evidence to support the effectiveness of urine therapy in improving prostate health and sexual function. It is crucial to consult with a healthcare professional before considering any alternative therapy, including urine therapy, especially when dealing with prostate and sexual health issues. They can provide a comprehensive evaluation, offer appropriate treatment options, and address any concerns or questions you may have. Remember that maintaining open communication with your healthcare provider and following their guidance is key to comprehensive and safe management of prostate and sexual dysfunction. 11. Urine therapy for dental and oral health. 11.1 Mouth Rinse and Gargle with Urine Mouth rinse and gargling with urine may seem like a peculiar practice, but it is believed to have numerous benefits for dental and oral health. Urine therapy, an ancient remedy with a long history of use in various cultures, suggests that using urine as a mouth rinse can help maintain oral hygiene, prevent infections, and alleviate some common oral health problems. In this section, we will explore the potential benefits, methods, and precautions of using urine as a mouth rinse and gargle. The Benefits of Mouth Rinse and Gargle with Urine Natural antibacterial properties, urine contains various beneficial substances and compounds, including urea, uric acid, and antibodies, which possess natural antiseptic and antibacterial properties. Gargling with urine may help kill harmful bacteria in the mouth, preventing dental infections and decay. It may also aid in reducing plaque and gingivitis, promoting overall oral health. Oral cleansing and detoxification, gargling with urine can act as a natural mouthwash, helping to remove bacteria, debris, and toxins from the oral cavity. The detoxifying properties of urine may assist in maintaining oral hygiene and preventing the buildup of harmful substances that can lead to oral health issues. Relief from toothache and oral infections, urine therapy advocates claim that rinsing the mouth with urine can provide relief from toothache, oral infections, and other dental discomforts. The antimicrobial properties of urine may help in reducing inflammation, soothing pain, and supporting the healing process. Supports gum health. Gum diseases, such as gingivitis and periodontitis, can be harmful and lead to serious dental problems if left untreated. The antimicrobial properties of urine may assist in combating gum infections and promoting healthier gums. Gargling with urine could potentially improve gum health and prevent gum-related issues. Halitosis treatment, bad breath, or halitosis can be embarrassing and may be caused by factors such as poor oral hygiene, gum diseases, or bacterial overgrowth in the mouth. Some proponents of urine therapy suggest that rinsing the mouth with urine can help eliminate the bacteria responsible for bad breath, providing fresher breath. How to perform mouth rinse and gargle with urine Before attempting mouth rinse and gargling with urine, it is essential to ensure the urine is fresh and clean. Here are the steps to follow. Collecting urine, choose the midstream urine, the urine that comes out after the initial few seconds. Collect it in a clean, sterile container. Dilution, some individuals prefer diluting the urine with an equal amount of clean water before using it as a mouth rinse. This is a personal choice, and the dilution level can be adjusted according to preference. 
Rinse and gargle. Take a small amount of urine in your mouth and swish it around, similar to using a regular mouthwash. Gargle the urine in the back of your throat for several seconds before spitting it out. Repeat this process for about 30 to 60 seconds. Spit and rinse. After gargling, spit out the urine solution into a sink or toilet. Rinse your mouth thoroughly with clean water to remove any residual taste or odor. Frequency. The frequency of mouth rinse and gargle with urine can vary. Some individuals practice it once daily, while others prefer performing it multiple times a day. Experiment and find a frequency that works for you. Precautions and considerations. While mouth rinse and gargle with urine is considered safe for most individuals, it is essential to exercise caution and consider the following. Hygiene and freshness. Ensure proper hygiene and cleanliness when collecting and using urine for oral rinsing. Use fresh urine and collect it in a sterile container to minimize the risk of contamination. Individual sensitivities. Some individuals may have sensitivities or allergies to certain substances present in urine. If you experience any adverse reactions or discomfort after gargling with urine, discontinue the practice immediately. Quality and diet. The quality of urine can be influenced by diet and other factors. It is generally suggested to maintain a healthy diet and lifestyle to ensure good urine quality. Drinking plenty of water and consuming a balanced diet can contribute to the overall efficacy of this therapy. Consultation with a professional. Before incorporating urine therapy into your oral care routine, it is advisable to consult with a dental professional. They can provide guidance and assess if the practice aligns with your oral health needs and considerations. Overall oral hygiene. Mouth rinse and gargle with urine should not replace regular dental care practices such as brushing, flossing, and regular dental checkups. It should be seen as a supplementary practice to support oral hygiene. While mouth rinse and gargle with urine may not be a mainstream dental practice, proponents of urine therapy believe it can provide oral health benefits. As with any alternative therapy, it is important to approach it with an open mind and consider individual preferences, beliefs, and potential risks. Consulting with a healthcare professional can provide additional guidance and personalized advice. 11.2 Urine Therapy for Gum Diseases and Oral Infections Urine therapy, as unconventional as it may sound, has been used for centuries as a natural remedy for various health conditions. When it comes to gum diseases and oral infections, urine therapy can be a potential remedy worth exploring. In this section, we will delve into the potential benefits and applications of urine therapy for maintaining oral health. Gum diseases, such as gingivitis and periodontitis, can cause inflammation of the gums, leading to discomfort, bad breath, and even tooth loss, if left untreated. These conditions are primarily caused by the accumulation of plaque, a sticky film of bacteria that forms on the teeth and gums. The bacteria and plaque release toxins that irritate the gums and cause inflammation. If not properly managed, gum diseases can progress and lead to more severe oral infections. One of the key components of urine is urea, a compound that has antibacterial and antifungal properties. Urea helps prevent the growth of harmful oral bacteria and fungi, reducing the risk of gum diseases and oral infections. Additionally, urine contains various nutrients and minerals that can promote gum health and support the natural healing process. To utilize urine therapy for gum diseases and oral infections, a common practice is to use urine as a mouth rinse or gargle. The process involves swishing the diluted urine in your mouth for a few minutes, allowing the beneficial components to come into contact with your gums and teeth. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to perform urine therapy for gum diseases and oral infections. Start by collecting your midstream urine in a clean container. Dilute the urine with an equal amount of water to reduce the concentration and odor. Take a small amount of the diluted urine in your mouth and swish it around for about 1 to 2 minutes. Spit out the urine rinse and rinse your mouth thoroughly with water. Repeat the process 2 to 3 times a day or as recommended by a healthcare professional. It's important to note that urine therapy for gum diseases and oral infections should not replace your regular oral hygiene routine. Brushing and flossing your teeth, along with regular dental checkups, remain crucial for maintaining optimal oral health. Urine therapy should be considered as a complementary approach to support oral healing and prevent further complications. While urine therapy for gum diseases and oral infections shows potential benefits, it's essential to consult with a dental, professional, or healthcare provider before incorporating this practice into your oral care routine. They can provide guidance based on your specific oral health needs and ensure that urine therapy aligns with your overall treatment plan. Furthermore, it's important to maintain good oral hygiene practices even when utilizing urine therapy. This includes brushing your teeth at least twice a day with a soft bristle toothbrush, using fluoride toothpaste, flossing daily, and avoiding tobacco and excessive alcohol consumption. 
These habits, combined with urine therapy, can contribute to better oral health outcomes. In conclusion, urine therapy has been explored as a potential natural remedy for gum diseases and oral infections. Its antibacterial and antifungal properties, as well as the presence of essential nutrients, make it a candidate for supporting oral healing and maintaining gum health. However, it's crucial to approach urine therapy as a complementary practice and consult with a dental, professional, or healthcare provider for personalized guidance. By integrating urine therapy with a comprehensive oral care routine, you can take steps toward achieving optimal oral health and preventing oral infections. 11.3 Urine Therapy for Toothache and Cavities Toothaches and cavities are common oral health problems that can cause a great deal of pain and discomfort. Traditional treatments for toothaches and cavities often involve dental procedures, such as fillings, root canals, or extractions. However, urine therapy offers a natural alternative that may help alleviate toothache symptoms and promote oral health. 